So, if you've ever seen Kung Fu, that really old NES game, like, I think it was part of, like, Adventure Series even, right? Like, super old. This is, like, that, but upgraded. So, this is one of the things that Duke Donuts showed me during our collab on Tuesday. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. I could totally vibe this game. I could totally vibe this game. So, this came out in 1991. This came out in 1991. Spartan X2 NES. Let's put it up there. 1991. Bup, bup, bup. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> I don't know Japanese. She's just like, oh my god. I totally need constipation medicine. Go, go to the store. Give me some, please. Thank you. Okay, let's go. That's what she said, yeah. It was a good pixel art, though, right? So it's just like Kung Fu, look. See? It's just like that NES game. But already, like, look, we got some, like, dope parallax scrolling in the background. How's everything look on your end, chat? Does it look good? Does it look good on your end? I think it looks good. This was released as Kung Fu Master in North America. Oh, yeah? Let's see. According to Wikipedia, you are not correct. This is a Japanese-only game. Do, 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 do. This came out when you were zero years old. Neat. That is neat. One thing I noticed about this is the timer is very aggressive. Look how fast it goes. <laughs> Those aren't seconds. What time frame are we using here? Those things are flying by. Oh. Looks skin sounds good. Perfect. Oh, give me that. There you go. I like. I even like the little health pips in the bottom. Those look good. Got him. <laughs> it's New York minutes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Kung Fu seconds. Nice. Nice. So, let's see. This was developed by a company named Tamtex, which I have not heard of. But IREM published it. IREM, a lot of us have probably heard of. IREM, I believe, either developed or published Crystallis, which is an awesome NES, like, Zelda-like game. Very good game. And he has games of similar UIs, bottom or top. Yeah. A lot of them frequently do that, don't they? You bet this controls better than fighting in Metal Gear Solid 2. You think so? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Graveyard. I don't know what that is. That game. I'm not sure. Dude, dude. You're real bad at stealth games. I like doing stealth in games, it, but it depends. Like, I liked doing it in Horizon Zero Dawn a lot. It was the only way I could get anywhere in that game because I can't aim for shit. Especially with a controller. Doot, doot. Mm -mm. Let's see. Mm -mm. Kung Fu seconds. I beat the hell out of Ultimate or the Ultimate Warrior. Nice. You should be a lead singer in an 80s rock band or a wrestler or both. Or both. You assume Tamtex is an IREM subsidiary, but you don't have sources. There's no page on them, but it does say developers Tamtex, and then it says IREM next to it, so you maybe could be right. I don't know. It does look like the prequel to this prequel. The first game was called Kung Fu Master in North America. This game never came out in North America. Dude, 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 dude. This game came out seven years after the first. That's a big gap for a sequel, especially back then. Wow. Seven years later. How strange. It was originally planned to be released in North America as Kung Fu 2 in 91, but ended up not happening. Interesting. You remember IRM for a lot of NES games? Yeah, same Cody, exactly. The boss door dashed in order of foot and Finny delivered it with five star proficiency. <laughs> nice. Nice. 
Good beat em up consists of a harder combat gameplay in comparison to other games of the same category. Not necessarily harder than normal, just memorable win by overcoming great enemies' bosses. Your favorite example is Streets of Rage. Comet is not above average in difficulty, but it's memorable in its bosses and ship stage is the best stage of all beat em ups you've played. Ah, okay. Have you played Streets of Rage 2? That's the best one of the three that I've played. Yeah, a seven year gap in the 80s is wild. All right, this is some old dude. He says, I am, I don't know what that is. He wants us to, I don't know, let's see if this works. You wanna try to lens this? Let's try this. Let's try this. I know Ann K, you ever watch Ann K? She uses something called like text extractor. So she can like actively Google translate games she's playing, which I thought was really cool. Let's see if this can pick that up. Johnny says, hey Steve, and Steve says, hey Johnny. <laughs> that's what it says? Uh, according to the Google, that's what that says. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got some wicked text here. Ugh. Amazing. Amazing. Hold on. Let's see if we can do this one. Alright, next. I found out after I shut down Flamey. I don't think that's probably what that says. I realized it after tightening it up. Yeah, this thing's very confused. The top says I am Foundation HQ, though. <laughs> it, I like, depending on how I angle this, is how it's actually like interpreting this. It's like changing it based on how I angle it. Oh my god, what a fucking hoot. <sighs> it says flamey. That's what it translated it to, which could be framey, yeah. Hey, John, you're my favorite customer. Oh. Hi, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Gertha. Yeah, I got you. I got you. This is funny. I'm like almost... I kind of want to do this more because this is a novelty and a jank one. Oh, this is long. He's further down South Harbor from a magician named Chin Gensai. It seems he was being given medicine. Who are we talking about? <laughs> Uh, getting rid of medicine or being given medicine? It's not sure. It can't make up its mind. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go there from now on. Okay. That's good. You're good to know. It's great. Oh, it just skipped ahead. All right, let's go. Let's fight. Thank you, George Washington. Yeah, it was a riveting conversation. The kick. I love the kick in this. Oh, you can kick that. That's cool. Ooh. I wonder if we can jump over it. Let's try. Ooh. Oh, you can. All right. We don't need to kick it. Oh, you can jump on it? Sick. I thought it was going to do contact damage. I think I just got a one-up chat. Hell yeah. I don't think there are more moves than what we've seen, but who knows? That's all I got so far. It's NES, right? It's A and B. That's all I got. I don't even have to jump to hit these guys. Oh, I do. Unless they're really close. Oh, that's a one-up sound. I love it. It's great. That guy's got a gun. They still do that weird, like, contact damage, like Kung Fu, where if you're just touching them, you just drain hit points super fast. What the hell? He just threw beach balls at me. Almost, we almost got him. Yes, all right. I don't know what that was all about. It was the medicine, right? The flamey medicine. Woo! Do 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 do. Arcade, you are asking questions no one has the answers to. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Do do do. Some powerful kicks, yeah. All right, it was back to headquarters with George Washington. He just wants to watch me hula hoop. He, well, he pulled it off. He did. Hey, Steve. Hey, Johnny. What's up? 
Oh, I skipped by. Whoops. I'd like to ask you something. Okay. There's something I'd like to ask you about. I'll go to the other side. This is great translation work. <laughs> Good job, Google. Hey, no way. No more Chin Kensai. Have you become stingy? I wonder if this Chin Kensai thing is like some kind of object. Have you given up on Chin Kensai yet? The, the tea, it can't make up its mind. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. Let's go. Oh, I still have damage from the previous stage. Ooh, that's rough. Not a lot of games do that. Not the most favorable design element. I thought those rivets back there were hearts and I got excited. I, I could use some health. Wow, I just kicked a shipping crate off of a crane. Those are some powerful roundhouse kicks. It seems like there's not much reason to punch. I guess it's faster. Oh. Yeah, that's it. It's faster. It's just shorter range. Oh. I was hoping that guy'd give me health. He didn't give me health. Who's this guy? Look at this guy. Why does he look like he's from some movie I've seen before? I'm not sure. They equipped him with skateboards. The militia is evolving. Whoa. Got him. Just jump kick everyone in the face and you will win. Bluto's cousin. <laughs> Bluto from Pompeii. He did kind of look like that, didn't he? Look at that sprite right there. Wow. I don't know what that's saying. Yeah, I do like the pixel art in this, though. Oh! The lady's talking now. Hold on. Let's see what she says. Maybe says. How the fuck did I kick myself in the face? How did I do that? Hi, Tracy. Hi, Johnny. What is she? Steve was freaking out. <laughs> Who's Steve? <laughs> uh, who the hell is Steve? Come on. Come on, do your thing. About Mado? It wasn't... By the way, Mitsuyo's boat wasn't the only thing that was used. Okay, I don't know what that means. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, who's Steve? Who's Johnny? Who's Chin? Like... Or what is Chin? Wow, jetpacks. Gypsy Air? Oh my god. Offensive name airlines. I see. Air Circus. Jesus. Okay. What if that was a real thing? Oh, that's a lot of jetpacks. There we go. Do the neutral jump when they're too close. One up. How many lives do I have? Five? Oh! Damn, they're still not giving me health. This game is stingy. <laughs> Imagine beating dudes up on the top of a freaking airplane that's flying. Oh, I died! I died! That was impressive. Is that a monkey? Oh, he just gave me health. That would have been nice like 30 seconds ago. This is weird in the best way. This is weird in the best way. Trap doors with monkeys in them. Am I hitting him? He like grabs your foot and then goes away and sometimes leaves health. I can't tell if he's hurting me or not. Alright, we got to get the whip. Oh, geez. Okay. The animal tamer, huh? Oh! I'm so sorry about this gorilla. It's not your fault, okay? It's just that guy's fault up there. Oh, nice iframes, bro. You can't get him in the air! Mm. 
Maybe you can. One more. Nope. Weird eye frames. All right. Oh, man. Double boss? Okay. What the? No! What are these weird eye frames? Oh, I almost had him! <laughs> oh, this controls like a dump truck. <sighs> okay. All right. All right. We got this. All right. Thanks for the health. But can you give me that health during the fight instead? That'd be better. Oh, I just took damage. That's not good. We need the health for the bosses. He didn't give me any that time. I am so confused about those things. Dude, those do so much damage. Wait, can we backtrack and try to get more health? Maybe. Or we could lose more. Who's that? It's Mr. Jarper G. What's up? What's I up? Am confused. He is the wimp water. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Mr. JRPG? How was the stream? Tengai Makyo Zero. What is that? Yo, welcome everybody. We're doing a beat em up night. We're playing and picking games you've probably never seen or heard of. And getting beat up by gorillas. Oh, that gorilla healed me. All right, let's go. We got this. <laughs> let's go. There we go. We have to beat up this poor defenseless. Not really defenseless. This gorilla. How was your stream? What was that Tengai game you were playing? I'm so confused by the hitboxes in this game. They seem inexplicable. Okay. Now I gotta beat the whip guy. Gonna beat the whip guy. Hi everyone, if you don't know me, I'm the guy that has ADHD and cats run the show. My name's Phenomenon. I'm obsessed with retro games. I'm jump kicking everyone in the face. You know, that's what you do. That's what you do. SNES RPG, one of the many to do. Oh. Belmont's the bad guy? I know. What a subversion, right? What a subversion. Four. That probably says like stage four complete, if I had to guess. You can tell he's beast because jump kicks don't work on him. <laughs> uh, what makes a good beat em up, Dr. Butt Lasers? Co op. Beating strangers up is always better with a friend. Yeah, co op's a good one. 16 bit and what's what the? Whoa! Darvikus11584 has gifted 10 subs to the Finny Bears. Wow! 10 subs, dude. Thank you. Holy smokes. <laughs> well, that puts you comfortably at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks like the ass just kicked. I didn't even know that. Did we get a warning and I just missed it? Did it not warn us? It didn't warn us, did it? No, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry to all the raiders who got caught in the ads there. I, yeah, Twitch. You know, Twitch. Thank you, Twitch. Okay, we'll pause gameplay as we always do during the ad break. Take a good stretch. If you can all hear me, I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good time. I know I am. This is fun showing these. I got a whole list of stuff we can look at. <clears throat> Why is Twitch so broken? Your new name is Midboss. Midboss. I'm not Midboss. Jeez. Wow. You're Midboss. You're Midboss. You're a towel. Dude, Darbicus, thanks for 10 gift subs. Wow. Get us closer to that sub goal. <laughs> Bonus Tuesday morning stream if we hit it. Doot, doot, doot. Pretty mid? That's mean. Wow. Ouch. Ouch. 
Sharing some obscure retro beat em up sounds like a fun one. Yeah. So yesterday I went to, um, with a buddy to Galloping Ghost Arcade. Just real close to me. Um, and got a bunch of pictures, got some ideas for tonight, played some other stuff that, you know, it was just fun. It was a good time. It was a good time. I got a lot of info out of it, which was nice. Dude, dude, Mr. J? Nice. Is he, he's the Joker now? Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is, Arcade. I do not know. Bum, 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 bum. To chill here and stuff. I hope you and your community had a great time tonight. I hope you had fun. Ooh, I found the plot for this game. Okay. So this is in the Wikipedia, translated from the game's manual. We're playing currently Spartan X2 on NEX. It only came out in Japan, okay? <laughs> the city has been corrupted by drugs for some time. Johnny Thomas, a man who lost his mother and sister as a result of his father being used as an experiment for a new kind of drug, is the only man who opposes the drug syndicates. Interesting. So we're fighting drug lords who use animal tamers and gorillas to fight you. Okay. After the incident, Thomas left the corrupted police department he was working for and became a private secret agent in order to investigate the illegal trafficking routes in his city. During his investigation, he learns that an international criminal organization known as Hawk is responsible for the majority of the drugs that have sneaked into the country. I see. <clears throat> Job's done. Ah, coffee's hitting right. It's epic NES beat em up plot, right? Supremely intense and existential and awe inspiring. Go punch! <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Hold on, let's see. Let's see how this is. Are we playing as a narc? A narcotics agent? No, he says he's a private secret agent. So he's a private investigator. It's true that from now on, we're heading towards the season where Kuromako is. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, they just skipped ahead. All right, let's go. Let's go. Open up. Nice. Okay, that was cool. I had to beat the door down. Oh, look at the background sprites. That's really nice. You got, like, the stuffed animal in the background. This is cool. I always like games that have really creative use of pixel art. Oh, man. This stage is really tough. Whoa, that guy ran at me. That's a new one. Whew. Oh. I think I need to use the punch more. The, the slower kicks are getting me in trouble. Look at this. Swimming ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is way too funny. They got the like little breathing tubes. <laughs> I'm, I'm so amazed by that. Oh, I need some health. Give me some health. You can do the, the, the traditional ball punch maneuver. Those are going to fall. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, health. Oh, that did damage to me, but I still got the health. All right, we're good. Woo! She's throwing knives. She blocks! Whoa, she's zippy! Okay. Oh, I'm, I was hoping to get her in, like, an AI lock, you know? Nice block. Oh! Yes! Oh, man. One more hit. I would have been dead. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <sighs> Am I fighting what? Yar? Yar? I, I... Maybe? I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. Yo, thanks, Del. Thanks, Doshido. All right. Another... Another boss down. Another boss down. 
Oh, it's a new NPC. Let's see if we can get the name of this person. Let's see if we can get the name of this person. Season? Is your name Season? Apparently their name is Season. Is that right? Yeah, their name is Season. <laughs> Welcome, Thomas. Not now. It was Johnny Spark. Yeah, these these don't work. Okay. Uh, these don't work. These translations are so goofy. I'm sure whatever he's saying is very important right now. You know? Salt or pepper? Season. Season. Like, like the seasons is my guess. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, now we got platforming elements. <laughs> okay. This reminds me of that stage of Double Dragon 2. Where you, like, jump. Oh, I, I hit the wrong button. You jump and, like, into the spikes. And it does a lot of damage. Oh. Wow, great. I love getting stun locked. <laughs> that guy just dove bought me off the cliff. Oh. Dude, that was ruthless. I couldn't move. Woo! Okay, okay, let's go. All right, this guy is just hanging by a thread with his gun. Bye. This is cool music. I like this music. He's giving his recipe for homemade fudge. That's probably it, Darmacus. Spy X family manga. Oh, yeah. No idea. What the hell? Dude, what are you supposed to do there? <laughs> oh, no. I'm a fallen. And I came to get out. That was some BS. Oh, oh no. Okay. Why indeed get Matt? Yeah, that's what we were wondering about earlier. What kind of seconds are these? <laughs> They're pretty out of control. I think if I rush ahead, maybe. There you go. Uh. Oh, I had to kick an, a freaking eye beam off. That is baller. What is that hook? I'm sus of that hook. I don't like it. Oh, okay. I guess I got to use it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Oh, this is all cutscene. All right, let's go. Why am I moving slow? I'm underwater? So this guy can just hold his breath and walk and fight underwater. Whoa, how did I do that uppercut? That was cool. I don't know how I did that. That was sick. Oh, you hold down, you can charge up? We've managed to avoid drowning. No, we haven't yet. <laughs> That's not true. We're still drowning. Hold on. Charge, kick. Oh, no, it works for punch. Why? I know, right? Why is water in the fire? Are we out of the water? Okay, we are. Wait, can we hold up and charge it that way? No. So he does an uppercut if you charge down and punch. That's cool. Who's this guy? He's Flippy Man. In his sweatpants. This dude was just trying to have his morning coffee and I invaded his secret lab. I can totally relate to his anger right now. But all he's doing is backflipping. I wonder if he's ever considered increasing his repertoire to more than just flipping around. He didn't even attack me! <laughs> Is this Kung Fu too? No. No, it's different. Perfect. It's different. Do, 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 Let's see. I guess it is. Yeah. Okay. So there was Kung Fu on the NES, but in the arcade, it was called Kung Fu Master. And then this game uh, is the sequel to Kung Fu Master. So it is Kung Fu too. So if this had come out in the U.S., it would have been called Kung Fu or Kung Fu Master 2. So there you go. 
This basically because it plays exactly like it. It just actually has like a story now, and like different stages instead of just like color palette swaps. Book of Helping Plus One. That's my favorite D and D magic item, Kitty. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh. Why is it constantly dodging not working? I know. That's, that's a question we all ask ourselves. That looks sick. Look at that. Ooh, helicopter. Are we going to fight on a helicopter? Can we do that? Like Double Dragon 2? I always love had a love-hate relationship with that stage. The whole helicopter stage in Double Dragon 2. Because anytime the door opens, it like, tries to suck you out. But you can make it suck the enemies out, too, if they're close to it. This is, you know, double-edged sword. The, the, all that tax right there was just the tech specifications of the helicopter and had nothing to do with story. Wait, I beat it? All right, let's go. We did it. <laughs> Backflip man was the final boss. Let's go. We did it. We did it. <laughs> That was laughably easy, but really fun, actually. I thought that was really cool. There you go. Spartan X2, which would have been Kung Fu 2 in the uh, U.S. That was a good time. That was a good time. What'd you all think of that? Tell me what you thought of that. Yeah, it was a super underwhelming final boss, wasn't it? Super underwhelming. Do, 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 do. First try and perfected final boss. This guy's a gamer. What's up, Mr. Elysia? How you doing, man? It was a pretty underwhelming final boss. The pixel art was good, yeah. The last line of defense was flippy dippy dude. Pretty much. Yeah. That was it. He was he was the true the true villain of the story. <laughs> he was the real bad guy. Oh, oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. I had fun with that. Now I can say I beat that and played it. That's a quick game. You can beat that game really fast. How long did that take us? Like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, right? Well done. 40 minutes, maybe? Hmm. I improve. I improve. I, I did like the pixel art in this a lot. I like these, like these the silhouettes they do or vignettes, whatever you call them. Montages. Reminds me of Ninja Gaiden. A lot. <clears throat> Flippy Dippy, the mastermind behind it all. You missed the win? It was a quick game, yeah. Did he just jump out of the helicopter or did somebody push him? I missed that. It kind of looked funny, though. <laughs> you like your beat em ups that have RPG things like stats and gear? Not a lot of them do that, do they, Pokeel? <laughs> Some of them do that, though. Yeah, the scenes in Ninja Gaiden are cool, aren't they? Yeah. That was, like, mind-blowing back in the day when Ninja Gaiden was new and it had those, like, animated cutscenes. Like, we hadn't seen games do that before, you know, for the most part. Not as not as console NES kids, anyway. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> This is a sequel that starts off where the last totally unrelated game ended with a helicopter. Wait, what? Was this connected to something else? Hmm. Shall we do the next game? Would you like to see the next game? Would you like to see the next game? Ba, ba, ba. We're going to do another NES game here while we're on the system. This is one I've never played, and I was always curious about as a kid. I wanted it as a kid, actually. Really bad. Um, but I never, I've never got to play it. So tonight is a little wish fulfillment for my inner child. Well, not tonight, but this game specifically. I used to see this in Nintendo Power all the time. But it came out super late. It came out super late in the life cycle of the NES. It came out in 1993. So it's like one of the last games. 93, if you can believe that. Oh, we got to go to US. I was like in Japan here. It is called Mighty Final Fight. And it's like Chibi Final Fight. <laughs> and it honestly looks damn cool. It looks damn cool. So let me go ahead and update this here. Mighty Final Fight. 
from 1993. That is mad, mad late for the system. Like, super late. There we go. I was like, where's the audio? There it is. There it is. Here, let's reset so we can see that again. This is Metro City. Within the walls of the city lives awkward pauses. Will Shatner told everyone how to speak. The daughter of the mayor, Jessica, her beauty radiates throughout the city and gives the citizens the power to survive. All these pauses! <laughs> But now a villain attempts to have this beacon of light all to himself. It's a kidnapping story. Final Fight games are good, aren't they? I like Final Fight games. I can't believe I've actually fallen in love with the girl. She will be mine. Okay. This is interesting. A couple days later. Da, da, da. What? Jessica kidnapped? Look at the chibi. Oh man, those are cool sprites. What have you done to her, Cody? What? what? <laughs> Why Cody? Me? This is the work of the Mad Gear Gang. Oh, man. Yo, Motsi, thanks for the bits. The giant emote bits. What do you think, guy? Yes. There's not a moment to spare. Let's go. This is a cool game right here. This is some cool shit. So Capcom obviously made this, right? Capcom is... Like king of platformers and beat em ups um, in the 90s and 80s. So I expect this to be quality. I do have expectations. I hope it's fun. I hope it plays well. We'll see. This is a spin off of the arcade game Final Fight, which many of us know. Uh, Super Nintendo had Final Fight ports. I think there was quite a few of them actually. Unlike the arcade and SNES ports, the characters in this are depicted in comical, childlike, super deformed, or chibi art style. Yeah. Yeah. Comical retelling of the story from the first game. So this is almost a parody of itself. Okay, I didn't know that it had that angle to it. This game is like a self-parody. So this might actually be pretty funny. Let's hope so. You used to play a lot of Final Fight as a kid. I liked it, yeah. I never got to play any other than the first one, though. There's like two or three. There's like Final Fight. There's Final Fight Guy. There's Final Fight 3. I don't know if there's a Final Fight 2, maybe. There's quite a few of them. And they're all pretty good, from my understanding. Like, I really liked the first one a lot. Alright. Press start. Shall we? So we have Cody, a tough street fighter who is skilled with knives. Guy descended from ninja. He possesses incredible agility. You know me, I like fast and aggressive. Hagar, the hot-tempered wrestler and mayor of Metro City. Yeah, 1993 NES, so extremely late. Like three years after the Super Nintendo came out. Let's do Guy. I like the... I like the idea... Okay, already the graphics in this are excellent. Dude, he has a flip animation for jumps. That was like the coolest shit ever when we were kids. If you could jump and do flips, your game was awesome. Dude, there's an EXP system. Look at the bottom. Oh, cool. You can mash. Can I do double buttons? Ooh, it does a spin kick. I bet that does damage if you hit people though. Like to yourself. Usually games like this do that. Okay, I like this already. Select doesn't seem to do anything. Start. Typical pause. Okay. Oh, that was sick! He did this, like, chin kick. Like, guile. I mean, it is Capcom. Right? Dude, this is already cool. <laughs> it controls really well. I like this kind of, like, art style. That's exactly what I just said, Arcade Park. Correct. Three years. <laughs> Thank you for repeating it for those who did not hear me. That's correct. Oh, man, that chin kick is so cool. Who's that guy? Oh, he blocked. Wait, let's try this, this spin kick. I want to try it. 
Yeah, that did hurt me, but it did a lot of damage to them. I wonder if this has a dash. Let's see. It doesn't look like it. So double tap doesn't do dash. Can I hold punch to do anything? Doesn't seem to. Okay. I wonder if when I level up, I get new moves. That would be pretty cool. This guy blocks a lot. There we go. Jump kicks. We have a second record of these important facts. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We got him. Oh, how did I do that throw? That was cool. Oh, you can grab people. Okay. Nice. I like that. The throw seems like it's going to be useful if you can get it down. I think I have five lives. Yeah, okay. I have five lives. Bit spongy? Yeah, it's tough so far. Well, I like the animated cafe sign. Does that say love you in graffiti? We love you? <laughs> Aw, isn't that nice of them? Aw, what a nice message for us. It says, love you, we, we, you, love. <laughs> Uh, sail. Can I go in here? Oh man. Imagine if it was like River City Ransom. You could like buy food and equipment. Or not equipment, but like techniques. Probably not. It's not this kind of game. River City Ransom is like one of my all time favorite beat em ups. That game is awesome. Two room. 5556262. Five, five, six, two, six, two. All right, everybody. You know what to call. Call the fake phone number. Yeah. Oh, the throw. It seems easier to get him to throw if you come from the top there. Yeah, like that. Let's try and do more throw. Oh, he's trying to avoid it. It was one of your first beat him up, Susumu, and still holds a place in your heart. It still holds up. That game's really good. I beat it with Ash, uh, said hi on her channel like a year or two ago. It was fun. Movie now open. They did a good job with the pixel art in this. Also bonus points for not having a timer. <laughs> so I leveled up. I don't know what that did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. The game introduces a leveling system in which the player gains experience by defeating enemies. Okay. The, the experience awarded depends on the move, finishing move used. When you move to the next level, it increases attack power and maximum health. Oh, okay. When they reach level four, they get an additional special attack. Ah, okay. And it varies by character. That's cool. Okay. That's good to know. That's really good to know. There you go, chat. It is late era NES, yeah. Yo, what's up, Madam Molasses? How are you today? Can I go down this ladder? Darn. It's almost like a tease. Okay, maybe we avoid those. I was gonna like, oh, let's punch it. Let's not. Let's just not get hit by those instead. <laughs> let's just avoid those. Look at that guy. That guy has got a hairstyle. That's impressive. He also has a mountain of hit points. Holy crap. Am I fighting like a freaking soccer referee right now? What the hell was that guy? I think I look like he's wearing a referee. Con oh, I can hit him with the other guy. I just hit a dude with another dude. That's like one of the most fun things you can do in beat em ups. Hit a dude with another dude. Everybody likes that. <laughs> There we go. Almost got him. There we go. I have no health. Look at that. Is that Hulk Hogan? Did Hulk Hogan just debate me? Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he totally tricked us, and then we fell in the pit. The the what is it called? The pitfall? I think it was a pitfall. Heh <laughs> heh. 
I am Thrasher. You know, you're Hulk Hogan, but all right. You're legally distinct Hulk Hogan. We'll go with that. <laughs> oh, man. Nice, Darmacus. Do -do 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 Little lemon, lemon thingies, lemon drops. My mouth's really dry. Ruler of this city. Are you? I thought that was Hagar, but all right. Bow down before me. You could say yes or no. Okay. I am superior. Maybe you're stronger than you look. Like Why don't you join us? Fish lips. More fish lips. Okay. I don't believe you. You're too much of a mama's boy. <laughs> it was a but thou must, but amusingly. Okay. Oh, he's got he's got an attack animation when he gets up. Okay, so we can't do that. All right, we gotta be careful. Oh, oh, oh! That does a lot of damage. I like that the hitbox extends up a little bit. So I don't have to be like perfectly lined up with him to hit him. Let's try to block him with jump kicks. This might work, chat. Safety straps, right? This might work. Oh! He wised up. <laughs> <laughs> he don't like that anymore. He likes his corners, though, doesn't he? He really does. Yep, he's going to the other corner now. Okay. Oh, oh my face! There we go. There we go. We got him. We got him. Round two. I think it's up Riverside. I should have done the spin kick to kill him. You get more experience that way. Is that a bum with throwing knives at me? That bum has a lot of hit points. Oh, man. The throw is pretty strong. Who the heck is that? Is that what's her name? Poison? I think it's poison. There you go. Oh, that only gave me two experience. That's not worth it. That gave me either two or four. Throws seem to give a lot of experience. I should be throw killing everyone I can if that's right. Hold on. Hold on. Was it? It was one-sided as Bruce Lee versus O'Hara? Hey, what's up, K-Dog? O'Hara. Why is that familiar? What is that? Round two, fight! Oh, wait, wrong game! Yeah, yeah. Close. Is it any NES game called Cowboy Kid? One of the villains gives you the option of joining them, but if you say yes, you instantly die. Yeah, there's an RPG that does that, too. You might know it. Somebody in chat probably knows it. Oh. No, no, no. Stop kicking me. Four points for a throw kill. Throw kills are very important for leveling. Hitting a dude with another dude. Time honor tradition. I wonder how you get more lives in this. This is hard. I hope it has continues. What's an RPG? I don't know. Final Fantasy? No, it doesn't do that. Final Fantasy? No. Dargan Crusade? I'm not sure what that is. Yes, Cody. Correct. Dragon Warrior does that. Yep. If you say yes, you just game over. Oh, I 
I kill him with the throw, and then I kill the other guy with the the throw too, and I only got one point for him getting hit by it. All right, so if we want to correctly min-max leveling, we want to kill people like this. You get a lot more experience that way. <laughs> no clue it's an RPG. Yeah, I don't think you would know, Mr. JRPG. You've never heard of it. It's too complicated for you to understand. <laughs> Yo, Xerxes, how's it going, man? A rocket-propelled grenade? Don't silly. Be silly. That's not a game. Yo, but I've used them in video games, so that must mean it's true. Go. Did I just do a different kind of... Oh, interesting. If you push down an attack when you jump kick, he does like a flying knee instead. That's really cool. So there's even more moves. <laughs> How about that? That's a level. That's a level. What are we, level three now? We're level three. So one more level, we'll get a, a new move. We'll get a new move and a single level. We just gotta try and finish everyone with a throw. Cause this is tough. This is actually pretty tough. Oh, I got surrounded, not good. Quit running! <laughs> Did you see him running away? You jerk. There you go. Give me them points. <clears throat> oh, interesting, Sendoba. Bruce Lee versus Harris from Enter the Dragon. Oh, I haven't seen that in, gosh, like 15 years at least. That's why it was familiar, though. Thank you. Question of the night, I say, look. Yeah, what makes a good beat em up? She says, a reasonable plot and good controls. I think good controls are very important, too. I think that's super important, Sayla. I, I am on the same page as you there. Oh, wow, she had, like, no hit points. I didn't get to do the throw. Go running! I gotta grab you! There we go. Ugh. Oh, these guys are hard to grab. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen any, like, item pickups of any kind yet. This may not have any. I can punch him to stun him a little bit and then throw him. That seems to work pretty well. <clears throat> Question of the night, vigorous punching and grunts. <laughs> that, that can make them better, yeah. Okay, dog, you like memorable character designs and environments are more important than the story to beat him up for you? Gotcha. I think environments, as long as they're varying, do play an important part in a beat him up. Because if every stage looks the same, it gets visually uninteresting very fast. The ones you like are a mix of good control, feel, music, and visual style. Which one stood out to you? Good gameplay and varied combat, otherwise beat-em-ups can get very repetitive very fast. Oh, it's this guy again! Whoa! The mountain of hit points himself. Oh, she's too far. There we go. Oh. oh, he does a shoulder charge. Wow. This game is actually pretty hard, I gotta say. We're only on stage two, and I've died, what, four times? Four times? It's pretty tough. Get the throw. Get the throw. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, the flying knee is a three-point kill. Mm. Put it, put 
Your response is question of the night. I know. Yeah, I know. Turtles in Time is a classic example. Ooh, it's, oh, my eye. There's something in it. Sorry, folks. Just give me one minute. Trying to think of others he vibed with? There is definitely something in my eye. <sighs> one sec. Camera is hiding now. It's almost always like a cat hair. Like an errant cat hair got in there. And it just like lives in One there. One more month to Nice. Yo, video wizard. <laughs> Thank you. 68 months. Wow. I don't know if I got it. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. All right, let's go. Look at that. That's a long time. Thank you so much, Video Wizard. Appreciate that. What do we got? Barrels. Barrel! Oh, you can punch the barrels! They don't give an experience, though. What is that? That's the... All oh, the barrels are for items! I had no idea! I wonder how much experience you get for a killing with this. Four. I have shuriken. How many do I have? Do a barrel roll. I would love to. Okay. Not a lot. We're out already. But that was cool. That was damn cool. Almost at a level four. We're almost at level four, chat. We can get a, a special move soon. There we go. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> you have to double tap forward and attack. Oh, man. That guy fucked me up trying to do that. Gives you two points if you kill with it. Harpoon! See you, Ron Ken. Thanks for hanging out. You're too fat and lazy to oppose me. Really? Big mouth, little sword. Tell me what you know or I'll clobber you. Wait, is that me saying that? I think so. Are you done flapping those lips of yours good? Because I'm going to chop you down to size. This is full of short jokes because they're all chibi characters. <laughs> really? This really is a satire. <laughs> oh. Okay, he has the get up attack animation too. Ooh, okay. I don't know how to hit this guy. What the hell? Oh, this is bad. Okay. Maybe old reliable jump kicks, right? Let's stick with the old reliable jump kicks. Oh, shit. Jump kicks, not flying knee. Last gasp. We're in our last gasp. This is bad. Really bad. Really bad. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. There we go. Even at an angle, I can still get him. Where are you going? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Okay. I'll play. Oh! Okay. Oh, okay. Got lucky. That hitbox was like behind him. Woo. Maximum cheese. Oh, he got me. Oh. Continue. We have three continues. Yes. Okay, cool. Scratch that. Cheese for no one. Should we stick with guy chat or should we pick a different character? What do you think? <clears throat> What do you think? Oh. Grinksy says Hagar in all caps. Mr. Mr. JRPG wants Hagar. Send Hagar. We got we got we have some clamoring for Hagar. Let's give it a shot. Alright, looks like you had to start the whole stage over. 
Oh man, he needs more experience than the last guy to level. <laughs> that sucks. Well, he hits like a damn truck, that's for sure. <laughs> he just does like a butt slam. Oh my god. Oh, the suplex! Wicked! Ow! Jeez. He's a lot harder to play as. I can't get close to enemies. Oh, this is this is bad. He's way harder to play as. Okay. What's his special move? Okay, that's cool. This is like spinning fist move, kind of like Zangief. That's cool. Suplex! Dude, how do you play this guy? He gets his ass kicked. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, mistakes were made. This is really bad. There we go. Oh, I'm already dead. Okay. We get five lives though, so that's cool. This game is very hard. It's very hard. Hey! Ow! No! Say his name and he shall appear. Or suplex someone and he shall appear. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> Dharma Games, thank you for 202 bits. Thank you so much. The glass cannon? Yeah. He is. He should be not that. He should very much not be a glass cannon. He's the biggest, most burly looking guy. He should be able to take the most damage. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there's another guy. The suplex like is like an AoE. It's like an area clear attack. But it's really hard to get close enough to do it. Do 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 do. Badoo. Okay. Are we gonna get barrels? Cause I need health. Damn, okay. Dead already. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they did our boy dirty in this game. He's he's he might be the hardest character to play as. There we go. He doesn't have a varied jump attack like the other guy did. He just has the one butt slam. Did you see that? I just headbutt that person. What's her name? Poison, right? I headbutt her instead of suplexing. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, I actually like that. There you go. Oh, the shoulder charge. That's fucking cool. It does damage me when I do it, though. <clears throat> Damn it. Let me do the thing. Woo! Oh, this is so hard. Damn, I wanted to try to see how much damage the headbutts do. <clears throat> That's all right. That's good. That's totally what we need. Oh, it didn't damage me, at least. I think. <laughs> Man, poison's rude in this game. How many points does that give you? Four. The headbutt kill is four points. 
but so is the suplex so there's probably not much reason to do it more damage probably <clears throat> oh that guy could slide too oh we have a new move now let's see what it does oh we got the cutscene It says fighter and graffiti on the ground. What's up, Owl Anonymous? What's up? Yeah, we're using the Mister for everything tonight. It's just easier. So we got definitely some arcade titles in there. Although one of them doesn't work on the Mister, so I might not play it. We'll see. It'll be a surprise. <clears throat> You're no match for me. I am the Slam Master. Get out of my way before I stomp you flat. Okay. Let's see what his special move is. Uh, it's get stabbed in the face oh wow <laughs> uh, it's cool but i'm probably never gonna hit this guy with it yeah he's just gonna do that <laughs> he's just gonna do that do 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 damn you wish the enemies were named yeah, they're not in this. I'm surprised that there's just an NES final fight in general. Oh. Whoa. Get back here. There we go. This is Sadom. He's in Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, that's cool. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Just butt stomps for days. That seems to be the best way to fight this guy. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, butt stop your way to victory. There you go. We got him. A few of the Final Fight characters went over to Street Fighter Alpha. Ah, okay. Bonus stage. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Welcome to bonus day. Ah, I wonder what these do, like what the point of this is. He's so slow. Oh man. You got one up. Oh, look at that. What's up, Sherm? How you doing? This is my first time playing this. This is cool. We're doing a beat 'em up night tonight. Trying to pick stuff a lot of people haven't seen or heard of. It's definitely in there. 1993 NES game. Super late. Super Nintendo had been out three years at that point. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what that was, but it seems like it's super easy for the enemy to counter. So we should probably never do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. Oh, I did it on accident. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell that is. Maybe I just don't know how to use it. That's probably it. Oh, I knocked them both off sick! Hell yeah. Sodom, Relento, Guy and Cody, and Poison. They all went to Alpha? Mmm, okay. <clears throat> all right, let's go. Bye. <laughs> Just unceremoniously drop them in. <laughs> oh, they did the same to me, rude. Oh man, that was wicked. You get way less points if you do that, though. I don't know what that charge is.
Yeah, I have no idea. It seems like it's a bad idea to use it, though. It seemingly leaves me vulnerable every time. The Zoomplexes and the Butt Stomps are the way to go. I did like the other character. He played better. He was more fun. I didn't feel like I was constantly getting my ass kicked with him. I wonder how, uh, what's his name? Cody is. We haven't used him yet. We do have continues. So if we get to that point, we can try him out next. <clears throat> do Punch him in the balls. Oh, or get kicked in the balls. <laughs> <clears throat> he tried it. He tried it. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> These ones aren't too smart, are they? <clears throat> Boy, the enemies have a lot of hit points in this game. <clears throat> Alright, I think this is the only move it gives you. And I'm not really sure what this does. It's really hard to do. That's really hard to do. I like the music in this. I mean, Capcom always had good music, though, back in the day. I wonder how the music is in their newer games. It feels like it's a lot different. I don't hear a lot of people talking about their soundtracks anymore, like they used to. It's not the same anymore, is it? <clears throat> oh! Getting beat up by a freaking hockey referee or whatever that guy is. <laughs> I don't know what he is. Not your style with their modern music? You know, I haven't heard what the music is like in Street Fighter 5 or 6, so I don't know. The music was cool in the RE2 remake, but it was just like mostly atmospheric. So there's like a DLC for it where you can use the original soundtrack, like all the sound cues are perfect for it. And it was way better that way. Like supremely better. Oh! Hell yeah, full heal. Nice. I think that gave me some experience, too. All right, we're still in this. Oh, I wish I had that move. That move's cool. You know, it'd be cool if this game had, like, unlockable characters. <clears throat> I don't think it does, but that would be neat. I always like when beat-em-ups do that. They give you, like, that progression sense. Like, oh, you beat the game? All right, you can play as this character now. Or you can do this game mode now. That, to me, is always cool. Like, Castle Crashers did that really well. Castle Crashers was really good at that. <clears throat> Floor ham or wall turkey? Which is better? It's a tough choice. <laughs> it's a tough choice. You prefer table sandwich. <clears throat> it's an acquired taste, but I, I respect it. I'm Abigail, the toughest fighter in Mad Gear. You've been lucky so far, but your luck has just run out. The others look tougher than you, jerk. I'm going to shove those words down your throat. Okay. <clears throat> Did he just kiss him? That's gross. That's, that's, that's definitely not consensual. 
Oh, he's got an uppercut. <laughs> oh, this guy messed me up. Wow. Let us go get the kids from fish lips. More fish lips. All right, let's try Cody. I haven't tried Cody yet. Cody has no lag on his attacks. What's his like? Oh, he can do that. Wait, does this have turbo support? Sometimes it does. Wrong button. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> the dick blocked it, but that was so cool. Oh, sick. He's got the short Ukin. Wicked. <clears throat> Go in the hole. It says he's good with knives. How do I get knives, though? Dude, just... Oh, hell yeah. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's cheating. Why does he block? He gets to block it. No one else does. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I almost overcut it into the pit. <laughs> that would have been bad. That wouldn't have been good. Oh. This game is hard, but this is really cool. Yeah, not much you can do there. All right, we're going to go in the secret hole. That guy just has reach advantage. We got to use the kicks. There was a knife there, and it disappeared. <laughs> That's not cool, man. Oh. I want to do that slide. That's so cool. What's his, like, super move? Oh, he's got the spin kick, too. All right. Same. Good Lord, Shadbrock. That is creepy. Thank you for the 50 bits. <laughs> Freaking Chade mouth close up. Good old Chade. Oh, he's, a good, he's a good streamer. He's been around Twitch a long time. Freaking retro god Chade. Ads in a minute? Okay. We're going to pause gameplay as soon as those start. We'll take a quick break. I'm going to get a snack. I invite you to do the same. Or go pee or whatever you got to do. I always pause uh, gameplay for ads. So we're all on the same page and watching ads, of course, does help support me just a little bit. <clears throat> this is a good way to help support. It doesn't require anything for you other than just, I don't know, muting a tab or going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, I like turbo for this. That's pretty nice. Tell me how you all feel about turbo. What's the best turn-based RPG you've played ever? I've played dozens, so I don't have a number one. I just don't. There's too many that are good. I don't have a very number one. It's like, for a long time, I thought it was me being indecisive. And it's like, no, it's because there's that many that I've played that are that good. It's just, that's just what it is. I feel like... If I picked one, I would just be doing it for the sake of the question and not telling the truth. So I'd rather tell the truth. <laughs> There's too many to pick from. It's like, what's your favorite song? There's literally like billions of songs. Like, it just doesn't work. That's just not how I work, I guess. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm -mm. This is really hard, but it's good, Primi. I don't think it's multiplayer. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. A lot of times Final Fight games weren't. At least the console versions were, weren't. Which I just thought was strange. Do the thing. Cool. <laughs> That's so dope. Wait, how did I do that? Oh, there's an easier way to do that. Maybe it's because I'm doing turbo. <laughs> If I'd recommend you something to play right now, well, what system? 
do you have, feel like playing right now? Do Because that's usually how I do it. I narrow it down by system. Do you have a particular console you feel like playing right now? <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Oh, barrels. Okay. Healing. Oh, that's a full heal. I just got a knife and then lost it. Give me that knife back. <laughs> All right, he's the expert with knives. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> oh, he just threw it. Well, so much for that knife. Preemie, what are you doing? What are you doing, Preemie? I wonder how many points you get if you kill with this. Let's find out. We're going to find out. You get hit in the back with a knife. Okay. Dude, let me play the game with your stupid knives. Whoa, that was cool. All right, I have 89. We gotta kill this guy. Oh, okay. <sighs> we'll try again. <laughs> SNES or GBA? If SNES, I would say Earthbound or Chrono Trigger. GBA, I don't know. I've never played any JRPGs on a GBA. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I'd never owned one until like, I don't know, like five years ago. I can tell you what's popular on the GBA, kind of, but otherwise, I don't know. All right, we're gonna fight Abigail again. Let's do. Let's do this. Yes. Oh, mid attack. I'm trying to do so much. Oh, that was cool. There you go. <clears throat> What's up, Fairling Yang? How are ya? This game is really tough. Oh, right. He has a rising attack. And I don't think you do in this game. I don't think you can do rising attacks. Oh, come on. He just has anti air. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Just do that. Or die again. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck this guy. There. Four hours of raid progression, Final Fantasy 14. Oh. That sounds like a job. Okay, we got some dope jams right now. Let's go. I'm turning it up. I, I love the color palette usage in this game. They really maximized the NES for this. Oh, come on. Can't bad. What? That was weird. He blocked it! There you go. Throw kills. <laughs> there you go. Throw does good damage. Oh, you can miss the throw and get kicked in the butt. Literally, he kicked me in the butt. Actual swift kick to the ass. <laughs> that uppercut is super cool. It was really fun. That's good. Dude, how many points did that just give me? Who is this guy? Oh. It was the hockey referee. He was just crouching. <laughs> oh, I missed. I got kicked to the butt again. I still have not seen how many points I get for killing somebody with that. He just blocks it. What a dick. I just expect this guy to block everything. Just throw him. There you go. <laughs> you can't block that. 
That's more like it. Keep out. Wait, why? Oh, there's another guy. Okay. What? Six points. You get six if you kill him with that. Dude. Oh, come on. Oh, it was a cutscene. <laughs> All right, fine. Whatever. Oh, we got an elevator stage. And we're dead. Oh, okay. Oh, you can push him off. Okay. Oh, jeez. You can get pushed off too, though. Oh, you can very push them off. Not a, why are you doing that? Okay, cool. Okay. No, 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 stab me. Dude, the, his throws have reach. They work really well here. Oh, the surprise air. I think I just uppercut a dagger. Oh, jeez. He has that... Did you see that attack he just did? It's like that guy, those guys from Streets of Rage 2. Those, like, alien dudes. Oh, I just jumped off. <laughs> Great. Oh, man, there's healing. Like, oh, that was really tough. You probably need this. Like, yeah, if I hadn't jumped off the edge. Oh, look at this. You can kind of like vary the attack in the air. How did I do that? Oops. I know you could do that. <clears throat> All right. Well, that we might as well pick that up. That gave me 32 points. Wow. <laughs> Dude, food is mad EXP in this game. Fujiyama Geisha. 10 o'clock open. This is where we get the Geisha. Do, 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 do. Give me that six points. <clears throat> ah, those block dudes are back. go come on one more there you go six points we're level five this guy's pretty good <laughs> who's your favorite so far you look a little run to this guy again here have some water no you dare to refuse my gift you have insulted me and for that you must be destroyed <laughs> No. No, I'm not ready. No. No. I refuse your water, J Rock. I wonder what would happen if you say yes. Oh, this actually works on him. You like guy the best, Sinzoba? I broke his sword. Oh, good. Now he teleports. Cody's been not very many opinions on favorite. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him. <clears throat> Yo, are you all bored or chat, are you bored with this game? Do you want me to play something else? You all fell asleep on me. <laughs> There's been no sounds, no reactions, no talk. Are we still live? Are you that bored with this game? Is this a bad one? Should we move on? Uh, 
I'm just trying to go with the vibe tonight. What? Yo, who's that? That's Neko Mancer Ellie. Yeah, I have a metric. If nobody says anything, does any commands, does any sounds or any kind of reaction at all for five minutes, it usually means the game is a dud. <laughs> oh, that's the first time that's happened in years. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Ellie? What were you up to tonight? What do you got? What do you got for us? You're doing something in the retro category. You did something in retro category? What are you doing? Do, 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 do. It's funny when I bring this up, everyone starts talking about why they're distracted, and like I get that. There's there's people here that like if everyone's distracted, that means this game is not good. <laughs> This game feels like a ripoff of Final Fight, really? Mm, that's an interesting interpretation. <clears throat> a, a cute game called Euphoria. What system is that on? I've never heard of that. What is that? Perfect Spade, how are you? Nermi, how's it going? <clears throat> Good to see you. Oh, I'll get that hydrate for you, J-Ron. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Is this mighty final fight? Yes, but this community hates it. <laughs> <sighs> Feels bad. It's on NES and never came out in the States. What kind of game is it? This is like a rare game too. This came out in 93 in the NES. Isn't that pretty wild? That's pretty awesome. Fix your AC. I don't know how to fix that. I have no idea. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop. Yeah, it's Mighty Final Fight. It came out in 1993 in the NES, three years after the Super Nintendo, so it's super late. A lot of people never saw this. And it's like a satire, a self-satire of the first Final Fight. That's a lot of charm. What can I tell you, man? It's put everyone to sleep. <laughs> it put everyone to sleep. <clears throat> I see Jar Grill in America, but Ellie said it didn't come out in America. It's like a Metroidvania. <clears throat> Ooh, I love Metroidvanias. But you are four silly animals. That reminds me of Little Samson. And also, there was another game that was Japanese only. I played at NES called Kokoron, which was really good. Yeah. Yo, Master B, thank you for 67 months. Thank you. So yeah, like here's there's the thing. You have lurkers and you have chatters, right? You need both. Pretty much. If you only have lurkers, then that means that the chatters have nothing that they want to talk about at that point, right? And usually it's because I'm either doing something wrong or the game is bad. <laughs> that's what happens. <clears throat> the lurkers are going to lurk and I, that's what they should do, right? That's, that's what they should do, but it shouldn't be 100% of everyone. <laughs> it should not be 100%. So, so that's that the fault lies on me there. And I have to either just quit this game and do the next or figure it out. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> so wait, what? Did you just start playing that tonight, Ellie? And thank you so much for rating. I appreciate that. Um, or have you been like, how is it hard? Because I've never heard of that. I don't have any reference for that game. Usually NES games are pretty quick. Do welcome back, Chris. The game has decent ASMR for lurkies. Absolutely. Yeah. It's got good tunes and noises. Do, 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 do. Yeah, absolutely, Elysia. Eat in silence. It's a compliment to the chef. You're enjoying watching it. Thank you. I'm glad the lurkers are enjoying it. Now I need to figure out why the chatters aren't. <laughs> mm. 
you just started it tonight and it's progressing pretty fast from what you could tell but it's a first playthrough maybe there's more map but it seems chill and small I'm gonna have to look into that game because I never heard of it before you told me about it you're an emoter let's see that's a chatter yeah Okay, so Salonka, that's just proving to me this is this game is definitely part of the problem. <clears throat> it's making someone who would normally chat not want to chat anymore. That is a big issue to me. Cause it's like it's like one thing if we're having a conversation, right? But it's like I have sound effects, I have channel point redemptions, like we have the Pokebot, like there's all sorts of stuff. Nothing happened for five minutes. None of it. Not a single message of any kind. Not a single reaction, single sound effect. It's better. usually the game things get at that point. That's it's usually base. the game. Because like I said, I've been streaming, what, eight and a half years? I stream to hang out with everybody, have conversations, give them something interesting to watch and react to. And when that's not happening, I'm not having fun anymore. I'm just not enjoying myself because I'm not getting why I'm here at that point. <laughs> like, I, if, if I just wanted to play a game in silence with nothing to bounce off of, I wouldn't be live. I could just do that on my own. <laughs> Heberiki? What is Heberiki? Mm. Hour long speed run. I mean, speed run doesn't mean anything. There are games that are 80 hours you can beat in three seconds. Like, a speed run doesn't matter. Like, what? how long is the game? Not how long is the speed run? What are you talking about? It's hard. Sound effects, reactions, I don't know, anything. Do, do, do. This game isn't scratching that itch in your brain that makes you want to interact and share your thoughts on it. Dude, what's up, famous adventurer? How are you? Alright, let's move on. This game has definitely caused a problem. Let's do the next game. Let's see, how many games do I have on here that we can look at? One, two, three. Four more. We have four more we can hit up. So plenty of stuff to look at. Oh, cool. Tell him I said hi, famous adventurer. Yeah, tell him I said hi. That's awesome. <clears throat> All right, that was Mighty Final Fight. I thought it was a cool game. We could do a game many of you probably have heard of, or we can do one you haven't heard of. Most likely. <laughs> uh, you were the only one pumped for it? Yeah, sorry, dude. I don't know what to tell you. It put everyone to sleep. <sighs> do, 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 do. So what do you think, chat? A game you've probably heard of or one you haven't? What do you think? I'll give you the I'll give you the I'll give you the choice here. <clears throat> People are basing their retro wait what? You always think there's people adjusting their lives, few lags. Few lags? Hmm. You want the hidden gems? Something new and exciting? Have n not heard of, haven't, haven't, not heard of, haven't, 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 haven't. Okay. Woo! Woo! I think that's pretty... Yeah, that's a lot of heavens. <laughs> Believe in aliens? I... I'm proud of you, I guess. <laughs> cool. You didn't catch enough of that game to give an opinion one way or another. It's all good. Do, do, do. Let's see the one you might not have heard of. That is most of these. All right, let's do one that I do know that I beat yesterday uh, at Galloping Ghost. 
but I've also beat it on another channel too. It's actually really good. And it's like, it makes no sense. This is a game that when you see the title of it, you're going to be, you're going to say to yourself, what the hell is this game? It doesn't make any sense because the title is called Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> Uh, no joke. And I was like, wait a minute. Those are a lot of words that shouldn't really go together, but but they do. And somehow this game is awesome. I don't know why, but this game is actually awesome. It's a beat-em-up that's balanced, and it's an arcade. That never happens. <laughs> no, Batman is one word. So, yeah. Yeah, it's one word. Ninja Baseball Batman. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, there you go. Ninja. We need those credits chat. <laughs> Put in those coins. All right, so we're robot baseball players that are based on real baseball players from the 90s. Yo, Dima, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. So this is Jose Canseco. This is probably... Hey, there was a timer. I'm resetting. Let's do that again. Yo, thank you for 33 bits. We're hyping. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sound command win when you clip it and then submit the clip as a channel point redemption. Same as always. I, we don't add sounds. You do. <laughs> you, the chat, the community adds sounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is, I think, Ryan Sandberg. This is Roger Clemens. And this is Daryl Strawberry. Yeah. Okay. One day, six baseball items were stolen. Okay, there it goes really fast. I can't read it. <laughs> that was too fast. I couldn't read it. Okay. There we go. There you go. You got the super move. Hold on. OSD pause on. Thank you. Okay. That's what I needed. I want it to pause when I do this so that I can like, you know, look at chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of the robots has two bats, two tiny bats. He's the dual wheeled baseball player. What system? Arcade. It's arcade. The rest of the games tonight will be arcade. Whoop, whoop. It is just like unironically a good game that makes no sense. Woo, I got dinner. There you go. Grab him and do the super move and you you just stab him in the face with a baseball bat and throw dynamite at him. Cause that's what you do in baseball, right? Oh, what are those boxes? Give me. Oh, I thought they had goodies in them. <laughs> What's up, Reg? Oh, I got run over by an airplane. Okay. You know, as you do, this game looks badass. Nice. I see what you did there. Let's break these chairs. Maybe they have healing. What the hell are those things? <laughs> oh man, this game is so unhinged. Ooh, food. Nice. Hello? There you go. Oh, he got me! like turtles in time with baseball well you could say that about a lot of beat-em-ups right 
Well, now we have cheerleaders suddenly. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Oh, he got me. Straw's bat is two bats taped together. Is it really? That's funny. No, it's not. A lot of batters have tape on the on the on the handle. <laughs> there we go. Bats wielding bats, yeah. What's up, Neo? How are you? Oh man, the iframes are wicked. Nice, thanks, Fairly. Hell yeah. All right, let's try Roger. Roger's a big boy. Oh, this thing can iframe. There you go. Oh, that was sick. How did I do that? There we go. We got him. Get the food. We get the golden bat. There you go. Got the golden bat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you would watch baseball that was like this? Same. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would, yeah. I would. Teenage Ninja Baseball Batmans. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's that's true, yeah. Teenage Ninja Baseball Batmans. That's what we're playing. Suddenly we have a car. We got to run everything over. Because reasons. You don't need reasons to do that. You just do it, okay? No reasons are needed. Whoa! You think of playing Bassmaster Fishing on PC? I have... I don't think I've ever played any fishing games like that. Are they good? I have to hurry. I have a plane to fight. Don't you mean to catch? No. Correct. That's right. It's time to kick up and chew ass. Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my god. That's so ruthless. Uh. Home run! I don't know what these are, but they make creepy noises. And they have teeth. Oh, it bit my face! Since you wanted to see it, it's a responsibility to make it happen. I appreciate your initiative. It'll be a good one. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, God! <laughs> the animations are so good. Uh, I'll take that. Is there a dash super move? No. Okay. Awesome. What is that? Like a calamari or something. <laughs> uh, reminds you of Simpsons arcade game? It's a beat em up. They are all the same. <laughs> They're all the same. We're playing beat em ups, Premi. They're all beat em ups. So, yeah. Every game tonight should remind you of that. <laughs> they have some weight. Yeah, they even do like the facial expressions, too. Oh, let's do Jose. Let's try Jose. He's probably like the well rounded character. Oh, it's car time. Let's go. Yeah, run him over. Oh, you can push a button for speed. Nice. <laughs> Just zip it around. Okay, that was awesome. I love the little home run thing you do. It reminds me of like in uh, Smash Brothers when you try to do like the, the power attack with Ness. It's the same thing. It's like the same thing. It's hard to hit him with, but it knocks him flying. 
Grand Theft Baseball Ninja. I'd play that. Would you? Okay, I missed with that. I didn't miss with that. I don't know if this came out in the US. I'm not sure. If it did, I have to imagine it wasn't common. I just ate some candy and then like a bucket of eel. It looked like a bucket full of eels. Dude, I like the animation of the water in the back. Yo, what's up, Future Proof? How are ya? Oh, the sick dodge! A baseball-themed RPG titled Knights of the Diamond? Dude, I would play the hell out of that. That sounds cool. Sounds like it'd be hard to pull off, but... Wow! What are these? Oh, he got me! He got me! Damn. There we go. I got him. Golden ball. Oh, I dropped it. Pizza power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this the golden ball? Let's go to Vegas. Suddenly, we're going to Vegas. Oh, shit. I don't know if Turbo is going to work here. I'm really bad at mashing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Great Time over. That baseball just stuck its tongue out at me. Were they candied eels keyboard? Maybe. That's something I clearly associate with baseball. Right? Totally normal. You don't want to go back to Vegas? Same. I did not like it there. <laughs> I like that we have a mash emote now that you all can use. It's as if the game prophesies the ace relocation. Oh? Steak for $3.99. Old time economy. Alright, let's try Rhino with his dual wheeled bats. He can wall jump. Wow. Whoa, what the hell did I just do? I don't know. But that was awesome. I have no idea. We need to do that again. Okay, that was cool. I don't know what I did. Boy, he can really swing. All oh, car time. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I did that. I'm doing like special magic moves somehow. I gotta figure that out. I know how to do that. You grab and super move. We can part to fly around. That's a good talent to have. <laughs> Visit your parent. Wow. Wow, future. That's awesome. 96 and she's spunky. <laughs> That's really cool. This guy has re really mysterious moves somehow. I don't know how I'm doing that, but it's cool. Food! I wonder if it's something to do with like when you do it during a combo. Oh, oh God. 
<laughs> Get it off. Okay, okay. Blood Bowl. I've heard of that. I don't know what it is. Whoa! Whoa! Ran in by Kill Shot Kitty. I just got burned to death in the butthole. That's not good. Was that Susumo? Welcome back. Or you were here the whole time? I'm not sure. Neon Babam. Are you doing? Sevis? Kill Shot Kitty? Fallout 76, do more of that 76 action. How was that? Welcome everybody. Thank you, Kirksey, for shouting them out. Appreciate it. How am I hit? Whoa, there's a giant kitty statue. We are doing a beat em up night tonight, everybody. If you don't know me, I'm Phenomenon. I am obsessed with retro games. I have ADHD. Cats run the show. Conversation dictates the stream. I thought we would do a themed night tonight of beat em up games. Many of which you've probably never seen or heard of. This is definitely one of them. Most people here have probably never seen this. This game is a riot. There we go. called Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> it's actually really good. Uh, it's actually really good. We are here the whole time. Ah, oh, multitasker. Impressive. How do I break? No, I want to I wanna play slots. Can I play slots? I can't play slots. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ninja Baseball Batman. We're just for some reason, Sebus. We're in we're in Vegas. They're just like, let's go to Vegas. And then they're like, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is a global panda? What is that? Is that something we're going to know about? Blah. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's that's angry money. That money is not our friend. That's a lot of dynamite. Oh, what the? There you go. There you. Is he dead? Nope. Are you dead? Ow! Oh, he killed me. He's not dead. <laughs> Giant dice! It's a unique... It's not, it's not even a nickname. That's the best part. That's literally what it's called, Sevis. <laughs> it's called Ninja Baseball Batman. Is its actual name. <laughs> oh, man. Nice! Oh, the burn! Oh man, he's messing me up. Kill Sean Kitty, how was your stream with Fallout 76? Thank you again for rating. Thank you. You could have picked any channel you came here. I really appreciate that. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you have a good time here. Let's get him! Oh, nice juggle. I broke pieces off of him. Got him. Let's go. Golden hat. Yeah, that's my golden hat. That's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Do, do. Oh, yeah. MLB has strict rules against gambling on games by their own players. A player got banned for life for it. Recently? Really? Clearly, I have not been following baseball this season. Only person I know of that that happened to was 40 years ago. Doo -doo. That's that's shocking. Especially given their 
advertisements are constantly full of gambling ads. <laughs> this is a wild game. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. What the hell? Okay, we're fading. Fighting. 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 Silhouettes of baseballs with shoes and giant blue wax lips. That's a thing that clearly happens in baseball all the time. What the? There, I got the bucket of candied eels for you fans out there. Oh, there's another one! <laughs> it was good, yeah? You loved the retro game, so you wanted to pop back in? Dude, thank you. Thank you. This is a wild game. You feel like you took some potent stuff and went on a trip? Yeah. This is a game where they're like, all right, let's just make this as creative and weird as possible. Got it. Got it. Oh, I don't know that acronym, Reg. Is that the acronym for this game? Is that what you mean? You thought by initial hearing of the title, it was the baseball simulation within Batman universe. Yeah, I thought it had something to do with Batman too. I was really confused. Really weird. What the heck? You eat these? Oh my God, this is so funny. There's sentient hamburgers rolling around. You have to knock the eyes off them and then eat them to heal. <laughs> what the hell, man? Uh, yo, what's up, Interior Keeper? How's it going? I'm getting beat up by a chest of drawers. This is out there. What? There. Yes. Okay. Oh, I thought they would drop health because they were fridges. They were fridges. Fridges should drop health. Yeah, thanks for 100 bits. How many did they use to make this game? The oh. answer is yes. Poopy, yes. Yes is, yeah, that's the right answer. How many drugs? Yeah, correct. Invisible enemies. Oh, that's sneaky. Oh, I got burned. Candied eels, a classic the baseball snack. All night. We can do more of them for sure. Thank you, Dharma Kiss. All the drugs. Can you do that all night? Oh, we can do more of them for sure. Oh, yay. There you go. Oh, I can go this way. Oh, pink. Let's get pink. No, what the? Pink. Why am I spinning? What the? Why am I spinning? <laughs> oh, God. That's so confusing. Oh, it's on my face. Okay, no more of that. Take that dinner table. The real boss of this stage. Oh, cool. You can steal all the food. <laughs> oh my God. I need a breath. This is wild. Oh, uh, let's take a breather. Uh, it does have something to do with Batman. Just not the Batman. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, man. He polishes his bat as an idle animation. Oh, he does. That's funny. You're right. You want to see the co-op of this? It's really fun co-op. Highly recommend it. Oh, there's a timer. Whoops. Let's see what Ragbot has it for you, KTO. Ghost Buffalo! Wow. <laughs> oh man. The stock sound effects scream. Oh. Okay. There you go. That does good damage. Oh, it does that teleport. Wait, what was going on there? Oh, I think I was running at an angle. Ah! <laughs> That's 
sound is certainly a choice. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus! Yeeted by a refrigerator. This is not the reality we envisioned for ourselves. Ghost Buffalo? Eladolf would eat this. He would eat this. Oh, I was trying to do the throw power. We'll do that. It doesn't do a lot of damage on him, though. Oh, we can't do a, a floor hit. Okay. Oh, whoa! Oh, crap! Here we go. That's the damage. There you go. That's the damage. with swords. That's not where those go. Nice. My balls are gone. Oh, the dodge. I was at him. Here. Kill? Oh, close. Very close. Sneaky. Dude, that did so much damage to me. Yeah, we need harpoon, don't we? We really do. Golden glove. Yeah, two balls. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. A bull's mounted head, a Persian rug, three swords, a refrigerator, a pair of shields, two violins, and candelabras for feet. Very creative, right? <laughs> this is like a 12-year-old's fever dream beat him up. It works. It really works, you know? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Doink. Oh, ooh, candy. That was a tiny heel. Very tiny. Oh, they killed me. Oh, no. What are we going to do? We're going to continue because that's what we do. Bam. Your brother picked up. You're going to Yellowstone? Oh, that's cool. I hope you have a good time. It sounds really interesting. I've never been out there. I'm going to California for the first time ever in September. For TwitchCon. I've never been to California. And TwitchCon's in San Diego this year. Or back in San Diego. Where they wanted it to begin with. I knocked his skeleton out? Oh, man. What is that? Is that a tanuki? Oh, its balls are hanging out. <laughs> Look. This is a tanuki. You can see his giant balls. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Huge ball fuck. Yeah, we, we got to get rid of that. <laughs> Uh. Oh, that's cool, Reg. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Pokeol. Some Pokeol. Sword St. Michael. How the heck are you? How was Pokeol stream? It's good to have you, folks. Elden Ring. Yeah, everybody's trying to get ready for the DLC that's coming out. What, in like a week? Comes out in like a week, right? What's up, Warren? That goes to brawling. Let's see. First game we beat in like 30 minutes. It was pretty cool. Are you two planning this together? <laughs> Are you all planning this together? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, wow. Hello. Pokio the Storyteller and Twilight Autumn raiding at the exact freaking same time. <laughs> uh, with the same amount of viewers, too, which is kind of interesting. That's really cool. There we go. You had no plan other than bedtime. That's fair. Thank you for raiding me. You could have raided anywhere else and you came here. We're doing beat-em-up night tonight. I wanted to do a themed night. 
of dank and jank beat em up games. Many of which most people have not heard of. It's been pretty fun so far. We did. What the hell was the name of that first game? What was it called? Spartan X2 on NES. It was basically Kung Fu 2. It was actually pretty good. We beat it. It was really easy though. We beat it like 30 or 40 minutes. Do, 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 do. Free rolls. Oh, we got an ad warning in the middle of all those raids. I didn't even see that. <laughs> There's so much happening. I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay. Is that how that works? I think that's how that works. Welcome to Ninja Baseball Batman. Defenestrating his own chair. And it started glowing. It was good, right? That sounds like a hook for a D&D quest. Yeah, that George guy, he gets really drunk every weekend and then he throws stuff. And this time he threw a chair out the window and it started glowing and it scared everyone. There's your D&D tavern quest. Pink. They're giving me free weapons. Those wicked screams. <laughs> this guy has shields and I don't like it. Or catcher's equipment, I guess. Come here! We're running away! Oh, I don't know what I got hit with, but that was painful. <laughs> All right, let's keep going with the straw here. The straw is reliable. Is this a toy factory? I think it was. The soundtrack is pretty good, isn't it? That's a lot of food. Shake, shake, shake. Oh my God, there's so much happening right now. <laughs> Holy shit. There we go. There you go. Wow. Whoa, quick recovery. Oh God, the fire sucks so much of this. Okay, we got him. What is that? Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Mechanical alligator. That thing looks cool. That's such a Ninja Turtles villain aesthetic. Do, 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 do. That sounds about five times, Selica, yeah. A cat's height is not when it's standing on all fours. It's toe to tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this thing's kicking my ass. They have incredible Hulk level of jumping ability. Yes, absolutely. Mog used to try to jump on the, f uh, the fridge when we first got him. And he finally stopped when he jumped up there and knocked off a giant glass bottle of Frank's Red Hot. Then it just broke and got everywhere. It smelled in here for days. He didn't like that smell and he learned never to do that again. <laughs> he really didn't like that. I don't know how I just did that like that. That was cool. There you go. Ground hits. Oh, I killed him. Let's go. Golden cleats. Mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> More like body length rather than height. Yeah, pretty much. Our final item is the memorial statue. Let's go do something. Bonus stage. Let's see if I can do this. 
Oh, I turned on auto fire well, somehow. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. I I guess I could have turned turbo on for that. I did that on accident. <laughs> We're in Chicago now. Oh, cool. We're home. Oh, look at the bad Chicago stereotypes from literally 110 years ago. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I do mean 110. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh! I used to live in a smaller town in like central Illinois during, during like, uh, what, the 2000s? And there were a lot of people that had never been to Chicago that just had the like dumbass assumption that Chicago was like one giant gang war. So I would just make shit up to fuck with them all the time. I would tell them my surgery scars. Or because I got shanked on the L train. <laughs> and they would totally believe it. <laughs> oh my god. I mean they were they were just like perpetuating this like dumbass stereotype. So I would just fuck with them. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I got shanked on the L train one time. They're like, really? No. No, not really. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, what do you think Chicago is? <laughs> Where in Illinois, Sayla? It takes 10 to 12 hours to drive from the north to south end of it. Where in Illinois are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Is it Chicago always in flames? Yeah, apparently. In in there. Apparently. Let's perpetuate more weird stereotypes. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> <sighs> it's not that far fetched. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Doo -doo -doo. You're more uneasy driving through Gary, Indiana than you are in Chicago as far as shady places. Yeah, Gary's... It's a pretty... Overall, like, comparatively, it's not great. It's not great. It used to be like a, like a blue-collar, like, like, factory town. And then like all those factories shut down for the most part. It's just urban blight the entire place. It's nuts. Is it true is deep dish pizza delicious? Deep dish pizza from mom and pop places in Chicago is. Outside of Chicago? In my experience, no, but it just depends on where you go. Like again, stereotypes, right? It depends. <laughs> I'm going to start fucking with you now, Arcade. Is <laughs> John Stewart talking shit? Yeah, sure. I don't know what that means, but okay. Yeah, he said that Arcade Park guy was just making up nonsense on the internet, and then he put out a YouTube video about it. Dude, 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 dude. Glendale Heights? I have no idea. I've never been there. Just Google it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Doo -doo. Being a native of Denver, Colorado, you get a lot of old, dusty old cow town cranks. What does that mean? What is a dusty old cow town crank? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I prefer tavern style to deep dish, but deep, they're both really good depending on where you get them from. Lumo Nadis is really good, but I do think it's a little overrated, Mr. Trivia. It's pretty good, though. As far as franchises go, it's about as good as you can get out here. Yeah, I like a Chicago-style hot dog, for sure. Doo-doo-doo. 
What? What the? So, oh, you were talking about the items in this game. I was like, what is that? Oh, the timer stops if I sit here. That's good. Okay. Oh, then it just started again. Oh, it's just really slow. Never mind. Never mind. It's just super slow. Yeah, I know where Denver is. I'm aware. But I don't understand what quote... <laughs> what quote dusty old cowtown crank means. That's what I asked about. Rural areas have cattle. Are you saying there's a lot of cows in like the rural areas? Isn't that true of every rural area in the US or no? Maybe it's not. I guess it just depends on what they, they do, right? In their farms. Yeah, that's, that's true, J-Rock. Yeah, everyone goes and salutes whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Generally speaking, the only people that care about that thing are people that aren't from Chicago. And nobody from here calls it the bean, in my experience. I don't know what they call it. I think it's called Millennium Park, if I'm not mistaken. Try Malort? I won't. I refuse. There's another weird stereotype. I think I just pile drive that guy's balls. That's pretty. Look at that. Oh. Oh. I like the reach on this guy. That's why I keep picking him. He's like Donatello in Turtles in Time. Oh. Nice. That's the move right there. That does a lot of damage. Oh, he got me. Doo -doo -doo -doo. My balls are gone. Oh. You 18 down. Do you keep being awesome, good sir. <laughs> hey, Jaltra. Thank you. 18 months. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for the support, everybody. We do have a uh, sub goal at 750. We can hit that. We'll do a bonus morning Tuesday stream. We tried for the Game Boy one last week, but that one didn't resonate, so I changed it. People didn't want that one, so I did a different one. Select player! Oh, this gets hard to hit. It's true of every rural area, is it? Okay. At least out here. I don't know how to avoid that. Oh! Also, Finn, hello. Strider, how are you today? Strider's here. Ooh, Strider's got an answer to the question tonight. You say what makes a good beat em up? Characters with different play styles? That's a big one for me, too, yes. Instead of just reskins, right? Enemy variety, cool gameplay elements, weapons. Riding dragons or max magic. So just a lot of different content. You basically like a lot of, a lot of different ways to play the game, right? Look, it's a statue of Babe Ruth. <laughs> this game's so weird. Oh, man. Oh, it's from Joey. Okay. Monkey Island emote. Yeah, dude, this game is great art. As weird as it is. It is really good art. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Clown gate? Oh, okay. I thought it was something else. My bad. Bow, 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 bow. I'm the best. Get up. Let's go! Do, 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 do. The name they chose for them, boss, makes you fill in. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's clever. I like that too. This is Big Apple 3 a.m. Yeah. This is very Turtles in Time, isn't it? <laughs> it very much is. Boom! Oh, God! Big Apple! 
I don't think we have a pile drive command yet either. Yeah, I think you're right. These guys, I need a better way to kill. Maybe that. Maybe that. That seemed to do some work, huh? Just gotta get a grab. What the heck are these? Oh, it's a Tanuki. <laughs> what the hell? This game is so weird. Right, give me the pink. Cheerleader time. Oh, they did damage this time. I thought they only dispensed items. Oh! <laughs> okay. I'll give that round to the enemies. Yo, what's up, Grim? The name is uh, Ninja Baseball Batman. Yes, I know. The, the name itself is like... Okay, that's true. But also, it makes me think of something else. <laughs> I have other images in my head when I hear that. <laughs> Evil catcher mitts. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Home run! The home run is fun to do. Oh! It's not when you're getting wrecked. They have little... Oh, my God. Let's see if I can freeze frame after kill. Oh, they're gone. When they were dying, there was a little, like, ghost catcher mitts with angel halos flying up in the air. <laughs> oh, man. This game has it all. It's got it all. I played this on the Jukers channel once, like three or four years ago. It was pretty good. That was when I first saw this. Oh boy, the pink! Get the pink! Oh god, shit, shit! There we go. Nice. Did a baseball stadium just fly away? It did. And now we're inside of it. Oh, thanks, Gertha. Always good to have you. Oh! Oh! I was out of health! Batman after a rebranding. <laughs> there you go. That was a home run right there. That was a home run. I hit like six guys at once. Oh, there's another one. Now we have calamari things. <laughs> oh, they freeze me. Oh, he even has a get up. A rising attack. Do you see that? He did like a little like break dance move and it hit them. That's cool. There you go. Take that skateboard. Scoreboard. I don't know what I just said. I was trying to say scoreboard. <laughs> I said something. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, the dreaded boss rush chat. The home run takes your health. Yeah, it's like most beat em ups have moves like that. It's like a super move that drains health. But they're usually extremely powerful. Whoa! I don't think I know that one, Cybus. Hydro Thunder. What kind of game is that? I'm willing to bet it was at the arcade that I was at yesterday. <laughs> Desperation attack? There's another word for it. Jeez. This guy is a lot of iframes. My balls are gone. We go. Did I just suplex him? I think I did. Oh, food. Why are there two balls? Nice. Give me the food. 
Hydro Thunder is a speedboat racer. Oh, boat racing. Hmm, okay. This is your balls 3D. You don't know that. What if it is? Oh, wicked. Off my face! Oh, this thing is... You can't hit it on the ground. Yeah, I don't know. We didn't try any racing games yesterday. There was one game we did play. It was seriously awesome. And it was a shmup. I don't like shmups. But that game was sick. It was one of the Darius games. And it was four player. And it was like this huge cabinet. It was like 12 feet wide. With like an ultra widescreen monitor. And it had like really dope music. And when you die, you didn't lose your power-ups. That's a shmup I can get behind. It was really good. It was called like Darius like Twin Burst or something like that. I don't know. It was really cool though. It was really impressive. Nice. Well, oh, this guy is hard to kill. This guy would eat all your corridors. Cause like this super move does like no damage to him. Oh, I got a throw on him. Oh, right. If I knock him down, I have to back off. That's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. I'm trying to do the throw move. That seems to do the most damage. Oh, he got me. Dude, 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 dude. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, this guy is a real resource drain. There we go. Let's just use our reach on this guy. Maybe that's the key, right? There you go. Conventional methods. We'll use our reach. That's doing some work. See? Oh, they got me. Windy played. Oh. He looks like something from like a Pixar movie, doesn't he? Yo, what's up, Amuru? FNA, how are you folks doing? Here we go. That's the kill. All right. Third base and pitcher's mound aren't aligned. Oh, okay. That's the thing. That's the thing we want to focus on, and not the fact that we're robots fighting airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also, yeah, you're right. It's not up to regulation. We probably only do exhibition here. <laughs> uh, I can't tell. Watching Punch Out or Ninja Baseball. What if the answer is yes? A debate room statue. And he possessed it. The King Babe. <laughs> Fighting the King Babe. Uh, stab him in the face and blow him up. Oh, we can do floor juggles. All right, cool. Oh, tornadoes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. There you go. This guy. This guy might be easier than the last boss. I was too slow. Oh, that was cool. I don't know what I did there. There you go. Get him in the air. Oh, okay. He's got a rising attack. <laughs> Be careful. Oh. Oh, my face! The tiny details? I love when people spot all the weird stuff like that. Because they're going to see stuff that we probably don't notice. Especially since we're playing the game in the moment, yeah? I think that's great. 
That's part of the fun of having like a bunch of people there with you. They're gonna see things you don't, you know? Like I never would have noticed that what Reg saw about the, the third base thing there. I never would have seen that. So that's something none of us would have seen. That's really cool. This is one of the few beat em ups you've never played. You've played that many, huh? Like there's hundreds and hundreds. That's pretty awesome. I missed! I didn't miss that time. Oh! No tornadoes! I can keep this guy on the ground. I'm not doing much damage, but it's doing the job. It is doing the job. Oh! <laughs> oh! Can I grab him? Because that's the, that's the real damage. Oh, he's really hard to grab. Oh, there it is. Yo, GG, let's go! There, I picked up the enemy. 50,000 points! <laughs> the case has been closed. Oh, wait a minute. I must punish you! Please forgive me! I'll never forgive you! <laughs> Knocked him right to the moon. Get murked. Yo, thanks, Delph, J Rock. Who else? Oh, look, I put the name over E. F. I. There we go. We did it. We get credits, roll credits, let's go. Thanks, Delph. Thanks, Sleepy Moogle. Famous adventurer, Mr. Aridin. Mira, Featherbender. FNA, Lord Vegas. Crixie, I think. Yes. Yep. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh... Love the sound effects. Oh yeah. This game is a riot. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Banished to the moon for crimes against baseball and ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we got Renge and Shinding and our just a JRPG and everybody. Thank you. This game, really fun. Always fun. Highly recommend. Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> Oh my god, stop! They're like, we're gonna annoy the players just one last time. Alright, thanks. Ah, uh, another IREM published game. How about that? Who made this? What does this say? IREM developed and published this. Ah, okay. They handled this one in house. Very cool. Very cool. What'd y'all think? What do you think of Ninja Baseball Batman? Amazing. Mission complete. It was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, that sounds cool, Muro. Put those in my retro channel in Discord, would you? I want to look into that. That sounds really cool. There's a mission accomplished, isn't it? Is the mission accomplished? I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. You can tell it's real good, Toffee. Wild as heck. Fun experience. Glorious. The cat man was bizarre. Definitely was bizarre too, yeah. Crazy from start to finish. You loved it when you first played it. You still love it. It's good, right? Like shockingly good. This like this presentation, I'm like, there's no way this game's gonna be good. And then I played it. I'm like, why is this so good? <laughs> Uh, why is this so good? Wait, what, Catman? I am not a VGN, you silly person. That's someone else. Alright. Shall we do another game? I don't think anything's going to be as weird as that. But, there may be some things that are pretty damn good. Let's do another one. One of Irem's best games, genuinely. Yeah, Sonic? Nice. I think my favorite game in there is Crystallis. It's a bizarre concept, but it has the execution. Yeah. For whatever reason, they pulled that off. 
the name of the game throws you off it throws everyone off yeah i think that's kind of the point <laughs> i would think so mm -mm. i was so confused when i saw the uh saw the uh the title of it the first time he did a video about it oh okay i had no idea i don't watch this stuff mm, do, do, do. uh all right i'm eating the rest of my tuna all right let's go with a neo geo game this will be the first time I think I've ever streamed a Neo Geo game. And I didn't know about these games until yesterday. This specific series that we're going to look into. Do, 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 do. You all have the great pleasure of seeing my first ever Neo Geo game on stream. How about that? Metal Slug is not a beat em up. You're like Ninja Hosen? What? No, I know, right? <sighs> All right, this is called Sent Goku 3. It is the last of the franchise. It came out in 2001. Basically, arcades were dead at this point. But it's supposed to be damn good. I don't know. All I did, all I saw was I tested to make sure it works, and I saw the graphics, and, and damn, this looks like it's going to be really freaking cool. All right, capture looks good. All right, cool. Ooh. How do I add more credits? Oh no, like that's that. in the menu. This is Neo Geo. Haven't I streamed King of Monsters? I don't think so. If I have, it wasn't on Neo Geo. That's for sure. I've never played anything on Neo Geo ever. Dude. I don't think so, Vaeus. We only discovered that I had Neo Geo recently and never looked into it. Do, 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 played Spin Master. Never heard of it, so no. Do, 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 do. Neo Turf Masters. What's that? What is Neo Turf Masters? All right, option. We're here for fun. What is level? Is that difficulty? Hero. Nine. I think that's lives. Wallpaper? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh, I like that one. Ooh, look at the little guy down there. I don't know what this does. Let's take that one. I probably streamed the arcade version. Ah, gotcha, Heimlich. Yeah, you might be right. Because uh, I looked in arcade and this wasn't in there. I think this is just, what is it called? AES, console AES, right? And then arcade is MVS. And I don't know if this has that. Like, I don't know. Let's see. Wait, let's see what happens if you load it on MVS. Let's see if it's different. It probably won't work, but I don't really know Neo Geo. This is new to me. This is brand new to me. Title? Yeah, one sec. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, there is an arcade version. Oh, should we do the arcade or the console version, chat? Does it matter? I don't know if it matters. I don't know Neo Geo. This is, oh, this is really interesting that you can swap like that. All right, so this came out in 2000 and freaking one. Can you believe that? Arcade, 2001. Sen Goku 3 Arcade. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Home version allows you to do settings. That's true, yeah. This is true. It's a golf game? Oh, I don't like golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not big on golf, so. You made Junker play this? Nice. You don't know the difference? You say arcade? Okay. Congo, Kagetsura, Falcon, Kurunai. Oh, there's a waifu. There's a waifu. No, let's be this guy. Let's try this guy out. How old is He's got an eye patch. That makes him cool. China, easy. Italy, hard. Japan, hard. Japan. Let's go Japan. I don't know the difference. Yeah, let's just roll with it. 
We're just gonna roll with it. Neo Geo Arcade. Look at these sprites. This looks fucking sick. Oh, hell yeah. I'm getting like Samurai Showdown vibes. I mean, that's Neo Geo, right? Or is that SNK? I think Samurai Showdown is Neo Geo, right? Or is that SNK? I can't remember. I get those mixed up a lot. Punch him! Oh, these combos are so cool! <laughs> Oh, they can break the terrain too. Dude, this has wicked animations. It is SNK, okay. Oh, I can throw Shuriken. Look at this guy trying to run away. Let's see here. I wanted to see if there was a pause. No, there's no pause. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is Neo Geo Arcade, I guess. We could do the home version too. It gave us the choice. Oh, that was cool. I did like a dash. Oh, you could do a dash kick? Look at that. Oh, that's sick. I don't know anything about these games, but I'm I'm down with this for the aesthetics. Whoa, what did I just do? That was sick. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I see. Down, down, attack. Got it. Pick that up. It won't pick it up. Okay. It, it lives there now. Where does it want me to go? Oh, okay. We want to jump off the building. Boo. Oh, it's that button to pick it up. Dude, it like electrocutes them. That's so cool. <laughs> noise factory. That's that's true. That is my nickname. I am a noise factory. I'm very noise factory, chat. What do we think? What do we think? Digging the music? Yeah, arcade. I'm sorry. I just don't know what any of that means. I'm not like a fighting game player, so I'm just going to mash. <laughs> I'm going to... I The info is interesting, but I don't know what any of it means. So yeah, this does look cool. Yeah, okay, dog. Thanks for hanging out, man. It was good to have you. Oh, freaking rising attacks. There you go. Oh. Ooh, give me that. That was points. Oh, there's ninjas. Oh, sick. <laughs> oh, man. This damn rising attacks. <laughs> All right, let's try another character. Ready? Here we go. Okay, that was awesome. Whoa! <laughs> Get the mash! Blah! Yo, thank you, Dharma Kiss for Honor Bents. Thanks, dude. Uh, 
You don't think you ever played this Fighting on the OGO Geo setups in arcades? Pros have a lot of technical terms. I am of the mindset that I mash button make guy go boom boom boom. Yeah, I don't know any mash, phenomena mash, phenomena any of mash. the fighting game jargon at all. It's just all alien. It's another language to me. Oh, look, secret. Oh, we ran out of time. <laughs> I should have seen that. Thanks, Dharma Kiss. There's Sengoku 1 and 2. Yeah, I know. I know. We saw it when we loaded this. Doo -doo -doo. I, you know, it's not surprising, Susumu, unless you were going to arcades in 2001. And even then, I wonder how often this was in the U.S., right? This came out in 2001. Which is the big reason why I'm like, this is going to be a game nobody's heard of. And yeah, most, almost all of you here have probably never heard of this. I didn't know about this until yesterday. I like that twirl attack. It's got AOE potential. Oh, I got stabbed. How do you throw? Oops. Oh, that's how you throw. Okay, cool. Yeah, that spin attack does work. That's pretty good. Stephen King once tried to decipher Tekken lingo. <laughs> uh, what if it was Puffy Ninja Shirt on massive packs, Ryan? What do you think? Potential? You got potential there, right? I don't know how to hit those guys. Just, just get down there and get it done. That's all. Oh, why didn't it do the attack? Weird. There you go. That's what I wanted. Oh, bomb! My money! Let's get off the train tracks. That seems like a bad place to be, you know? Ah! Game meter. What the heck is meter? What does that do? Yay, I like money. Me too. Well, I like having it. You know, money's that weird thing. It's like, we all like it if we have it, for the most part. If we don't have it, we hate it. <laughs> or we have to give too much of it, then we really don't like it. Cool. You've heard of this since Oba? Cool. You heard of this, but only because another arcade streamer played once. Nice. Arcade is something I have not dabbled in a lot. So I thought, you know, like tonight was like really important to me to see how this community would respond. I need to know how well I can stream things that we don't normally do. I need to know that kind of, look at this guy with his scary face. Whoa, look at that weapon. Oh, this guy don't mess around. Oh, he's the big slow guy. Boink. Why is that missing? Oh man, there we go. Oh, this guy's hard to play. You have a meter by your portrait and you get to use a special move when you have a full meter. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Gotcha. I, uh, this guy looks awesome and he's like the opposite of my normal play style in any game. I always go for speed. Speed and aggression. It doesn't look like you could be aggressive with this guy. Look at that. I can't even get an attack off. <laughs> All right, let's never pick that guy again. Oh, he was terrible. Sandwich. Sandwich. What? Okay, this guy's cool so far. So far, I like the eye patch guy and the ninja gal the best. This guy might be good too, though. The slow guy, I couldn't even land. I didn't even get a swing off. <laughs> Yo, JD. Thanks for 42. Thanks for 42. How the heck are you? Okay, we beat that stage.
Di 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 di. I'm streaming a phone book. Come well, on, thanks, Mondo. It's nice of you. Da -da -da. This game looks really awesome. The, 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 the graphics and the animation so far are really impressive to me. Zap. Are y'all hyping again? We've had two scam trains tonight. What do you think? What do you think? We got a new sub goal. The Game Boy 1 wasn't something people wanted, so I changed it. Now it's a bonus Tuesday morning stream. Sorry, it's a little clipped on the bottom on screen. The hype train thing. It's not hiding anything important, though. Step. Oh, God, I'm getting jungle around silver. Thank you for a year. Look at that. You got to a year. Heck yeah. It does not feel like you've been here a year. It really doesn't. Isn't that wild? You ever get that sense? It's like I just got Darby here. Has gifted us up to the Finny Bears. Hit things. There we go. Hey, thanks. Oh! <laughs> Darkest, thank you for the gift sub. All right, I gotta get juggled too much. Let's go back to eye patch. It is weird how it flies, isn't it? Dude, what do you do when you're surrounded in this game? Oh my god! <laughs> you just take it. You just gotta eat it. You just eat it. I'm like already almost dead. This game would have destroyed quarters. Phone book reading stream win. Um, when I have 2,000 plus viewer average for at least three months and I'm making enough money to buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> then and only then can we do one. <laughs> okay. So at this pace, ask me again in 10 years. We'll see where, where we're at, okay? We'll see where we're at. Maybe we'll get there sooner. Maybe we'll get there someday. It's a lofty, lofty goal. Yeah, I like this guy the best so far. He's the best so far for me. He's more my play style. Everyone else just got hit too much. Oh. Mm. No scam. Did you break it out of the scam train chat? You did? Oh my god, just right there on the exact amount. It's at level two, zero percent. That's hard to do. That means you did exactly three tier one subs and I think a hundred bits. <laughs> oh god, I almost missed the continue. Whoops. Oh. Alright, this doesn't have a pause on OSD. That's too bad. Oh. What's your phone book? It's the thing boomers put under chairs to make them higher. Yeah. That's what. Yo, thank you, Neo, for the big giganto 50 bits. Oh, cool. That does go through the ch the hype train API. I was really concerned that wouldn't. And it did. It even worked for the tracker. That's awesome. That's actually a really good task. Thanks. Look at a giant guitar. If you need to get off a move, you can use A, B, plus B, plus up. What is A and what's B? I'm not sure. I'm using a controller, not an actual arcade, so. Taste? Okay. Falsely accused. What was behind your sudden disappearance? I was framed. No one believed me. Save Mistress Okuni. Enough idle words, sires. Sires. <clears throat> so he did it. It was a good test, actually. Yeah, it was a good test. Oh, that's what that is. That was cool. <laughs> I turned into a log. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, apparently you can't do that very often. Why is he at my frames? Jesus. Sharp people have to use other books for their car scenes. It's all right, you'll get something. I believe in you. Oh. This guy is like infinite iframes. 
I can't seem to hit him. This game would have destroyed your bank account with quarters. Like, goddamn. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm already dead. It was like, what, 10 seconds? Oh, my God. There you go. Let's get this guy out of here. I don't know what that was. That was different. Maybe. Do, do. I have no idea, Mondo. I don't want, I don't watch hockey. Not really. I don't have time to or have TV. I don't have TV or time to watch hockey. Oh, man. Do. This game needs a fucking block button. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Thank you, chat, for the three subs and 150 bits. Thank you so much. It was nice to finally have a hype train not fail. <laughs> not, it's not even fail, but by Twitch's eyes it is, right? Like, Twitch does the whole guilt trip shit. Oh, come on, Twitch. Don't put that message in chat so annoying this game just doesn't I love the aesthetics of this game I love the moves of this game but this is the whole game is this what's happening here like you can't block and they have all these iframes constantly so I will say this game is not going to last long for us it's too frustrating. <laughs> it's way too frustrating to play this. Whoa, how did I do that dash? That was cool. I don't know. That was sick. Whoa! Uh-oh. The enemies hit hard. It's like they hit hard, but they just like constantly juggle you and have iframes and you can't hit them. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Yeah, I know. That drives me nuts fairly. Like, people should only give what they're comfortable giving, and they shouldn't be guilted for it. That shit is... It bothers me. Like, that message needs to go away. All right, let's go to China. Let's go to China. Do, 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 do. Let's check this place out. Whoa! That's cool, that dash. I like that. I think I do that if I do the... The, uh... The punch instead of the sword attack. Ooh. Wah! Oh, they're dead. Okay. Look, it's chair! I don't like chairs! We don't like chairs here, apparently. Oh, I thought that was food. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah. Whoa. Just mash A and B a lot. See what happens. <laughs> That's the key. Mash A and B a lot. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sorry, Mono. I just don't have access to hockey games or time to watch them, so. I haven't had cable TV in, I don't know, seven years, I think. I think it's been seven years. Blah! Can I blow up this car? Or a car. Bike. It's a bike. <laughs> That's the true enemy here. Is that a pizza? That's totally a pizza. That is a pizza. What the hell? I was joking, but that looks exactly like a pizza. <laughs> 
All right, cool. Pizza power. Pizza power. That's right. Love those iframes. Jesus. Okay. Ads are about to start. Does this let you pause at all? What is dip freeze? Oh, I can use this to pause. Oh, cool. I can pause with that. Nice. You want to do another one? Let's do another one. This game's dope. Somehow. I don't think this ever came out in North America. I think it was Europe. Just Europe. It's a beat em up. It's not a beat em up I would expect to be good. Especially given the IP that it's based on. But we're going to play some Alien vs. Predator. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's play some Alien vs. Predator. Anyone got the release date on this one? Wait, I might have it actually on my list. Let's see. Do, 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 Where did it go? Where did it go? Why did this fucking close open? There we go. <clears throat> oh, I didn't put the date. Emergency. Why is there no audio? Oh, yeah. A lot of these arcade games did that. Uh, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> this is actually, Elmero, this is actually really good. Yeah, Capcom already. It's like, okay. Right? Have your attention. Here we go. I got the wiki for it here. 1994. Okay. So, Alien vs. Predator. Arcade. We're in demo mode, so that's why there's no sound. 1994. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, like, who are they, right? It's like anime characters. Early to mid-90s Capcom beat-em-ups are the best ever. They just, they were locked in, right? They were completely locked in. Time to hunt. Time to hunt. Time to, time to hunt. Konami did good, yeah, that's true. True. Turtles, right? Time to hunt. So, you can play as a predator, and their stats are very clearly way more than everyone else. Or you can be one of these characters. I'm gonna be one of these characters. We're gonna pick Lin, Lieutenant Lin Kurosawa. Because reasons. <laughs> oh, man. So this was on the CPS2 arcade system. Hold on, there you go. That's weird. Like, it just plays really smoothly. It feels good. Like, the combat, it all feels good. It's fast. That's so many aliens. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yes, continue. Hi there. You got Super Magazine. It's time to shoot them down. Infinite Bullets, let's go! Let's go! There. Pizza power. We should be safe in here. We're very safe in here. They set us up! All right, we don't have any pause, unfortunately. Oh, I lost my sword. I'm gonna get that. Give me that sword. Oh, it's gone. There it is. There's another one. Yo, doctor man, how are you? Anyone want a throbbing cherry? Oh! Oh! I don't know what I just did there, but that was sick. This is hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Uh. 
Okay. I was so confused why I was hearing her on the left channel only. It's because she was on the left side of the screen. That's all. That's kind of cool. There we go. There we go. Konami and Sega had strong entries for arcade beat em ups, but they weren't the same class as CPS2. Violent Storm. I don't think I know that one. You win. Retro Aliens games were fun, were pretty fun. Keyboard, yeah. This is actually like really damn good. Let's see. Damn. I was hoping to find like uh, some way to pause this, you know. There's no timer though, so if we kill all the enemies, maybe we can just like catch up with chat. I don't see a timer. By the way, for nights like these, chat, you are always welcome to be like, hey, this button does this and you can do this. Just don't tell me what to do, but tell me what I can do, all right? Because we're just vibing tonight. It's all good. <sighs> you blew a lot of many on this in the arcades. Money, money on this in the arcades back in the day. Oh, you got to play this in arcade? That's awesome, dude. Where was it at? Where was it at? Yeah, this is good, FNA. This is a really good beat em up. This would be a cabinet with 3D sound. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing that when we go from left to right of the screen. It reminds you of a D&D beat em up. Gotcha, okay. There's, there's at least two, Neon, at least two. You should check out Violent Storm for the music alone. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, they are bright premi. It's they're all gonna remind you of each other, right? It's it's a genre. It's a genre. Beat 'em up is a genre. A separate core pause button. No, a lot of these game cores don't have that. See? Unless you mean core credits. Hold on. What do you mean? I don't see that anywhere. <clears throat> Show credits and pause? But how do you pause? <laughs> uh, wait. Maybe we have to define buttons. Right, left, down, up. Shoot, attack, jump, start, coin, core credits. Do you want to set up alternative buttons? I don't know what that means. That's it. That's a pause. <laughs> oh my God, we can pause. Dude, you saved the day. Thank you. I'm so chat focused and I'm like not being able to pause a game. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Is the D&D one golden axe? No, no, it's not. <clears throat> it is not. Do, 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 do. Can you stretch the game to fill the empty black space around? No, no, I won't do that. Sorry, I don't, don't stretch the game. I do native aspect. <clears throat> I can move it so it's more centered, but I will not be stretching it. I'd never do that. I always go with native aspects. <clears throat> is that better? Now that it's more centered. As soon as we get a hype train, it's gonna move back though. So that's why I don't bother. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh man, this thing's wicked. Can I just have that forever? Nope, it runs out of ammo. Oh. I like how her jump attacks let her like bounce like that. That's cool. It's a good like escape move. Oh. Whoa, what did I just do? That was awesome. <laughs> she has a desperation attack. Look at that. Oh, that does some work. Should be common in all arcade cores, the, the credits thing? 
Okay, that's I didn't know that. That's really good to know. Thank you. That's really cool that, that you can do that. Oh, I got the infinite bullets. It's kind of a waste. That's okay, though. Did you know? What did I know? Master V, thanks for 200 bits, man. Oh, the API thing's broke on that. Oh, is that broke? Okay. I see that. Let's see. Did you know gaming API fix? Okay, I have that in my uh, to-do list. Thank you, Master V. Sorry that that broke. Yeah, that one just busted. That's too bad. I appreciate it, man. Once I fix it, just try to remind me and I'll give you another one for free. Well, not free. I'll just give you the one, right? Because you, you deserve it. Whoa, I just did some kind of cool, like, sweep move. Why does it say demonstration? I don't know. That's weird. If it fails, force it! You think of Bill Paxton's character? Game over, man! Yeah. Iconic, right? All right. I just threw a grenade point blank at something. Generally not recommended. Oh no, give me that sword back. Continue. That's a cool game over screen. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's not, oh that's freaky. Hey, look at that Geiger alien coming at you. What a character that Geiger guy is, huh? Oh, yeah, let's go. Open fire. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love that. That's great. Okay, we got the Royal Guard. I got the Royal Guard. A little health. We'll keep that there in case. Even though she has like lower stats, she has like really fast attacks with good hitbox reach. So like, I don't feel like I'm at a disadvantage at all. It's just a different style. I don't know why I keep saying demonstration. That's weird. I don't know what's going on there. Like, and it's like fast forwarding these cutscenes. I don't know what's going on. It's really strange. Ah! Something's a little buggy. Oh, you can juggle them on the ground with that. Ah! <laughs> oh, they got me. Oh, they got me. Oh. oh, you can cancel damage with that. <laughs> it's on automatic control, a cutscene or automatic advance movement. How do you turn that off? Pressing buttons during demonstration fast forward so you can get the gameplay again faster. Oh, okay. Let's try this guy. Let's party. We're partying, chat. <laughs> Don't let up! She could jump off walls and bounce off enemies with her sword. Oh, how do you do that? Interesting. These aliens all coming from one hive, so if we destroy the nest. Okay, let's do it now while we still have time. We use the APC. That's a good sound clip, Toffee, yeah. It would be, yeah. 
Oh, interesting keyboard. I have... How did I do it? One of my PS1 memory cards lets me do that. But I had to, I needed a, a soft modded PS2. You basically like corrupt a PS1 memory card and it will let you run copies of your games that way. It's really weird, but it works. So it didn't require any chips or anything like that. <laughs> okay, this stage sucks. <laughs> Oh man, that's the okay. I didn't just now realize he can aim. So yeah, Major D. Schaefer, <clears throat> we're in the X station. Yeah, we have that now. Yeah, which that thing is incredible. It's like perfect for raffle nights too. That was the main reason I wanted it was for raffle nights. His jump button is literally a dash. This guy can't even jump. He just fucking like body slams things. I got it. I got it. What a meathead. I got it. Love it. Oh man, this weapon's cool. Good sound effects. Little splishy splash noises. This is a cool weapon. <laughs> Did he just fucking elbow slam an alien? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Why not? You know what? Stick with what you know. <laughs> God. Uh. Oh, we got a flamethrower. <clears throat> too buff to jump. Yeah, he's too heavy. It's too much weight. All that muscle. You could jam the lid so it stayed open, and then you could start playing a legit game and swap in the burn game to make it run. Yeah, that was an option back in the day. I just never liked that doing that because I didn't want to put wear extra wear and tear on the system. But yeah, there was a way to do that quickly enough to get it to work. This is a pretty heavy arm, isn't it? No, they're alive. All I could do is end their suffering. There's little alien babies everywhere. Ah! I got it. I got it. We got zombies now, right? Remember all the zombies in Alien vs Predator? They're just like, kill me. Did you hear them? Oh my god. That's so freaky. I got it. That's so freaky. I like the other character better. He's too slow. I got it. Slow usually doesn't work for me. What is that? I got it. Oh, okay. I got a gun. <clears throat> you spent a lot of credits on this negative. This is good. Yeah. This is really good. It's not a game you would expect to be good. And it is somehow. But Capcom. As soon as you see Capcom 90s beat him up, you're like, okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't care what the IP is. It's going to be good. Right, Lickity? He's a cute little kitty cat. He's a cute little kitty cat. What is that? The ad warning? Okay. You want to be a lap cat? Okay. Or you're going to sit on the controller cable. Oh, kitty. <laughs> cat is taking over. All right, our and break is brought to you by Lickety Split. <laughs> uh, yep, there she is. There's the lady. There's the boss. The diva is here. She's taking over the ad break. Look at this princess. This is what she wanted. They really did this, yeah. He has unlimited ammo for his main weapon. Oh, does he? Okay. Gotcha. 
Oh, I had a friend that did those, Ryan. The slide card swap magic thing. Yeah. I have something different for that. Well, I did. I don't use it anymore. This is not necessary, but... <clears throat> um... This. They got sued and went out of business because they lost. HD loader. It basically would let you install games to the PS2 hard drive. Um, Yeah, they got sued. I have it because a roommate in college had it. And when he was packing to move out, he didn't pack that. I'm like, are you taking these? He's like, meh. Because he was addicted to World of Warcraft. He didn't care about anything but WoW at the time. Literally nothing. He would not do anything else. I was like, all right, can I just have it? He's like, sure. I'm like, okay. So I've had it ever since. <laughs> so yeah, like if you had an official PS2 hard drive, whether you're like from like Final Fantasy 11, there may have been like one other game that had one. I think it was like, like a, one of those like deathmatch shooters. This would work with it. It would let you install games from the disc to that hard drive on the PS2. Look at this little princess. Yeah. Yo, Nico. What's up, man? Let's get a shout out for Nico. Let's get a shout out for Nico. Nico Hart. Woo. Hmm. I'm really hot right now, and this is making it much worse, but it's worth it. Because it's cat 30. It's totally cat 30 right now. That's fine. Once the ads are done, which I can't tell, I think we still got a minute. I'll read more about this game we're playing while Kitty gets her pampering. Hey, you want back rub? There you go. Let's give her a back rub. She likes the back rubs. You sent me some of the details for extra power giant fist on Discord. Oh, cool. Thank you. Right on. Yeah, get your back massage. See, she likes it. You can see. <laughs> uh, she's like slowly like falling. <laughs> slowly, like her head is just drooping more and more. Oh. To be a house cat, right? For a day. What would that be like? It'd probably be like the coolest day ever. It'd be like the coolest day ever. There you go. Oh, there it is. There's the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's get her favorite spot right there. Watch. Well, she'll have to like compulse. She'll have a compulsion to lick something. See? She's trying to find something to lick. <laughs> Come on, camera. Focus. What is it focusing on? It's focusing on the wood right here. Like, why? What are you looking at, camera? We're right here. <laughs> oh, well, I love this camera, but its focus is not great. It's autofocus anyway. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Duke. <clears throat> A locale emulator or Japanese capable archive extractor. Jeez. Well, if it's DOS, would it run on the mister? Because I think you can emulate locales on that. <clears> Hold <throat> on. Let's go up like this and tilt down and see if that helps. There. There you go. That's better. Now it's in focus for now. Well, there's this spot. There's this spot. It's right there. Yeah, it's look at her face. <laughs> oh, it's Windows 2018. Oh, okay, that's definitely not DOS. Welcome okay. To Windows 98. Why are you still using Windows 98? So we're uh, doing uh, beat 'em up night. Currently, Alien vs Predator, which I don't think came out in the U.S. If I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure. So this was on the CPS2 in 1994, obviously Capcom, which man, introduced an original fighter to the game, Lieutenant Kurosawa. 
<laughs> oh man. Gotcha, Duke. Okay. That sounds like a pain in the butt to get set up. Do, 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 do. Look at this little princess. Let's see. This was based on an early draft of a script for a film adaptation of Alien vs. Predator comic book series. And it was supposed to be a tie-in to the movie. Let's see. Although the draft was later rejected in favor of a different script, which entered development hell, later releasing in 04 with a different story, Capcom had already completed this game, intending for the film to be released around the same time of the game's completion. So the arcade game was released in 94 with its own standalone storyline instead. Wow. <laughs> that is weird. There are a lot of Alien vs. Predator games, Cody. This is definitely not the only one. There's quite a few of them. Yeah, right, Negative? That's weird. Yeah, what's up, Rich? There is a 32X version for this plan, but never released. An unrelated beat-em-up for the SNES was made by Jorudan and published by Activision. I didn't know there was an AVP SNES beat-em-up. I imagine that one didn't do so hot <clears throat> do 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 lickety you're gonna let us play you gonna let us play she's like you're playing right now <laughs> look at this spoiled little diva it was okay that sounds about right i see duke Mm -mm -mm. Well, I hadn't planned on using PC capture tonight. Um, but if it gets around to that, we probably could. Only because one of the beat-em-ups I really wanted to show everyone does not work on the mister. I would have to switch to PC capture for it, which is unfortunate. Oh, hello, Mog. Now Mog's here. What do you want, little guy? You already got treats. Hey, little bud. Here's a monkey. Look. <laughs> Dos gatos. Dos gatos. <clears throat> you gonna lay down too? All right, Mog's laying down. Mog's laying down now. This is, uh, it's cat 30 on twitch.tv slash phenomenon. <laughs> Jeez. I can't get them both in frame right now, so. I'm going to give you some pets too, Moggy. I would wa Is there a translation of it, Duke, at all? Did anyone ever fan translate it? No touching! Because I would want to know what the hell was happening. Times like these, you need a wide angle lens. I have one on my phone, but that would be difficult to pull off. Let's see if we can't science that. Here we go. All right, hold on, chat. She's probably going to leave before I get to it. All right, this camera off. This camera on. Zoom, wide angle. Okay, turn around. There we go. <laughs> Mog, lay back down. That was, that was annoying to set up. <laughs> Damn it, Mog. Yeah, the, the camera on my phone is awesome. It's really good. It has times like 5x optical zoom on it for heck's sake. Like that's uh, really unusual for a phone. Mog just had to mess it up. He's like, oh, I'm in camera now. All right. And it just stands up. Little dingus. What a majestic creature. Moggy, why don't you lay down? Is the album shot just black and white it? Black and white it. Oh my god. Do do do. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. You done? No? You done? There you go. <laughs> 
Oh man. There's your album cover. <laughs> Hold on, it's gotta have more contrast since it's an album cover. Contrast, less gamma. There you go, now it's stylistic. Right? There you go. Now it's stylized. Now the parental advisory stamp. I don't have that one handy, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, this is this is so goofy. Can I play games now, kitties? Jesus, these cats. These freaking cats, I tell ya. There you go, little man. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good muggy. He only tolerates petting so much. He's getting ready to play that. Yeah, Stuart, he does. Yeah, he's got the controller ready. He's gonna he's gonna beat it for us. He's gonna beat it for us. Look at you. I'm like sweating right now. I feel really gross right now. <laughs> it's already really hot in this corner. There's two PCs running, one of which is encoding. Five monitors are on. There's lights. Game consoles plugged in. One of the monitors is a CRT. There's rack mounted audio and a giant mixer. It's hot over here. <laughs> Ugh. She's like, yeah, that's exactly what she wanted. Yeah, all that heat and the cat body heat. Yeah, I feel gross right now. Doo -doo. Yeah, there you go. Get those chin scratches. Look at her go. That's that's it right there. That's the spot. Oh, I see that. Hi. What are you doing? You like that? That a good spot? Okay. Okay. I like that the ads have been done for like 10 minutes and we're all like, so? <laughs> There's cats. Like, who needs video games when we got this? You good? Yeah? You ready to go? You saying hi to Mog? Okay. There you go. Let's make some room for you. Good job. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I'm really hot. I'm really hot now. Yeah, we we're just vibing. <laughs> uh, nice negative. Woo. Okay. Ready to go for more MVP two. Let's do it. Continue. Let's go back to the waifu character. She was better. Oh, look at this. Give me that infinite ammo. No chest bursters. Pew, pew, pew. Just catting. They're cats at the height of civilization. A bio war unit here. The queen is our primary target. What's this? Uh, soda. Soft drink. Excuse me. All oh, right. Oh, she just throws the knife. Someone said you can do like, oh, okay. Look at that down stabs. Whoa, I did an air throw. <laughs> that was sick. See that? That was dope. See, she's quicker. This is my style right here. This is the play style. Fast and aggressive. It's the way I do it. Well, what's that? Food. Ham. I got ham. All right. Hamburger. All right. I don't know how I did the air throw, but it, it was like very Street Fighter. <laughs> it was like very Street Fighter. You put your leg up so Tom could sit on it. Your cat legs asleep, but so is Tom. This is fine. Yeah, you're a bed now. That's your role in life. Until cat has determined otherwise. What's up, Alex? How are you, miss? Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, I got poked. Give me my sword back. Oh, jeez. That thing just puked babies everywhere, didn't it? That's not cool. No, no. 
It keeps knocking my sword away. Reload. Oh, I guess they all have infinite ammo. You just have to reload. Oh, okay. That's what it is, chat. All people are essentially cat beds and waiting. This is scientifically proven. Okay. So we have peer-reviewed science on the matter, chat. Okay. It's good to know. The gun is, like, too good not to use. <laughs> like use it a lot oh there's little babies in that one face huggers what is this xena warrior princess chakram oh sick it is <laughs> You gotta do the battle cry though. She's gotta be like, hey! <laughs> Let's go, infinite ammo. Predator disc? Oh, I don't know what that is. Where do you put the picture? Uh, you put it like share media if you want. General? Whatever. Whatever works. Whatever you feel like. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty laid back about it, unless people are like constantly ignoring the right channels. Like spitefully. <laughs> you know? That spin attack is good. Oh, the reload killed me! <sighs> Let's try a predator chat. Warrior. Much slower. Whoa! Much stronger. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. He doesn't have a dash. No dash attack. Oh, he has that. Oh, that was cool. Whoa! Okay. That's a really cool... So, that's his jump. His forward jump, actually. So, he doesn't have a dash, but he can do that. That's really cool. Uh, Churu. Churu. C-H-U-R-U, Ryan. <clears throat> Overheat. Oh, okay. We can overheat. Ooh, it's hard with this guy. It's harder to avoid attacks. Let's try the other one. Try the other one. Oh, look at that. It's a different continue screen. That's so cool. It's got the self destruct from the movie. <laughs> All right, let's see this one. I can't tell if this one's faster or what. Super. I'm very super. Oh. He seems slower, actually. Maybe. Maybe the same. Do, 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 do. Beep, beep. We're looking at the SNES game with the same name to see why people were disappointed. Maybe, but I didn't want to show shitty games tonight. <laughs> I wanted to show good ones. Like hidden gems, dank jank, like stuff like that. I don't know if that game would be no anything but just disappointment. <laughs> Look at Mog stealing the camera. Moggy, what are you doing? A dropship and she's coming down. 
What are what they're transporting? We should check it out. Okay, let's roll. Like the the quote unquote the I guess the quote unquote worst game tonight was Sengoku 3. It was really cool, but it was like non-stop just like getting juggled around by enemies. So it was frustrating. But it was it went better than the NES game that I did, Mighty Final Fight. Like that game was really cool, but dang, chat did not like that one at all. Blah! Mog. There he goes, stealing the camera. What are you doing, buddy? What you doing, Moggy? The spear is cool. I at least like his attacks. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Take cover. Destroy escaped aliens. Yes, sir. What is that capsule? Caution bio war agent. Wayland Corporation. A bio war project. Okay. That seems to be all of them. You understand being people confused or disappointed because of its connection to more impressive games? I don't know what it was. Like, I honestly thought it was pretty good. It's just, I don't know. It was, it did, this folks just didn't like it. Just didn't like it. Boo, boo, boo. Drink soda. Apparently even predators can heal from excessive amounts of sugar in a carbonated beverage. Can't we all? Oh, what the? What do you do there? Jeez. <laughs> Pulse gun sounded like how smart. It kind of did, didn't it? Yeah, it's predator pig. An entire roast ham. I mean, bacon does definitely heal all. Why are we fighting people now? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Something's different here. Ugh. We're fighting, fighting Wayland Utani or whatever, that corporation. The evil corporation. Do 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 do. Mog. He has his paws on the stream deck. I really hope you're not pushing buttons. Okay, if the capture turns off chat, that's because Mog. We're not seeing the alien series. Have you not seen my channel? I have ADHD. I don't remember things. And I especially don't watch movies. <laughs> I just want... I would like you all to know something real quick. Because this shit bothers me. And I do it too. And I need to stop doing it. Because I, I realize it makes people feel bad. Don't do the like, have you not seen this shit? Because it makes... It makes you sound like a dick. And like, I notice myself doing it. And I want to fucking stop doing it. Like, it makes it sound like you, you, you're, you're thinking less of me because I haven't seen something that you have, right? Like, that, that shit's got to stop. Like, and I know I do it too, and I don't want to. I just catch myself doing it. So when people do it to me, I'm like, yeah, I get it. I don't like it either. <laughs> so what I think here was that it wasn't intentional at all but the way it's framed sounds just rude if that makes sense i hope that makes sense because i don't think anybody was trying to be a dick at all ah i was trying to do a super move i just stabbed a giant crane machine to death all right all right Whoa! <laughs> Uh, 
I haven't seen that. Oh, it's awesome. You get to see it for the first time. Yeah. Like, that's an opportunity, right? It's an opportunity. It's not, like, something to drag someone about. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, there's also that. Like, you all get the benefit of seeing and hearing me. So you get vocal tone. You get body language, right? Intonation. Intent. I get text. That's it. I got text on a screen. So I've seen Alien. I have ADHD though. Like I don't remember shit. Like I just don't. And I don't watch a lot of movies, so I don't I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I would say let's use this as an opportunity to learn how to frame our questions better. Like Duke just presented there. Like instead of presenting it that way, presented it as an opportunity. It's interesting what gaps people have in culture experience. And we've all got some. Yeah, for sure. Same with lines like you do know X thing is like Y. Yeah, that's true. You don't remember anything either? Yeah, it's frustrating. Like my memory really is like one of the one of the things that bothers me the most. It's not something I can ever get better. Right? It's just the way it, my head my head is wired. There's too much media in the world to experience it all, let alone remember. Like, here's the funny thing. Like, that's one of my favorite horror movies is Alien. But it, the small details like that, I just don't retain them. It's easier to turn this sort of idea to something positive than suppress the reaction entirely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Memory? What's this memory you're talking about? I don't know. Something in a computer? <laughs> What's up, Zyfreak? How are you? Blah! Whoa, what was that? She did like that kick move that Fei Long has. That was sick. I want to do... There. How do you do that? <laughs> that was awesome. They drop so many guns. Like, you just basically never run out. Look at that. <laughs> I love that they all drop the guns. That's great. Wow. Imagine just kicking a metal elevator door down. Special stage. Break control box. Oh God. Okay. This is cutting it close. I don't think I did it. Crash! <laughs> Darren, no bonus. That's tough. That's really tough. Uh, you want to be here? She's too cool. She's pretty cool, yeah. What's up, Dynastic? How are you? This is just the Star Street Fighter 2 car bonus stage. Yeah, yeah, I was getting a vibe too. Yeah, framed differently. Exactly. Yeah, I was getting the exact same vibe from that. Which is fine. Reuse it. Who cares? It's fun, right? I like that. Who doesn't like in a video game where you could just break stuff for fun you know you remember the days chat when like a big marketing ploy for games was look at all these destructible terrain right and environments you can destroy these buildings and, like m cars and machines and whatnot and that was like a big selling point for games i remember that like it still works that still works you gotta work on your high kicks and single shoulder armor <laughs> Breaking stuff for fun, any Lego game? Yeah, true, true. Voxel engines were the shit. Yeah, they were good for that. Single shoulder armor that switches depending on which way you're facing. <laughs> oh man, that's a good illusion right there. All right. Let's just keep carrying guns everywhere we go. Wow. Go. I go. Right. Floor pizza. Oh, that was well timed floor pizza. I was almost dead. What is that? Just points? Yeah, just points. All right. 
Pizza power. What? They've escaped. Oh, no. Who has escaped? The Street Fighter car challenge is a repeated classic for a reason. Sometimes you just want to break some stuff. Yeah, without consequence, right? It's a video game. You just get to break stuff and nothing actually happened. It's perfect. Inputs like quarter circle forward or forward down diagonal forward do the tricks. Oh, so like Street Fighter moves. Okay, gotcha. Thanks. Even in modern day games, they're still pitching the destroyable terrain. Really? I don't see a lot of ads for games anymore because I have Twitch Turbo and I don't have TV, so there's really nowhere for me to see them. Mm -mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, let's just walk right in the middle of them. There you go. That's always a good move to do. I don't think those do anything. The quarter circle isn't working. There, that did. Wow, they're really hard to pull off in this game, though. Okay, whatever. Ha okay, that was alive for a long time with no health there. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> like I was eyeing my health there the whole time. I'm like, I'm still going, still going. Super. Very super. Go, go, go. We don't want to fight those. Oh, here they come. They block. I think they're blocking. I was like, what's going on there? Headless aliens? Oh, geez. That's scary. There you go. That's what I wanted. The twirly, twirly attack. Uh oh, reloading takes a little while. Go. Awful heal. The timing. Oh, I didn't want to pick those up. <laughs> Damn. Oh, the floor. What? Not floor. That was the air throw. That was awesome. I right, did it again. I did it again. Kurosawa has wall jumps. Whew. We're getting surrounded here. Oh, they got me. Mog. Look at Mog. <laughs> Damn it, Mog. Jesus, this cat. <sighs> there you go. Shoot him down. A rachnoid. I can't block the sword. <clears throat> this cat. What am I supposed to do about this cat? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, what are you doing, little man? Huh? The cat can block too? Yeah. He can. He can. He can totally block too. Dude, dude, what are you doing, Moggy? What a goofy little guy. He's a goofy little guy, isn't he? 
One sec. There we go. <clears throat> He's a star. He really is. He's the star of the show. He's a good guy. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Are we peeking? Are you peeking, chat? Thanks for peeking. <clears throat> it's so nice of you to do that. All right, Mug. Can you stay there, little dude? Moggy, can you stay there? Let's see if Mog behaves. Boy. <laughs> uh. Six hours later. Your leg is free. You can feel your leg. I'm so proud. So proud. Mog, I can't see chat. Sir. Sir. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Is this predator our enemy? Uh-oh. It's a bad predator. Aren't they all bad? Let's just shoot him point blank. Nice. Whoa. He's always behaving the way he wants. True. Oh. Wait, how did I live? How am I alive? Oh, not alive anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. We're back in it. Infinite ammo. Hey. Oh, that didn't work very well on him, did it? Oh. My turn! Ooh. Oh. It's hard to get this guy. He's slippery. Damn. I was trying to do the special move there. What the? Oh, that's so cool. Did you see that? Oh, man. This is a real quarter muncher, this boss. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid that. Like, there's no dash in this. <laughs> this doesn't have a dash move. There you go. Just keep fired. Damn, that didn't work. There you go. Mash and mash and mash. <laughs> Did you hear that? The freaking hype train music was playing like that whole time because Mog stepped on the freaking stream deck. <laughs> I was like, why am I hearing Battle on the Big Bridge? Oh, because I have a cat. <laughs> God damn it. Cats are weird. Uh, cats are really weird. Yo, thanks for the Gene Jeans. Thanks, Witcher Andrew. Rats. Holding up forward when you jump should make you launch forward. Let's try it. It makes you jump a little farther, yeah. But I probably would have been jumping right into his attack because it was airborne. I needed a low, like, dash to get out of the way. Battle of the big cat. Yeah, you were hearing it, Vaeus. I just didn't know what was going on because it was so quiet compared to the rest of the game. Oh, that's gone. That didn't last, did it? 
More bullets. Reload. Chad, do you know? Did this come out in the US or no? Do we know? Oh, the air throw. Sick. It did release in US Arcane's face? Okay, it did? Okay. You don't know if she has a slide move? I think that's her dash stab thing that she does. Do do do. It was pretty popular? Okay, cool. I think one of the games we played earlier didn't have a US release, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember which one it was, though. Whoa, they're coming. These things are scary. What is that? Did I just get lobster? <laughs> I think I fell lobster. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, why not? <sighs> We're being attacked. Just keep firing. Keep firing. And had car in the cabinets in the arcades? Okay, that's cool. Spartan X2? No, I know that wasn't. I was thinking of an arcade game that was in English, but not in North America. And I'm not sure which one that is. Oh! Yeah! Oh, I thought I was out of the way. <laughs> Dang. Oh, good. Oh, that's freaky. That is so freaky. Look at that. Oh, that's gross. Oh! All right. Ring. Ham. I got some ham. Kill me. I don't know what it, how did I do that kick? I did it without pushing a button. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right. I did not play hook tonight. No, it was not hook. Was hook a beat him up? Look. Oh, she does that when you don't have the sword. That's it. Sengoku 3 is in the US, but named Sengoku Legends. Interesting. Do, do, do. Oop. There we go. Not a good time to reload. Oh, what the hell? There's so many of them in there. <laughs> This disc is cool. I like the disc. It hits even those guys on a low, low ground. What am I supposed to do here? Just fight them, I guess. Oh man, that turret was actually helping me. I think. Those lasers definitely are. Dee -dee -dee. Would you eat floor ham from zombie room? No. No. I can't do it. I can't do floor ham from zombie room. <laughs> oh, hell yes.
Sorry, one of my mods is just doing doing God's work right now. Pretty impressive. What do y'all think of this? Let's get some opinions. Yays and nays. Forehand from Zombie Room sounds like a sick album. Sounds like the name of a ska album. That's just the vibe I get. It would totally be a ska album, wouldn't it? Yay! Hell yeah. Are you impressed by the lack of disruption? Like, the ability to, like, mostly control your character? Because that's the reason we stopped playing Sengoku 3 quickly. It was just constantly being juggled around. I needed more credits. <laughs> Smasher! This is a classic. This is good, right? Oh! Even the grenades are like fun to use. They're just fast. Oh, we found some bream, bream, fish bream <laughs> in, a, in an oil drum. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, Duke. It was a list. It was a list. Like, almost immediately, too. So, yeah. I I'll tell you later. I just don't draw attention to it during stream, because that's what... I guess is desired by certain entities, and they're not getting it. <laughs> like, it's, like, literally just, like... Like, before, before I even go to bed, it's just like they're all deleted and banned and everything. So, yeah. It's just com It's like laughably easy to stop. Doo -doo. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. You prefer Shadow of Mistara, but all the CPS2 bombs are the best of the bat. There's a game I played at Galloping Ghost last night that isn't a beat em up, but it's in the same vein. It's an isometric, like, action fantasy DD &D style game. It kind of gave me Landstalker vibes, like, visually. It was actually really good. Like, really good. I'll show the picture of it again after this this boss fight. I didn't even realize I had that, like, infinite attack going on there. Let me show you all this. Because this was really good. Okay, let's go to photos. We'll go to full screen. Mm hmm mm hmm I forgot the name because again memory we were talking about memory before that's it gate of doom this is awesome multiplayer arcade this is super good highly recommend this one this was damn good I had never seen this before we beat it like we were so we liked it so much we played through the whole thing There you go. Here's a bit of a close-up on the gameplay. There's another game similar, really? They seem time traveler? I don't know. I don't remember things. It doesn't sound familiar. I don't think so, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Do 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 do. Lightbringer Dungeon Magic. I don't know that one. Yeah, Gate of Doom was really cool. Sort of feels like Gauntlet. Eh, kinda. It's more of an isometric view. So think like the the camera, like Baldur's Gate, uh, Landstalker, uh, Solstice. You know, like that three quarters overhead isometric. And it's action based. So Gaunt well, Gauntlet gameplay in a sense. Yeah, similar, similar to that. Um, but it was a lot more forgiving and a lot more fun. 
Gauntlet Legends, however, probably much more fun, but different thing, right? Man, just punching that wall down. What a beast. What a beast she is. Oh! Oh, man, that guy had my number, didn't he? Here we go. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Power loader. Oh, that's what those were called. That's right. Ooh, that weapon does really well on those. These soldiers don't realize they've been abandoned. What did I just do? Did you see that? She did like a fucking Kamehameha. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I don't know. But it was awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, good. Aliens. Dude, how did they do a Kamehameha? <laughs> Power loaders are treating like some advanced weaponry. Yeah, it's a forklift, right, Arcade? Exactly. I know. <laughs> it's just a walker forklift. Uh, when I say it was all right, what, which, which one, Kenman? Uh, yeah, Patrick, that's right. Dark Seal equal Gate of Doom. Dark Seal 2, Wizard Fire. Oh, there's a sequel? I'll have to look into that. Arcade, I'm assuming? Because that game was good. It don't fit beat em up night, but it does fit another night we could do. Man, that was my favorite game of the, the trip. Reload. The Kamehameha, was it all right? I mean, it looked like it did pretty well. It seemed to do pretty good. There we go. Oh! Soda! Give me the soda! I just killed two guys with a single knife throw. This woman is powerful. <laughs> this woman is powerful. Wow. Arcus Odyssey. Isn't that Saturn? Is Arcus Odyssey Saturn? I don't think I've ever played that. You saw the move in clip mode? You've never seen her do that move. I don't know how I did that. It's weird, right? No, wizard. No, arcade games are pretty rare for me to stream. I wanted to do something interesting tonight for beat em ups. Kind of expand outside, you know, my normal retro content. I think it's been pretty damn fun so far. Oh! <laughs> Hey guys, this is fun. I just get like reamed. <laughs> oh man. Take the wins and the losses, right? We take those W's and those L's together. <laughs> oh, give me that. Oh, that, okay. We don't get that. Do, 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 How's the original one, uh, Patrick? It's basically like this, but a bit more primitive. Soundtrack's bomb. Gotcha. Have you seen Armored Warriors? I don't believe so. I don't know for sure, but I don't think I have. You know, I could have used that healing. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. All right, we're good now. Go. Who's that? I want to go. All 
All right. Eat this. Guys, we're on the same side. Why are you, why are you attacking me? I like this comically large rifle. It's like taller than she is. Doo -doo -doo. Cyborg Justice on Genesis. I know that one. A little half-baked cool idea. Yes. All right. Wayland Mutani Mercs deserve to die. Okay, fair enough. Line them up. Oh, God. <laughs> it's always funny when there's too many items on the ground and you're just spam picking them up nonstop. There we go. Blah! Blah! They're just trying to pay for their retirement. Gosh. Capcom really likes this character, but you wonder if copyright is preventing them from using her again. Is she in other uh, of their franchises? Uh, I don't know what that is, Siric. I hadn't planned on it. I do have at least one other game lined up, which I'm very excited to play. And it's a surprise. Um, I think we could beat this one. This probably shouldn't be too much longer. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Oh, it's super. What is that guy doing? He's like dancing. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cadillacs and dinosaurs sounds familiar though. I may have seen that before. Robot beat them up where you can swap parts and build different configurations. Sounds cool. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, what did we do tonight? We did Spartan X2. We did Mighty Final Fight. Sengoku 2. Uh, what was that other one called? Baseball, Robot Baseball Batman or whatever. Ninja Baseball Batman. That, yeah, that was the best of the night so far. Wah! We did Sengoku 3, which was not great. Visually gorgeous game. But I don't like games where you're just constantly like getting juggled around by enemies and it feels like you rarely have control. And that game was nothing but that. It was pretty frustrating. Bwah! Give me that gun. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Grenades. Curse you. No. Adds one minute. I don't know what that is either, Boomstick. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs was a neat animated series that only had one season because it couldn't find an audience. Uh, that's always sad when that happens. Whoa, sick. Oh. That was awesome. <laughs> That's badass. Do 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 do. It was the annoying Nintendo rap. Oh, that one. Sorry. Yeah, I'm glad. Like the cringy one or the Link's Awakening one. Doo -doo. Twitch app is buggy when the ads don't run half the time. No, that's not a bug. It means that there are no ads in the pool for your, your demographic, which happens more frequently to people outside of North America. But the ads you see are based on your demographic that the advertisers know about you. 
So it's based on your browsing history, what age they think you are, where you live, stuff like that. <laughs> Which is why I have, like, us streamers, we have no control over the ads you see. We don't even know what ads you see. We have no way of knowing that. That is the information we get. We can only be like, okay, ads are going now. And then it does its thing, right? It does its whatever the hell it shows you. If we don't control the ads that way, then you see pre-rolls anytime you load the stream, which is horrible for new viewers and anyone who has spotty internet. <laughs> it's far worse. It's far worse. Uh, you're very cool, Penny. You said English doesn't work that way in Italian this week means the week that it's going to start. Okay. Got you. I understand. The week after that, it might not work for me. I don't know. Fat boner, one, two, three, bobo bitch. And then you're like, oh, please call me Emily. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Heimlich, for 325 bits. Jesus. Oh my God. <sighs> Saturn Wizardry 6. It looked like it was in some kind of tall case. Yeah. Da -na -na -na. Browsing history? Probably, yeah. Not just streamer doesn't know what ads we see. Everyone sees different ads depending on the region. Yeah, that's what I just said. That's right. Yeah, that's what I just explained. You are correct. Do -do 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 -do. Today you learned. My browser history. You felt a little guilty. What do you mean? Guilty about what exactly? You get ads for streaming and food services despite not watching any streaming services or eating at restaurants. The fact that you don't eat at restaurants is very telling as to why you would get food service ads. <laughs> it, it sees that huge gap in your demographic. <laughs> uh, you haven't seen a single ad. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Dude, dude. You mostly get ads for upcoming movies. And last time you've been to the movie theater, you were 14. God damn. When was the last time I was at it? Five years ago. Five years ago was the last time. Air juggle the queen. Oh, God, she got us. She got us. She got us. All right. What are these bulletproof things? Oh, man. It doesn't get stunned, does it? It does not. Oh, what the heck? What the? It's up in the air. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, catastrophe, are you? Oh, man. Oh, God. It's up in the air. Oh, I got a bail. Look at that. Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> Ouch. I don't want to get hit by that again. Oh, my God. Really? Not fair. Maybe it was a little fair, you know. Did we do it? Yo, let's go! I don't want to suck that. Oh. The ants are telling you to go outside and eat, yes. Yeah, they see that gap. Also, apparently we're hype training. There's one minute left. Can we... 
not have three scam trains in one night? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Yo, Tomfy, thank you. Richard Andrew, Vance, Dynastic, Negative. Tomfy, thank you, folks. Thank you. Yeah, we got that sub goal chat. For a bonus Tuesday morning stream if we hit it. I'm going to keep changing the sub goal until you all tell me that I picked one you like. Because <laughs> I don't know what to do with it otherwise. <laughs> Thanks, Darvicus, for 250. Oh, man. Our hunt is over. What is that from? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. So Nika has gifted a sub to the Finny Bears. Wow, that was a last second save. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, you got zoomies? Lickety's got zoomies. Salmonka, thank you for the gift sub. They send you ads for cars and you don't drive. Do you think you could afford buying a car? I sure can't. I definitely cannot. What makes a good beat em up is whatever makes it more like Streets of Rage 2. <laughs> hey, Rue, thanks for the 50 bit giant Finny Bear. The Finny Bear bits. That's a big old, that's a big boy right there. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much. The buzzer beater. It was definitely a buzzer beater. It just says game over. <laughs> I think I got the high score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe maybe a couple points yo we did it we did it hell yeah that was good that game was always good that was a good time alien vs predator capcom beat him up top tier top tier what do you think what do you think of the sub goal chat the bonus morning stream sub goal what's your opinions while I get the next game loaded up, this is the one that I was the most excited to try. I say try, I've played it before, but it was years ago. It was definitely years ago. There you go. That one. Let's change the title. Doo -doo -doo. It'll show back up soon. Yeah, there it is. When did this come out? 96. This one's quiet. Turn it up. You're always up for bonus afternoon stream. Nice. Is the Mr. PSP? No. Right, Kenman. I know, right? <laughs> this, one, this one is awkward. Aw not awkward. It's oddly quiet. Attack. Jump. Select. Magic. Start. Coin. Oh shit, I messed up. Hold on. Whoa! An anonymous gifter has gifted five subs to the Finny Bears. Five gift subs? By a mysterious benefactor. Thank you so much. Holy crap. Attack, jump, select, magic, start, coin, core credits. No. Okay, now we got buttons set up. Beep. Okay, we can pause. We can do all the things. We can continue hyping because it's level three now. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah, somebody out there is being wonderful. <laughs> it's really nice of you. Ugh. Is this the funniest game your bros play in the arcade besides the fighting games? 
I only ever played this once and I liked it so much that I wanted I've been wanting to play it again for a long time. It's really good. It's it manages to somehow feel like D&D, but it's an arcade beat 'em up. It's highly unusual that they pulled that off, but they did. A nani moose, that's right. Yeah. It's a nani moose. That's such a cool animation of the dragon flying by. Yeah. This just became became a must play. Yeah, you would like this, Penny. This is the sequel. This is the sequel. The first one is Tower of Doom. This one's better. So I wanted to play this one. They're not like quote unquote story sequels as far as I know, though. So you don't have to worry about it. This is an arcade. Anonymous. <laughs> Thief. Whoa, that looks freaking cool. I guess it's almost like a warlock. Not quite. All right, are we ready? Welcome to the D&D world. Welcome to the D&D world. <laughs> Where are we at on that? Uh, six eighty, six eighty of seven fifty. Boop 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 boop. On that sub goal, very nice. Here, let's do this so you can see better. There you go. No, it's not cut off. No, it's not cut off. Dude, dude, link to some materials. Uh, yeah, mods. Can you give Duke a link permission? Can you give Duke the link permission? So you could be fighter, elf, instructions on dwarf, thief. Are we welcome, Finama Coffee. <laughs> Thank you. So in the original D and D, elf I think was a class. It wasn't actually like just like I don't. It was just like yeah, I want to be the elf, like dwarf, right? <laughs> Those were like classes, I think. It was really weird. Yo, Emperor, thank you for 15 months. Thank you so much. Wow, hell yeah. We're getting closer to that level four. Oh, I see, Andrew. Oh, sorry, Duke. Oh, there, Delph's got you. Delph's got you with the link permission. Yeah, this game's awesome, Z-Force. Elf and Dwarf for classes in old D&D. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Your link repository isn't working. It'll take a moment longer. Okay, they could just do it again when you're ready. So I like Thief or Dwarf. Magic user looks cool, too. There's no Bard, so... Let's go thief. I'm gonna look at the curves. <laughs> We're always thirsty. What can I say? Uh, every version, every character had different abilities. Mm. It's been 15 months, Emperor. Yeah. This sounds like Back to the Future right now. It's so weird. Every time I hear this, I'm like, that's Back to the Future. <laughs> uh -huh. Help me! You got to play Hero Quest, Stuart? Yeah? The classes are Barbarian, Wizard, right Elf, now. and Dwarf. She's got a... Was that a short sword? I don't know. Hold on. I'm just learning the controls. How do I pick this up? Oh, okay. Here you go. Whoa, sick! Okay. So quarter circle attack... Which is hard to do is that. But visually this game just looks awesome. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, thank you, chat. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you so much. There's a little money. There's a dagger in there. Eight subs and 675 bits. Help! Help! I'm trying! I just picked up the chest. That was cool! Love to play this four player. I don't remember if this is four player or not. This is the guidebook published in Japan for this. What is 
I can't read Japanese though. Oh, that is sick art though. Damn. You had fun on this game? You played it on Wii U? Yeah, this has had ports like here and there, hasn't it? Dude, dude. Wait, what does that mean, Andrew? That acronym? What is that referencing? It impre features impressive input cancels for chaining attacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is an interesting one, Emperor. <laughs> wow, that's really cool, Duke. What's going on here? Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. Would you mind telling me your name? Oh, those things are despawning while we're talking. You have to do name entry. I forgot. <sighs> okay. I don't know how many characters it gives you. Probably eight. Six. Six. Six it is. Okay, we'll do three. No, not two. <laughs> uh, okay. There's a compilation port on Steam. I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Arcade. That's blocked. All links are blocked here without link permission. We just see three asterisks to prevent bots from stealing accounts. Help! You can leave the field blank and it'll do a default name. Oh, that's cool. Sling, dagger, B oil, hammer, arrow. Nah, we don't need anything. This is good enough. Where are you going? Goblins. I love that they just like drop money. From what I remember that you use the money in like shops to get like better gear. What were you linking, Arcade? Sorry. Yay, I like money. Whoa, I don't know what I just did. I think that's her super move. She dropped like a bunch of alchemist fire. That was fucking cool. Go. Thief's name is Lucia. Mm. Down up attack. Oh, sick. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. Those are in colored box sets for the non-advanced D&D books. Oh, interesting, Andrew. Okay. So that's why people always talk about gold box stuff. It was the Steam page of the D&D port on Steam. Oh, yeah. If a mod wants to give Arcade Link permission, that'd be cool. You got a key. Some kind of potion. Oh, are we fighting Ward? No, it's an owlbear. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Freaking owlbears. Awesome. Those are gnolls, aren't they? Oh my god, I love seeing all the D&D &D monsters. It's wicked cool. <laughs> 66 percent off right now. Nice. With Thief running into an enemy without attacking, you can attempt to pickpocket. Let's do that when there's only one enemy. That sounds really dangerous. Oh, they just ran away. I mean, goblins. Yeah, that tracks. That track. Goblins would do that. <laughs> this is a good beat em up. Yeah. Is it really D and D if they don't have owl bears? A fair question. Double tap to run. Yes. Yes. You dare I catch that cub? I don't know what he said. Yes, sir. Okay. Go faster. I think I avoided damage. Money. Oh.
I didn't want to do that. Well, I did that. It did a lot of damage. <laughs> They're just like shedding money every time I hit them. Oh. I just did some kind of slide. I don't know how I did that. Continue. Yes. Shadow Arts Pro. Why did I change color? What just happened? Now I'm really confused. <laughs> there you go, a bunch of alchemist fire. I don't know how I changed color. <clears throat> Pressing attack versus pressing start again on the character select. What? The war machine. <laughs> uh, I like the other one better, but this is fine. Bonus. I don't know what the SP is. I'm level 12. HP increased by eight. That's a pretty good roll for a thief. You take a rest in the village of Trintran. The next day you leave the village and arrive at Fort Montillion. I can't read that fast. Here, I'm gonna pause every time. Seems more and more monsters have begun appearing recently. <clears throat> You're allowed to multiple the same class of multiplayer. Right, that makes sense. I heard something is organizing the monsters, readying them to invade the Republic of Darokin and the Principalities of Gauntry. We, yeah, those are names I totally know. <clears throat> For sure, yeah. Oh, okay, Duke. You must go to Gauntry immediately and warn them of this threat. What do you want to do? Okay, so we have a choice, right? This is like where the D&D &D vibes come in. Like, you know, beat them up. You don't see this ever. Like, never. You never see anything like this. Travel by land is quicker, but will encounter more creatures. Or travel by boat up the Vesuvia River, which will take longer, but will have fewer hostile encounters. I like option A. <laughs> I'm pretty sure option A is the way I like to go. This follows the kingdoms and regions of the original D&D &D setting. Is that Greyhawk? Is that the original setting? Oh, it's Mistara? Interesting. Travel my land. <clears throat> I didn't realize Mistara was this different setting. To ride a juggernaut. Oh, cool. Look at that. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoops. That down up attack does does some work. Give me the money. Can I pick your pocket? I don't know how that's you're supposed to do that. Give me the money. I won the money. Oh, it made the money disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the option to seduce the dragon? And encounter more creatures, yeah. Dragon Magazine, there was a big expansion of the setting, Voyage of the Princess Ark, which was patterned after Star Trek. And visited and extrapolated in a lot of these locations. Interesting. Oh, that's cool, Z-Force. I didn't know this was on Saturn. That's really cool. Oh, it was in Japanese. That was that would be why I didn't. I knew those were gnolls. Nice. Money! Lots of it! There you go. Take that key. What is that? Health? I think that was much needed health. No, it says 10. I don't know what the 10 means. Damn. Continue. Start. 
Okay, we're back to red. Yeah, I like red better. I don't like this ring system at all. Okay, sure. Oh, it makes the thingies disappear. <laughs> what are those? Oh, hellhounds. Okay. Wow, am I moving so fast right now? Oh, no. Whoa. That is not a good dog. Those are bad dogs, unfortunately. Did I just get a magic item? How do I identify it? <laughs> Saturn version had load times and cart requirement. Uh, Mistara was the setting for basic D&D. Greyhawk was one of many settings for advanced and onwards. Okay. The only one I'm really familiar with and to an uncommon degree at that is Forgotten Realms. I was the forever DM to the point where I basically don't get to play D&D &D anymore. Because I don't know anybody that plays and wants a player versus DM. <laughs> oh. oh, that's how you use the arrow. Okay. Whoa, look at that. That was cool. <laughs> I keep doing these moves and I have no idea how, but they're awesome. Rod of lightning. Ooh, that sounds fancy. That sounds fancy, chat. We got to get the dread gazebo, Lucini. Yeah. Does it see me? Lucini, does the dread gazebo see me yet? Do you know? Does it see me? Press attack when you continue to say the same version. Yeah, we're playing on a mister. That's right, Z-Force. Yeah, we played everything on a mister tonight. Streamer D and D. I ran a D and D campaign on my channel for a year and a half. It burnt me the hell out on DMing, <laughs> like severely. Ugh. Playing not so much. DMing because I was running all the production, making all the maps, designing all the characters and the encounters, doing the plot, DMing the thing while streaming. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Wow, this looks awesome. Look at this guy. I didn't want to do that. Lightning bolt. No. I want lightning bolts. There you go. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh. I think he just one shot me. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, the dash attack. You can actually run into them and do damage. That's cool. Oh, jeez. That does so much damage. Jeez. Is that the best? Jesus. What's up, Helvetica? How are you? Bam, bam. This thing is unfairly difficult. No, no, go stand in that. <laughs> Sick. Okay, I just went, just went hard. Give me a look. Okay, I got some of it. It's a mimic gazebo. No, <laughs> not the mimic gazebo. Uh. Ooh, we can shop. Okay, we're gonna pause right there. Do, 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 do. Yo, referee traveler T four. I've got. I don't know what that is. Tits. 
I have no idea what that is. The DM and this is mean. Yeah, I know. He's throwing overpowered monsters uh, at us in the early scenario. Is that your best? Bye, Verona. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I've never played Dragon's Crown Arcade. You can boop the shopkeeper? What do you mean by boop? Oh, you can click on the merchant's face or other areas outside. Okay. Dwarves may find treasure even if it looks like an empty treasure box. Like that. I don't really want any of these items. Like the consumables? I'm not really interested. I would only want health right now, and that's it. Vanilla Wars said they were inspired by this duology when making Dragon's Crown. Oh, very cool. Okay. Don't touch me! Sorry. I was just pushing buttons. Oh. Oh, okay. That's how you leave. Right. Oh, there's more to the left, too? That's kind of cool how it scrolls like that. I like that. One sec. Clear. My browser is <laughs> <laughs> What are you trying to say, cat? <laughs> Everything's in a timer. It's an arcade game, Delph. Yeah. Dragon Crown... Is this plus wee boobs plus grinding? I mean, if it's vanilla wear, they always use very exaggerated body proportions and everything, regardless of gender. So that's that pretty much tracks. Dagger is 20 silver. I don't want any of that. I just want healing, but what is this? Potion of healing. Okay, I got healing. Yeah. Sold out! Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go in the secret tunnel. Oh, man. How cool would it be if there was, like, a secret, like, cellar in the shop? And you could, like, find it this way and then in, like, a secret area? That'd be really neat. All right. We're going to go in the secret hole. All right. Let's go in the secret hole. Let's do it. I want a secret hole. Principalities of Glantry. Prince of Glantry Mal Malachi. De okay. That's probably French or something. I don't know how to say that. Just as I thought, these dark omens bode ill for all Mistara. I also see some suspicious moves among the Shadow Elves. Is that what they used to call Drow? <laughs> Please investigate into it. You got it. To the south of here lies the city of Raffilton of Engmore. Okay. There's a scene in Dragon's Crown that's almost exactly one to one to a scene in Arabian Fight. Arabian fight was at the galloping ghost. I saw that. It looked really cool. I didn't play it though. The CRT on it was mad right, we're fuzzy. Go in the secret hole. There's that poor CRT on that thing was in bad shape. It was one of the few games we saw like that. Certain pads open up if you're a certain class. Oh, that's cool, arcade. Yeah, elves typically in DD always are good at finding hidden entrances. Shadow elves are different to drow. Like Shadowvar? Well, I guess that's a Forgotten Realm specific thing. Yay, Storm. How are you? Good to see you. Drow is more similar to Dark Elves. Okay. Arabian fight is cool as hell, but it's completely jacked. I see. You should uh, start your investigation there. I'll have a sky ship prepared for you. Ooh. Can we go on a spell jammer vessel? You board the sky ship and head to the city of Raphaelton. Oh, this is dope. We're on an airship. This is taking an unexpected turn. Enemies! Drakes? Probably Drakes. Whoa, she's hot. <laughs> Wyverns or Drakes? What's... I always forget the difference. If it doesn't have, like, front legs or arms, it's, like, a Drake or, or something, or a Wyvern. I can't remember how they, they differentiate it, but there's, like, a specific way to know. There's a specific way to know. Okay, we're being attacked by really hot people right now. 
Especially the one in the background. God damn, lady. Come on, open the chest. Open the chest. Oh, there you go. Another ring? Sick. I don't want to get hit by that. Over the chest. I'm sippy fast now. Pick that up. There. Pick that up. Oh, crap. A harpy. Oh. <laughs> Pick up the loot! <laughs> oh, they got me, chat! They got me! They got me! The game is really good, Storm. Yeah. Yeah, I want to try that Spelljammer game. I've heard it's jank, but really interesting. Searcher's not wearing pants. That's fine. Wyverns have four limbs, two back legs, and two wings. Okay. Dragons have six limbs, four legs, and two wings. So these are drakes then, right? Because they just have two legs and that's it. This is uh, arcade. This is on arcade. Yeah! yeah! She's very disruptive back there. These moves are really hard to execute. I'm not pulling it off very well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Give me that. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Circle it. That's the new equipment. I don't know if there's a way to see what the equipment does. Nice hitbox. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that was annoying. <laughs> uh, yes, Shredder, they are correct. Wyverns have no limbs at all, like big snakes. Well, then what the hell is she riding on? It has two legs and that's it. Hello, Mog. What's your monkey want? What did I just do? I don't know. I have no idea. Mog! Flyers and beat em ups? Yeah, it's it's a giant waste of time. <laughs> no beat em up should ever have a monster like this. Because we don't have a way of hitting it in the air until it comes down, basically. Defeated Harpy. Yay. Whoa, look at this. This is cool. Cure serious wounds? How the hell did I do that? As a thief. Tell Aaron. Who's Aaron and what am I telling them? I need a fucking block button. <laughs> oh. What the ball? What was that? <clears throat> the moves are too hard to pull off in this game. They're really stiff. As good as this game is, its controls pretty much suck. 
Oh. Lightning bolt. Beat him up. Don't usually bother with block. Not commonly, you know. He is Sega Animate Dead, isn't he? Just with a weird accent. No. God damn it. I don't want to push that button. Stop. Fucking go away. <laughs> I'm just trying to jump. <laughs> that was a rude thing I just did to that skeleton. Did he just cast mirror image? What a dick. You got me again. God damn. Welcome to the day and world. You should be playing as cleric? Probably. Yeah. Probably. What's going on now? Curse you, and I'll show you true power. Oh, okay. Okay. I see, Duke. What was I supposed to do there? Oh, it's a cutscene. This is what you get for spying on us. I'm tired of this game. Time I ended it. Whoa, sick. What the hell? <laughs> Deus Ex Machina. I'll let you go this time. I look forward to seeing you again. Who's, who is that? That's the DM's pet NPC that's there just to look cool so the TM feels good about themselves. Obtain normal sword level two. Oh, I think my weapon got better. Oh no, we're crashing. The hell won't respond, chat. We're gonna crash into the woods. We have no time, brace for impact. That's cool. See, this feels like D&D &D still somehow. It's really impressive. Like how they're all the other people in the party are here and then like when you're fighting, they're just like gone. <laughs> I don't see that elf who saved our lives. Check the map. What is that? A huge tree or a fortress of some kind? Is it a magic map? It automatically updates where you are in real time. It uses a magic spell called GPS. You gonna be a lap cat again? Okay. Shadow L stronghold. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know if I failed that fight or what. It feels like I did, but I'm not sure if that was just like scripted. Like, I don't know if you could have won that or not. Yep, that's a sling. It's definitely a sling. Dagger. Go! I don't want to. Don't tell me to go, video game. I'm leaving this adventure. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi! Kenny is demanding time again. Oh, you can jump up the ledge? What's that say? You cannot use magic when the beholder glares at you. Use magic when he close oh, loses his eye. All right, use magic when he loses his eye. Giant beetle. Ah! Not more flying things. Why are we playing a shmup now? <laughs> We're playing a shmup now. <laughs> you know, for a thief, she attacks very slowly. I was expecting something a little faster. Sling can rapid fire. And is infinite? He can part to fly around. Hold on. I see no reason not to use this then. Holy crap. Does it have like a charge up? Now I can't wrap it. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Yes, Lickety. Yes, Carter. Oh, you're a nice little lady. This cat is demanding my time. Can I go in there? Oh, you can. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I found some ghouls, chat. A bunch of treasure, but also ghouls. Nice hitbox in that. Is 
We're dead. I don't know what I just did there, but that was so cool. Ah! <laughs> I have no idea what I did, but it was really cool. I don't know how I'm doing that. I'm just trying to do the alchemist fire thing. Yeah, that. Do that a lot more often. Go? No. No, there's giant chests in here, fairy. What's your problem? Are you serious right now? Oh, Morkles! Oh, that was trapped with a petrify ray. <laughs> There's a sword in it. Ring of spell turning. Rod of lightning. Hood. Hood. What is going on? Oh. I'm, I'm exchanging items. Circle it. That's a lightning rod. That's a ring of spell turning. How are you supposed to... Can, is there a way to know what those do? Ooh. It's nearly unplayable? Oh, that sucks. The spell jammer game. There's no way to know? Okay. Get the guide? Yeah, I'm not going to read a guide for beat em up. Not while I'm playing it. Absolutely not. <laughs> You just have to know from your D&D &D knowledge. So, okay, what the hell is the difference between a hood and a circlet? Because in my D&D &D knowledge, neither do anything. They're just a hood and a circlet. They have to have some magical property to do anything. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. That's cool that there's like little side areas you can find treasure in. Ooh, healing. Like, it looked like I got a sword earlier, but maybe that's a consumable. Oh, cool. I think I did one of those animation cancels people were talking about. That was neat. Ring of spell turning got broken. Excuse me? From a beetle? <laughs> ah! There's a ring on the ground. I pick it up and it just goes on the ground. Okay, that's so weird. Dagger. Oh, there it is. Cursed sword. That does not sound very wise to use. Oh, let's despawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Nicole? How are you? <clears throat> they can be swapped in from into from your inventory ring. All right. Fuck it. What is this ring? Magic missile? I just used it. It didn't go in my inventory. What are you talking about? Did you just make that up? <laughs> Magic missile. <laughs> it didn't go in my inventory at all. Uh, I think you just made that up. The curse of immortality. Let's use it. It's true, it's cursed. Very cursed. There. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, it's like freezing my inputs. Uh, look at, she's like passing out trying to use it. Look at those like creepy eye stalks on the ground. <laughs> Is that 
<laughs> it can only be uncursed with the cleric. It requires picking up as the cleric. I see. Oh, look at those sprites on that beholder. That looks cool. Awesome. <laughs> I know it's really gross, isn't it, base? If you swing the cursor a hundred times, it'll change. Oh, you don't just have to pick it up. Welcome. Uh. How you doing? <laughs> You're talking specifically about your weapons. Oh, okay. You think the items get used instantly <laughs> if you don't have room? History. I see. It causes damage to the wielder 60% of the time. Okay, we're going to totally do that. I've heard only one who serves as an immortal can release the curse. Great. Touch. Dots. Do you find me beautiful? Yeah, that's true. I don't want that. What's this? Can I find anything in here? Lamp. I love lamp. I don't want arrow. I don't want any of this. That. What's that bag? Damn. You can't do anything else here, can you? Can I have your armlet? Can't do anything else. <laughs> I say we rest here for a spell. <sighs> oh, okay, Duke. Where did we end up on Tatooine? Were you, you think she's got a Twi'lek? She looks like a dark elf with super red hair to me. I'm not for sale. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. I'm just trying to find secrets. Okay. That guy's ass on fire. Can you, like, piss her off if you keep doing it? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Yo, look at that. That looks cool. A huge tree over a thousand years old rises at the center of the forest of Angmore. That looks dope. Who's that? I won't be long before the feed rises. Who the hell are you? Why does it look like you have an axe stuck in, the, in your skull? All of Mistara will fall to me. Oh, okay. Not a single adventurer who has seen the huge tree has come back safely. Battle of Strong Oak. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Exclamation point! Oh, God, a mana core! <laughs> <laughs> This is a kitty, huh? Dude, stop wing buffeting me. That's not fair. There you go. I like the freaking alchemist thing she does. Oh. Damn. No, no, no. Bad kitty. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the day day world. Welcome to the day day world. Ads are about to start. Chat. Oh, God damn it. Whoa, look at that greed blood shooting out. Give me the treasure. Give me the treasure. Give me the treasure. What's that? 
There's something shiny there. Woo! Looks like there was another cave on the right side there. Four hit points? That's terrible level. Look, she's a thief, so she just detected a trap. How cool is that? <laughs> That's so cool. You detect traps as a thief character? Man. I want to know what, like, all the character classes have that they can do that's special. That's really neat. She did that with the petrification trap? I didn't notice that one. It's a good thing I avoided it. It was an accident. Well, if you know it's trapped, you can, like, open it and, like, try to run away, right? Because, like, how else are you going to open it? Because that, that chest with the trap, petrification trap, still had loot in it, from what I remember. I believe there was still treasure. A very thief-like behavior. Indeed. Indeed. How do I open this? Arrows! Oh, tricky. Earring. Oh, okay. All right, chat. Let's try this. So if I just swing this a lot, it'll uncurse. Is that correct? <laughs> Is that true? So can I just sit here and mash without, without consequence? No. That's curse sword two. Oh, it says curse sword two. Welcome to the world. That's what it says though. Doot doot. Your scarred cables are constantly going loose in the OC. Yeah, Flygon, I know. Curse Sword 2 must be picked up by a cleric. Oh, okay. Alright. What the hell is this ring that just keeps getting dumped on the ground? I'm so confused by that. no idea you're on sling and your inventory is full oh hello M the announcer sounds like the similar ones from Street Fighter 2 I can see that silver dagger all right what can I get rid of here the silver dagger, I guess. Or this. Like, how do you get rid of an item? I don't think you can, can you? The ring just disappeared? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Alright, let's go. There you go. That hurts me a lot, but it feels like I don't have much choice a lot of the time. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. How does the pickpocket thing in this work? Oh, come on. I was swinging and he, like, canceled my air attack. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I would get rid of the curse sword. I don't know how. It's not like there's a, like, oh, drop this item in your menu kind of thing. Where'd the skeletons go? They just left. Okay. Cool. Knolls! Axe Knoll. What the hell? Cobalts. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Wait, what just hit me? Cobalts hit me, didn't they? Cobalt's dead. 
anything other than the sling can be dropped start running with double tap and collide with an enemy it does no damage but may cause them to drop an item oh that's the pickpocket okay oh okay i see that's how you exchange items got it I like that stab when they're on the ground. That's so cool. <laughs> if I pick a different character, do you lose your level progress? Because <clears throat> I am curious what the other characters are like. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, man. <laughs> I shouldn't put this whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> God damn it. The character level tiers are different. You don't know if you lose progress partially or not. All right, hell of it. Mistress of magic, tireless warrior, master of magic. Dwarf time. Blah! I think I lost all my level progress. Maybe. Possibly. Blah! <laughs> yeah, that's true, Duke. I know. I started at level 12 on the other character. Oh, I still have my XP. Okay. Guard. Oh, that's cool. I see. Yeah. That's really cool. I'm a dwarf. Let me find unusual stone surfaces with my stone cunning. Oh, he clearly is better in combat than the thief already. Like, I'm stun locking things with him. That's pretty wicked. <laughs> he also seems to take hits better. So that's also a thing in this. That's really cool. What is that? Looks like an egg. You will give me an egg. I don't want to. There you go. Wait, why did you drop? Oh, you dropped the arrow. Okay. Whoops. Oh God, I just spawned an owl bear. <laughs> Trap, dead fall. It sounds like he said bark spawn. Is this Dragon Age Origins? Orcs balls! Oh, my owlbear didn't come with. Ruined. Freaking ruined. That's okay. Dwarf is the toughest? Yeah. May I offer you an egg in these trying times? Oh, that's so kind of you. I use a beast in combat. Damn it. I keep pushing the wrong button. There we go. Okay, that was cool. I don't know how I did that, but it was cool. <laughs> Come on, do the thing. Oh, the moves are so hard to do. What is that I'm picking up? Is it like experience or something? Gargoyles? Yep. Whoa! Oh, God. 
Orx balls. I don't know what he's saying. Something spawn. Just mash. Just mash. Doing the moves is like hurting my thumbs trying to get them to work because they're so mushy. <clears throat> oh, these have definitely got my number. I'm like doing no damage to them. <laughs> Clank! Uh. Arx balls! All right, next character. Uh, let's go with the cleric. Phenomal arrive, phenomal thinkies, phenomal thinkies, phenomal thinkies, phenomal thinkies, phenomal thinkies. What did I just do? Thinkies, phenomet. Yo, Hitalia, thank you. I think I cast bless. Oh, this guy is terrible on these gargoyles. <clears throat> 39 months, huh? Look okay, at he's already dead. <laughs> Alright, fuck the cleric. That was even worse. Elf time. Magic level 5. Wait, why did those just suddenly die? I'm so, so bewildered by this game. What is this? There, I finally got it. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. right, inventory. Press jump. Haste. Invisible. What the fuck does that mean? CE? <laughs> P others? <laughs> what are you saying to me, game? <laughs> God. <sighs> we're going to pee on others, chat. All right. Clearly, that's what we're going to do here. Let's go pee on others. I don't think she has special moves. Okay, she does. They just don't work very easily. Beepy! Beepy! Polymorph others. Mmm. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Where'd you go? Oh, Beepy the kobolds up. ran away. Okay. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Wrong button. P others. I don't think it worked. It didn't do anything. <laughs> All right. Conjure elemental. Oh, we got an earth elemental. Okay. That was damn cool. These are some beefy ghouls. Lightning bolt. Oh, cool. <laughs> I think it worked. Oh, man. There you go. Let's open the chest. <clears throat> you got a ring. Some kind of potion. Okay, that's not trapped. Go back to me, fairy. I'm looting stuff. That fairy is in a rush. Can I read the sign? Touch of the Lich will paralyze you. Spelled incorrectly. Leaving you helpless. Paralyzed no longer has a Y in it, chat. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Whoa, that looks cool. It's impressive you reached here. Unfortunately, your little adventure ends here. Oh, I know I could just, I know just the person who could put an end to your little adventure. 
That looks like a Skeksis from Dark Crystal. Those the creepy things are always like, mm. <laughs> like, why are we fighting a Skeksis? Uh, -oh. uh, okay. That was weird. He just touched her and she was on the ground. Barball. Dude, these controls are driving me nuts. I keep pushing the wrong button constantly. Hello? Lightning bolt? Did I hit him? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're probably influenced by Skaxies. We're going back to this character. I don't like the other ones. You have to do too much menuing. And just like, it's frustrating as all hell. <laughs> Hello? Can I do things? I can't. It wouldn't let me use the sling. It's just like, I'm so confused. <laughs> Characters that need keyboard hotkeys. Yes. This game needed more buttons, basically. Why won't it let me use the sling? This is so weird. Do, 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 do. I don't know if it's freezing my inputs or what's going on here. This is really strange. I guess I'm just not allowed to use any abilities or spells. Okay. It's very confusing. All right, we'll just do this. <laughs> yeah, cool. For some reason that works. What's that? Flame shield. Oh, cool. Oh, it's still on the ground. Jesus. Only one effect can be played at a time, which means you cast spells you can't. Oh. <laughs> it left that damn shield on the ground. Who's that? That's Freedom Pulse. Yo, Freedom, what's up? I don't like the sling because it makes it so I can't equip anything. Imagine this game without a shitty inventory system. It would be like infinitely better. Freedom, how's it going, man? How you doing? Yeah, I could have replaced the... I don't think she has it anymore, though, because I swapped characters. No, she doesn't. She's like a bunch of random crap now. How is SMT5 Vengeance? Didn't that just, like, come out, like, a couple days ago? It's your new favorite? So this isn't, like, a honeymoon effect thing? It's actually that good? Because there's always, like, that honeymoon effect, right, with new games? If they're good. When I, when I get a new game like that, I wait like two weeks after beating it to decide. Gauntlets of power got broken. What the hell does that mean? When did I get that? <laughs> this game definitely needs a guide. What's she doing? Lady. Oh, that was cool. I don't know how I did it, but it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. There's a di displacer beast. <laughs> That's not good. Vanilla SMT5 was your third favorite. 26 hours in the last three days. Dude, that good? Wow. Hold it's on. a revision of an existing game. Oh, I thought it was a new game. Okay. 
SMT5 is awesome in 60 FPS. Depending on your name, you'll start with a magic item on character swap. Huh. A new one fixes all your issues with the original and goes above and beyond. Interesting. Yeah, there's a displacer beast. That's terrifying. You know, I was expecting maybe blink dogs, but not one of these nightmares. Oh, dear. And yes, that's one beast you're seeing there. If you're unfamiliar with a displacer beast, they're always like phasing in and out of our reality. So it often looks like you're seeing more than one of them because you don't know which reality they're in and you miss half the time when you try to hit it with anything. <laughs> they suck. <laughs> they're so hard to fight. They're one of the most terrifying D&D &D monsters. Displacer Beast, Beholders, Elithid, Notorious. Oh, that was a good move there. I felt good about that one. I'm doing okay so far. Yeah, stop the goblin in the face! Freedom, thank you so much for rating me of all the people out there. You chose this channel to bring your people to. I appreciate that very much, man. So let's see, it has two campaigns, the original game with a ton of quality of life updates and balance changes with new quests and a new campaign completely. It takes a story in a whole new direction. Are you doing the new one or are you doing the old one first? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it is one displacer beast, but yeah, that's the effect of it. You can't tell which is the one you can actually interact with. I'm getting lucky, though. Oh, it got me. <laughs> Let's go. So far, Thief has been the best for me. The other ones require too much menuing in the middle of action, which doesn't work so well. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. What's that? It looks green and shiny and I want it in my pocket. Give me that. I have the displacer beast. Oh, that sounds sick. <laughs> You're playing the new one first? Gotcha. You had a party dying displacer beast? Not surprising. Our village is under attack for monsters. Would you come to our aid? Keep pursuing the sorceress. Go save the people at the gnome village. I want to see gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> the minute mind flares are shown doing some eye stuff, instantly the internet decides they're the most terrifying D&D &D monsters. Is that why you think I said that? Interesting. So you're just going to ignore the 20 plus year history I have of playing and DMing it? Okay, cool. <laughs> Good assumption there. I'm level 17. I have normal sword level three. Cool. Oh, we found a gnome shopkeep. You learned how to do the new move. Was that the Kamehameha? How did I do that? How did I do that? I want to know. I want to know. Yeah, this game is really well done for sure. I'm reading a lot into that. Well, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did read into that. You were commenting on how people not familiar with D&D reacted to Mind Flayers? Yes. Yes. They did a really good job of that. What they ended up doing was making them as terrifying as possible in a very visceral way so that people got the fear of Mind Flayers. So yes, I agree with what you're saying. Sorry, I totally misunderstood that. <laughs> You're going to finish the new one tomorrow, then finish your Final Fantasy IX first playthrough. Oh, man, I love nine. Nine's so good. You're fighting a Displacer Beast, and this goblin just comes up behind you and throws a rock at your back. This game understands goblins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> your own little Displacer Beast just came in the room to make sure you took your medicine. Nice. Ipsen's Castle. Oh, okay. 
It's possible the pickpocket displacer be skin from that fight? Wow. Hi, Ash. How's it going? How you doing? It's a charge press of the attack button. Hold it a couple seconds and release. Interesting. So that's how I did it. You'll have to check this game out. It looks like one of the better beat em up RPG hybrids. Yeah, there's some issues with it. Menuing is kind of a problem with any of the casters. Um, so if you can handle that quickly, great. Um, but otherwise, this actually feels like D&D, which is really unusual for a beat em up. Like you can like, oh, you can go to this village or you can go in the secret cave and there's like hidden treasure. Or you like there's choice that you can make in this. It's really cool. <laughs> D and D gnomes are underrated. I think so too. Yeah, I think they're often the butt of jokes. It's a little unfortunate. Pickpocketing or stealing skins and pelts is her hilarious and terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it is. The eye of the displacer beast will help when searching hidden rooms. Oh, interesting. What else you gotta say? Excuse me? I okay. Ooh, what's this dagger back there? I can't use it. Damn. <laughs> Can I steal your stuff? Is there a secret? That's it. Potion of healing. Let's do it. Okay, cool. Who's played this? Type one if you've played this, and two if you haven't. I'm curious. You're okay? Did you 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 were streaming earlier, right? That was Amiga you were doing today, right? Afternoon Amiga. I woke up and I saw you live. That was really fun. One, 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 two, one, one, two, one. Two, two. Oh, it's about even so far. It's about even. Pickpocketing skins is the origin of the phrase stole the shirt off his back. <laughs> you played it on Steam? I mean, it's the same, right? Pretty much. I don't think the ports really changed anything about this, did they? I wonder if they'd made the menuing better. I feel like if the menuing in this game would be better, this would be an even higher mark from me. You haven't played these, Ash? You really need to. Ash, if we could find time at TwitchCon, we should hit up an arcade. Because I know I wanted to do that at PAX, but we didn't find time. Maybe we can do that in San Diego if there's, if there's time before everything gets busy. <clears throat> You can visit a special shop in the gnome village, but you need to be quick. Ooh, I see. Ports aren't really different. They use the four player version. Oh, and it has online play. Okay. Beat em ups. I love beat em ups. It's one of my favorite genres. I don't do them as often as I'd like to on stream just because they take so much focus, but tonight's a different night, right? Tonight's more of a vibe of this. I think it's important to do that sometimes to give us all a fresh look at something. What? <laughs> Damn it. There you go. Oh, skeletons. I love this like upper cut slash she has with the thrown alchemist fire at the end. That's such a cool move. It's done me well. Ah, oh, nose! Nose! Loot! Get all the loot! Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Sure. Hell yeah. We can talk about it another time. Maybe we can figure it out. So many jokes in Ragnarok online. How you can steal a bird's beak and it drops a second beak when killed. <laughs> Under the stage, say yes to buying potion. Go to door one in the armory. It's closed. Go into door two in the bar. First NPC against the back wall. A woman will say the armory just opened. Then exit and go back to the armory. Wow. Okay. That is convoluted as all hell. We will attempt to do that. I will I will endeavor to do so. Ooh, this is trapped. Run! Fire! The thief can detect traps. Very cool. That's trapped. Run! Gas! Ooh, it spawned enemies too.
Oh crap! I didn't mean to open it. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, mistakes were made, chat. There we go. We got a little cave here. <clears throat> a little cave. All right, let's go in. Oh, uh, well, let me. Oh, I thought you could go in these caves. That's too bad. Okay. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you can go in those side areas. There you go. They were getting a little cheeky with me. Oh, no archers! No archers! There you go. Boy, there's not a lot of forgiveness on the timing of those attacks. Dude, stop looting and just swing! <laughs> I don't like that that's the same button. <laughs> Damn it. They make cool sounds. <clears throat> some rounds have signs that explain some of the items. Mm. Is there an anti-flash patch? I have no idea. That's a good question. Not a clue, man. Lady, open the chest. Or don't, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, whatever. Sure. Ring of fire resistance. I just somehow turned him into a frog. <laughs> okay. I guess that wasn't a ring of fire resistance. It was different. Troggle dice. They look like cool to us. Interesting. I guess those are different then. Troggle dites are not Kua to us. Maybe Kua to us are a Forgotten Realms thing. There you go. Sometimes they run off, which I thought was interesting. <clears throat> I had a ring of polymorph other. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> That's so cool that you can do that. What do you mean it got broken? Oh, I forgot ghouls could paralyze. This is so true to D&D. &D. It's so wild. Dude, I miss playing D&D. &D. Seriously. I actually did... Uh, other than the um, campaign I ran on my channel, I also hosted. It was like four or five one shots, and Ash was on one or two of those. That was really cool. I think that was like one of the first things like we ever collabed on. <clears throat> it was a long time ago. It was like three years ago. Could tour the fish people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Troglodytes, Kuatua, and Sahagan are all different, but somewhat similar. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Would you play an old school D&D campaign if somebody else DM'd? So long as the rules aren't, like, getting in the way of the game. Does that make sense? Because, like, the trapping of old school D&D &D is that the rules are often really archaic, esoteric, and they have unreasonable restrictions. Like, oh yeah, only... Elves can be this class and like goofy shit like that. Like, as long as it's like doesn't do shit like that, you know, like it gets in the way, then yes, absolutely. I would love to try something like that. That'd be really fun. Uh, Bronze Brigands ended in February of 2011, Selnica. So it ended over four, uh, over three years ago. The, the one shots were after that. They were brief was shortly after that. Is that, the bed? Is that the bed? <laughs> A chimera, cool. There's another classic D and D monster. I did, oh god. 
Twenty, the yeah, I man, twenty twenty one, yeah. Welcome to the day of day world. Well, thanks, dude. Well, thanks. It's so nice of you. No, not the fucking ring. God. <laughs> Just get rid of this shit. There you go. Burn him. Burn to the crab. Nice wing buffets. Oh, it's got flame breath. I forgot. <laughs> oh, man. No, stop it. Oh, man. <laughs> Not that kind of Camara, Solica. Jesus. <laughs> too soon. All right, too soon. Lady, do the attack I want you to do. Thank you. There you go. Oh, there's loot. I want the loot. Give me the loot. Oh, that thing almost landed on me. Yeah, let's go. We got him. Oh, I don't think it had anything else. <clears throat> yeah. February 2021. Browns Riggins was a year and a half. I did one shot shortly after that. Uh, Ash said hi. I was in one or... I think she was in two of them. We did guest DMs for each one. Um, Feel at home in our village. You're a little large for our houses. This potion will make it easier for you to get around. Okay, so what did Duke say here? <clears throat> say yes to the potion. Go to door one, the armory. Then door two, the bar. First NPC says the armory open. Then go back to the armory. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty high level Toshido, right? Yeah, it's only good. Correct. That yeah, was that long ago. Yes, I bought the potion. Okay, cool. Look, now we're tiny. It's locked. Okay, so that's the armory. Oh, geez. There's a short timer. It's about time for the shop to open. You should stop there. Is that what that you mean? This person? Look how cool this is. I wish this part wasn't timed. Because I would just like to go and talk to everyone in here, you know? It's like a very D&D &D vibe. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> this is nice music. Listen to this. Hello. Excuse me? I just wanted to talk. Don't touch me. Sorry. Oh, you could buy a bunch of wands. <clears throat> Multiple sub menus. Bastard sword and warhammer. Okay, that sword sounds tempting. <clears throat> Octa Geisha, how are ya? And then we have rings. Okay. I think I want to get the sword. The sword sounds good. <clears throat> Check the back wall. Oh god, we're running out of time. Okay. That's not doing anything. No? Nothing. Bastard sword. Got it. <clears throat> Where in the back wall? Because there's only five seconds. Yeah, I like it too. She looks pretty. <clears throat> she looks really cool. Mm. 
Really like gossamer mage robe style thing. <clears throat> do, 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 do. How are we? We're doing good. It's been really fun doing beat em up night. The morning star and two hand swords be added if you click them, but Molenby only for the characters that can use them. Oh, I just heard a confirmation sound on the morning star, but not the sword. Oh, there it goes. Weird. Where did they go, though? I don't know. It made a noise. <clears throat> bum, bum. Mm -hmm. They go in the middle sub menu for weapons. Oh, so it's too late, basically. So we didn't actually get them. <clears throat> They're super pricey. Do you talk? He doesn't talk. Let's get healing. I think that's it. Poke, poke. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat> he did, yeah. He did squeak out welcome. He's talking about a floating stone. Okay. All right, let's go. What happens next? You stand before the cave of Raphael the Immortal. Inside a recently opened chasm stretches before you. Oh, look at that. It's cool. It is a huge passage that leads to the dark underground world. You have to save up all game and sell off your other items. Wait, you can sell things? How the hell do you sell things? Pursuit of the sorceress, you plunge into the black pit after Raphael. As you approach the chasm, the floating stone suddenly reacts and you are wrapped with light. Cool. You get sucked in deep into the hole. Basement 20, basement 30. Are we going to the underdark? Oh dear. <laughs> This is fine. <clears throat> this is totally fine. There were, looked like there were doors. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to go in those or not. I had no idea a world such as this existed underground. This is unbelievable. A huge castle can be seen in the distance. There seems to be two ways to get there. And what do you do? Cross stone bridge over the sea of lava. Cross stone bridge in the frozen world. There's missable doors? Fuck. That sucks. It's not like we can rewind. Hmm. <laughs> These parts don't even have safe states. Okay. You don't understand. No treasure left behind is our motto here. Expert content? Oh my god, I would have loved that. All right, chat. Let's leave it up to chat. Lava or frozen? What do you say, chat? What would you want to see? <clears throat> I'm cool with either. Saber says frozen world. Sound like I doesn't want to answer. Frozen for Witcher and Gotwing. Ildelf says liquid hot magma. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, a lot of answers for frozen. Ice is nice. Okay. It looks pretty clearly. People want to see the ice. Let's do it. Ice it is. Here we go. Stage 9B. Lost world. This has actually a really good soundtrack, too. I don't know if I'm using that new sword or not. I will check when I'm not being assaulted. Okay, that was cool. Anti-air I just did there. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> uh... Oops. Where'd they go? I don't know. Bastard sword. Oops. 
I can't. I, I wonder. <clears throat> I don't know if it's better than what I was using or not. You saying let it go? Very funny. <laughs> The defense double jump? Wait, how? Oh my god, really? <laughs> I think she just wall jumps too. She does! A back dash. What the hell is a back dash? How do you do that? Oh, I see. You have to like hold attack or something. Double tap jump to back dash. Okay, she only sometimes does it. Got it. There's a cave here. No, that's not a cave. Never mind. I lied. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think I can. Those don't seem to go away. Oh. Well, I can... I can. Just not the way you would expect. Yo, what's that? I got another sword? I have a fire sword? Why did I buy the bastard sword? <laughs> That's way cooler. What is this item? LB oil. I don't know what that means. Okay, that's fine. Cool. This is sick. Look at that. Oh my god. Who doesn't like a fire sword in D&D &D or any like hack and slash game? <laughs> It's good on enemies immune to fire. Mmm, okay. Large burning oil. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stab him in the head. I'm trying to get that money, but I don't think I can. Dude, this is cool. Flame tongue. Yeah, Belvin, that's right. I remember now. It is a classic, isn't it, dude? How are you today, by the way? Look at these air juggles. I'm putting in work. Yeah, get the money. Get the money. I want the money. I want the money. Ooh, that's healing. Nice. There's a ring. I'll take the ring. This game... Oh my god, this would be so fun multiplayer too. It'd be so fun. Large boil! Oh my god, Toffee. You love online games that have bastard swords as an item, but chat filters the word bastard, so everyone has to type bastard. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I go I go different with that one, Flygon. I call it this. Just just for contrarian being contrarian. <laughs> You hate everything with 3D? I mean, that's just the way the tech evolved. The, the thing is, like, if you say... If you... I didn't like that everything went 3D. But... The things that did it well, did it really well. And plenty of things are still 2D. I mean, just... Again... I don't know if it was you I've talked about this with, but... I always bring this up to everybody. Um, just look at the indie game industry. There's more 2D games that look gloriously awesome than you will ever have time to play in your life. <laughs> so it's like 10 years ago, too much 3D. Right now, too much everything. We don't have time, right? So at least, you know, we, we have that wealth of choice. That's the way I see it anyway. Here, serious wounds can be cast on yourself or your ally. Can you do that in this? Multiplayer specific mechanics. Oh, okay. Okay. Waluigi time. All right. Let's try to get that. It's worth it. Is that your best? It is my best. Yeah. 
Where are you talking to, lady? There you go. Okay, a couple rings. It doesn't tell me what they are. That's lightning bolts. This is CSW, which I think is heal. Well, I just wasted it. Whoops. Ring of protection. Ooh, that's equipment. That's actually armor. I think that'll help me soak uh, damage better, at least a little bit. Those tend to break from what I've seen. <laughs> Bash turd sword. Yeah, it's fish poop sword. <laughs> fish poop sword. <laughs> yeah, Toffee, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> I didn't even see you say that. <laughs> you like to see what Capcom would have done with a few more years of 2D? Yeah, they were the best in the business. Like, look at Breath of Fire 4, for example. That is some of the best pixel art I've ever seen to this day. It looks amazing. It feels like how there's so much anime being produced, it's utterly overwhelming. That's why we have to be more selective about what we play and what we spend time on. Frost Salamander. Boy, am I happy we found this sword. That's a cool enemy. Look at that. I don't want to suck that. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Either he stole my loot, or he dropped a lot of it. Dude, this sword is great. <laughs> this sword is awesome. Look at this. This is like one of the coolest feelings in D&D, &D, is when you have like the right like setup for an encounter, and you just like destroy it. Oh, they broke my ring. Oh, dang. Oh, he's fighting back now. He's definitely fighting back now. Damn. She keeps trying to pick up loot instead of attack. That's a problem. I'll take all that money. Run. Why won't you want to run? That's weird. I don't like that it doesn't let you loot everything. That's a bit bothersome. Mm -mm. Level 19. Four hit points. Kind of weak, but that's all right. Ooh, another shop. Another shop. Ads are about to start, so it's a good time to pause gameplay. Yeah, we were melting them, right? Right? You got your memory card pro in the mail? Oh, I got to check my tracking on that. Mine should be here soon, Z-Force. I remember the mem card pro one was easy to set up, so I don't think it'll be a problem at all. You'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. I think it's just the manual is so big because it tells you how to use all of the options, many of which you probably will never need. They're just there for you. Hopefully that makes sense. You know that feeling sound like a Yeah. The fire sword is magic. So gargoyles that were terrible trouble before will be manageable now. Cool. Stop stabbing me. This slide pickup. I don't know what that means. Poor chest never to be open. It's sad, right? I want to play a patched version of this that lets you play it at your own pace. <laughs> Remove all timers, right? Like, and don't, don't go to the next screen after a boss until you've had time to collect everything. It's probably easier than it looks. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Honestly, I think you'll be fine. Oh. <sighs> Some months ago, during a fight in the D&D &D campaign, you managed a crit with your paladin and followed it up with max damage smite and max damage shield backhand slap. A third to half of the boss's HP in one round. Oh, wow. When you do the slide down forward jump it picks up all money and xp items on the ground oh okay interesting got it
Good to know. You did it to grab aggro. The boss was paying attention to you after that. Yeah, if you do that much at a single round, <laughs> it's usually going to be pretty one-sided. Oh, oh man. Oh. Feels good. Feels good. It's it, it's funny to me like how non-existent discoverability is for YouTube live streaming. Like there's nothing there. It's so weird. <laughs> I think my average viewers in the YouTube co-stream tonight have been less than one. <laughs> Like, if we're going to decimal, it would probably be like 0 0.1 average viewers at the most. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I'm not used to that anymore. Sorry. I'm just making a comment on that. <clears throat> Whew. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm just waiting for the ads to stop, which are in a few seconds, and then we can continue. The ones you live stream on YouTube usually push shorts announcing when they'll do it. I don't have time for that. I don't have any editors, so. I, I have no editors and I can't afford them, so. It's just don't do it. I wish I had time for that. All right, thanks for waiting, everybody. Baby owl bears will fight for the owner of their eggs. Yes, we did see that earlier. That was actually really cool. Ocean of super healing. I don't really want anything she has because I don't use any of it. Yeah, there's nothing here. Let's go. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> air castle. Cool. Suddenly a huge air castle rises in front of you. It is the Citadel of something that went too fast. <laughs> While you're shocked at the unbelievable sight, the thief talks to you. I'm the thief. Okay. The thief talks to the thief. Let's use this to enter their castle. Okay. Interesting. It's the warp crystal from Deimos' tower. How did you get it? Uh, it thief things. What's up, rat? Rat burger. How you doing? You found when you stream on only YouTube, it ends up being relatively scaled. The platform size is Twitch. About 25 to 30% of the viewership you get. Interesting. This is only the second time I've streamed on YouTube, so I don't expect anything on it. It's just amusing how there's literally no discoverability for it. Merchant mm -mm -mm. winked at us. <laughs> you intentionally keep them separate. Yeah, if you want, Duke. I just don't have time to stream separate streams on YouTube. I just don't. Like, if, I, if I'm if i going to be increasing the amount I stream, I'm going to add a day for Twitch. So, yeah. Because YouTube is like... For gaming, for me, is like a dead end. It doesn't go anywhere. It never has in eight plus years. So I just do it because I can. The, the simulcast. And if people find me that way, great. I don't expect that to ever happen, but as it stands right now, it's not hurting anything for me to do it this way. It seems my system can handle it, so I might as well do it. Do, do, do. Yeah, it sounds like a, that's, that's what most good DMs would do. It sounds like he, I mean, I, I already know Mog's a good DM, so it's good that he's sticking to that. Do, 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 do. Why is that a fear, Flygon? I don't understand. If you can get YouTube on simulcast, it's an easy feature to turn on. Right, yeah, I found a plugin that lets you do it very simply. So I just encode it on the GPU versus the CPU, and it doesn't really add any overhead whatsoever to the system because the encoding chips on a GPU are separate from its normal. Uh, Let's see. Hi, Cine. I see you over there. 
Cindy is my first chat message on YouTube in eight hours. <laughs> it's I love this contrast. It's so different. It's like polar opposite of Twitch. A little something I picked up after you escaped from the Sable Tower. Well done, Finn. We use the crystal's power for our way into the castle. Okay. Stage 10-1, gateway. Ooh, trapped. Trap arrows. Ooh. That one's hard to avoid. Let's go in there. Why not? Let's see what's in here. This sword is damn cool. Oh, we got ghouls. Oh, damn. I was too slow on the attack. Is that the best? This sword, like, just made it this so much more fun. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> it's damn cool. Oh, paralyzed. Oh, the kill. The paralysis kill. I think when they do that, you actually turn into a ghoul. If, I don't, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while, though. My D&D knowledge is fading. That one ran away. That's funny. An undead running away. Morale fail. Petrify. Saw it coming. Little healing item. Orb. Oh, there's two rings here. Lightning bolts. Let's get rid of these daggers. Oh, I don't have any arrows. There you go. See, oh, cure serious wounds, right? I think that's right. <clears throat> yeah, just DM me anytime, dude. Could be interesting to see that. I think you've shown me analytics on there before, but that was a long time ago, so I know things have changed since then. Yeah, I'm glad you get to do that, Selmica. Hopefully you get you build up that confidence to run your own thing sometime. Drinking tea and watching this awesome gameplay. Yeah, these are good. This is the sequel. There's it's Tower of Doom and Shadows over Mistara, and this is Shadows, the sequel. It's really good. This sword really is doing work, isn't it? That's sus. I can push it. <gasps> a puzzle. Is there another stat? Hold on. Oh, cool. What's in here? Oh, it's a different section. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that the art in this is great, isn't it, Rat Burger? There's a save. You mean like a saving throw against the petrify or, or a save point? What do you mean? What is that? There's like little symbols appearing on that chat. What is going on? <laughs> it's so weird. Uh. Oh. Don't tell me to go. I'm exploring. This is actually giving me exploration. Oh, those are mines. Okay. Whoops. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh, I think I already messed this up. I did. I think you need to have like one of the enemies stand on one of these. Damn. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There's one over here. This will take a little bit, but this might be worth it. She's not the strongest gal. She's more agile. It's going to take some time. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit. Yeah, a little easier multiplayer, Stuart. That's right. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Jesus, dude. Just say what you're going to say. Get you waiting, huh? 
do I ain't gonna wait just say what you're gonna say getting used to tools and need to build assets and maps no just run a module dude if it's your first time you don't need to go that hard don't overdo it for your first time just do it just run them one shot so you actually get the flow and feel of DMing instead of like hyper fixating on it before you ever get to it and then burning out. That was a good trap, actually. That was pretty clever. There's switches on the wall. Look at that. Oh boy, we got company. We got company. I think they could get hit by the traps. Lady, quit looting and just kill shit already. God damn it. <laughs> it drives me nuts. Oh, that button needs to be different. Nice. That was going to hit me. Oh. What the? A bunch of them just spawn. Damn, you can attack pretty fast if you mash. All right, let's see what these switches do. I bet they turn the traps off. They didn't. They don't seem to have done anything. Oh, they did turn the traps off. The ceiling traps. Do, 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 do. The trap was hitting enemies. Nice. Well, asking a thief not to loot, it's a mage. <laughs> Listen, you. <laughs> it just needs to be a different button. That's all. It just needs to be a different button. We're in a door maze. We're in a door maze, chat. What's up, Paul May? How you been? Let's go in here. Oh, we got doggies. Bad doggies. I think they actually resist this sword. But changing equipment in this game is very cumbersome. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I did that combo, but it was really cool. Struggle dice. There you go. I wanted those ground attacks. That's what's up. Drop! Fire! Woo! There's a healing potion there. Look at that. Bracelet. Orb. Uh, orb sounds more cool than bracelet. Orb sounds a lot cooler than bracelet. Earring. I'm finding equipment, but I don't know what any of it does. <laughs> uh, that's what you're watching. Oh, man. Yeah, it's an arcade game originally from like the early 90s. 96 or 96, actually. You're, you're watching that game. Chronic or Oh, this is Shadows over Mistara. What's Chronicles over Mistara? Wasn't that just a port, though? That was just a port of this, wasn't it? And it was like it included both games. It included Tower of Doom and Shadows. Yeah, there you, yeah, that's the compilation port. That's what I thought. So we have Earring, Orb, and the other item disappeared. That's fine. We don't need it anyway. Silver D. Yeah, I don't need the Silver D. We're not a Silver D type, you know? All right, let's just leave that. So hey, you've played this. It's the same game. <clears throat> All right, let's go in here again. Let's do a bit more. Oh, we can't. Okay, that's it. Moving on. That's all she wrote. Dude, this sword is so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it was too early on the air attack. Oh, crap. Stop looting! <laughs> Damn it! Just... Oh. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it ran away. I forgot that the enemies run in this. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> Whoa, look at that. There's the not dragon, drake, or wyvern, apparently. Do we meet again? We did. What, you bull? What is that? Oh. Hit him on the ground. This almost sounds like Capcom music right now. Was this made by Capcom? I don't think it was, was it? Maybe. It's giving me like Mega Man X Breath of Fire vibes. Okay. This guy doesn't like fire. Ah! It is Capcom. Okay. That explains it. It's that time, right? It's that time period. 96. Oh, yeah! Apparently just respawning hurts the enemies. Uh oh. What was that? Whoa. Whoa. My dude. Not cool. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my God, what am I supposed to do there? Jeez. Oi, yi, yi. I think that gives me iframes. The little like backflip thing that has a way too unforgiving like input window. Oh, that somehow missed me. Okay. You win. You win. <laughs> Dude, how am I supposed to hit this guy? There we go. You shall be as ass in the wind. I'm definitely ass in the wind against this guy with his cheesy crap. Yeah, get fucked. Let's go, kill him. <laughs> Yo, what up, Daz? Good to see you, man. Gargoyles are immune to non-magic attacks. Okay. Oh, look, a gargoyle. That was fair. I totally could do a lot right there. <laughs> Dude, why can't I hit anything anymore? There we go. There we go. <sighs> bam, bam, bam. Yeah, thank you, Ellen Delph and Rapper and Faeus and a newbie. Heck yeah. You like that? Fighting in a spiral staircase in the background would flex it as you move. Yeah, that was cool and a little dizzying at the same time. Eek! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look at the Q 
cute little gargoyle going, ee! Let's go in here. Let's go in here. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, wonderful. What do you mean it's not your best? Who are you talking to? This lady's got some nerve, I tell ya. Wait. How did I do that? You could sneak in this game? Since when? <laughs> Wait a minute. How the hell did I do that? Trap, petrify. Get me out of here. Look. Wait. How did I do this? <laughs> Down jump makes you crouch walk. I'm assuming that's stealth, but I wonder if that actually does anything. Wow, he retained his hit points. Impressive. Magic missile. Magic missile! Oh, they got me! Run it back! It makes you shorter. That's it? Crouching makes you shorter. That... Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you can do the duck walk. It's cool, but why? Like, functionally, I want to know what the heck the point is. Not all the thing visible are real. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, 90s Capcom, for your lovely translations. Oh, you could jump out the window! Oh. I saw that. Look at those traps. There's traps there. Wait, how do you get in there? Hmm. Flying enemies can't hit you. Arrows go over. Oh. Gotcha. I think we just need a damage boost in there. Can we go around it? No. Well, that didn't work. Well, how do you get in there? Ooh. <laughs> well, how do I... How do I get in there? There's a treasure. No treasure left behind. Hmm, let's look at our inventory. I don't see anything useful. The fire doesn't go all the way up. Oh, double jump worked. Oh, and I landed on it anyway. Okay. Trap. That's awesome. Oh, I dropped a sword. What did I get? Storm blade. Should we try this? <laughs> uh, we got some magic weapons. Look at that. That's sick. I see Duke over there. I see Duke. That looks awesome. We'll try this out. Gonna give it a girl. Yeah, that was worth it. We found like a secret room with a cool weapon in it. Let's go. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Ha ha, I am Ezra Horton, one of the four grand masters. Is that a genie? No. Don't underestimate me. I'm much more powerful than that Shadow Elf fool who claimed he was a Grandmaster. How long is this? I'm curious. Oh, dear. He just ate me. Instant death. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, 
How do you avoid that? <laughs> the only reason I'm hurting him is because I'm dying, and when you respawn, you hurt him. Okay, this is mega annoying, the boss fight. Oh, they just respawn. Okay, there's no reason to fight them. He's a ghost with levels. He looks cool, but this is... This was... I could clearly see that this boss was designed just to eat quarters. Like, there's nothing fair about what's happening here. <laughs> okay. Ugh. I don't even know. What did I just do? I just did that down. Oh, that slide. Okay. I think he's immune to those. Here. Die to my respawn. My stinks. There you go. That's some kind of arrow. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. I like swords. In D and D, you're supposed to have a party, and you're running without player two. The Stroom Bellman. Obtain normal sword level four. I wish I could see how strong they were. Oh, look, we got an orc shopkeeper. That's cool. Dots. Dots. The orc is not amused. He's just here to run a shop. He doesn't care about our nonsense. Yeah, this game was four player, wasn't it? The arcade version. Because it looks like there's a UI for the, on the bottom, too. All right, we don't need anything here. He doesn't sell anything we want. Unless there's this secret stash in the background. No. Yo, what's up, Litapus? How are you? What does the thief excel at? Apparently, I have double jump and iframes with backflipping. So, and oh, I can spot traps on chests that seemingly I don't think anyone else can. So there seems to be a lot of abilities the thief has. Which have been really interesting. Does he have a stubba? I don't know what that is. Is that a reference? I'm assuming that's a reference. Let's just say, yeah, he does. He totally has tons of them. I want to say yes. <laughs> uh, oh, look, I can sell my own stuff. Sell four hammers. Here. Okay, maybe I can't sell stuff. How do you, can you sell stuff? It looks like I could trash things. There's a trash can. There is a party. It's just the players split the party. Oh, man. Yeah. The thief can spot traps, pick locks, pick pockets, dodge, unlimited burning oil attack. An extremely powerful sling. Yeah. What's up, Solo? Put this stuff in the trash and you get cash for it. Okay. What are you buying? That gave me 20 silver. For four more hammers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Nipple butter. Yeah, apparently if you dash into an enemy without attacking them, you bump into them and it can knock items from their inventory. You don't get much. It's, I guess, better than nothing, right? Yay, I like money. Thank you very much. Come back again. Having me on YouTube as well is nice because it doesn't barf when you play Starfield like Twitch does. Really? That is a very cool effect. Okay, this is looks... Well, now we can actually appreciate this because we're not mid-boss fight. It, they like pre-rendered the background there. It looks damn cool. That is really freaking cool. This sword is so cool. <laughs> oh, damn. I knew it was going to happen. Bzzz. 
Well, there's a lot of these people now. What the hell? <laughs> oh! I just picked his pocket! Flame shield! I can't get it. Hold on. Uh, there. Okay. Flame shield. No, pick it up! I want the flame shield! It won't let me. Give me flame shield. There. You just can't pick it up. All right. It must be class restricted. Okay. Archer's not wearing pants. Nice. Coolness agreed. They showed the enemies running up the back. Yeah, that was a cool effect. This is your favorite arcade besides Alien vs. Predator. I played that earlier. That was really good. It was damn... Excuse me. It was damn good. Do, 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 do. I guess the shield must be, like, class locked. Because it's not letting me pick it up. Yeah. You just can't have it. Okay. On the floor, it stays. It's probably for, like, the dwarf and the cleric only. I don't know if this is better than the flame sword or not. They're both really cool, though. I should switch to that right here just so I can swap them as I need to like this. Like this seems to have a bigger arc, but I don't know if that actually matters. <clears throat> no shields for themes. Oh, the fighter. I, I've never seen a fighter, so I didn't know he had one. Usually when I assume fighter in D&D, I assume two-hander. For some reason, it's just, I don't know, just where my mind goes. Is it an actual shield? Yes. Yeah, there are actual shields in this that you can use. We tried a few of the other classes earlier, and... Um, I did the dwarf, the cleric, and the elf. And I didn't really like them as much as this one. There we go. Ring of spell turning. Cool. Okay. Fighter can do weapon plus shield, two hand or dual wield. Ooh, options. Just like a true fighter. Very cool. Oh, what are those goblins? Yep. Come here. True to goblin fashion, they're just throwing rocks. <laughs> Being a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> They shoot more than once? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I thought they were going to shoot once and then I could wreck their face, but you know, you can't win them all, I guess. There we go. Run. Why don't you run? Run. I guess this is a no dash section. Ooh, okay. Where are we at now? There's a flame blocking that door. Oh, come on. I guess we can't go that way. <clears throat> you can see them running towards you in the background. Yeah, isn't that cool, Finn? Certain board fighters can be fun for sure. I wonder how we get in there. Maybe this is like a switch or something. Probably not an item thing. Bastard Sword 1. Level 4 end sword. It's not as cool as the other stuff. It's not as cool. There we go. All right. I don't think we can go that way. So let's go. I knew that was there, but I thought it was lower. I definitely earned that. There's a lightning barricade. Come on, Gargoyle. I know you're there. 
Han är mycket bäst alltså. Åh, man. What? Nice iframes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much that. Yeah. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Can I go in there? Let me go in there. Damn. I don't think you can go in there. <laughs> There's got to be a way to go in there. We just don't know how. So it is what it is. <laughs> Come on, gargoyle. He didn't like that, did he? He did not like that at all. Uh... <laughs> yeah, imagine an arcade beat em up with like this large amount of secrets like this. Oh crap, that's a bad place to be. Dude, why won't you do the backflip? She double jumps half the time when I try to do that. It's really confusing. Why is there a timer? I thought this game didn't have timers. Oh dear. Good. Good. I just used the ring of fireball, I think. No. This. Use that. There you go. Cure serious wounds. All right, let's go. We have to hurry. Deadfall, but also healing potions. <coughs> Arena revisited. Oh no, it's the Skeksis. He goes, hmm. My quarter Emerus ran out. <laughs> Glad to see you again. Very impressive defeating two of the four grand masters. Okay. You better take a rest now. An eternal rest. Smells like gaffling. <laughs> Whoa, that looks sick. I don't think he likes this sword. I don't think he likes this sword. Oh. I don't know. I just used an item and I don't even know what it did. Can I, can I hit him? She just runs face first into it instead of swinging the damn sword. <laughs> Lady, swing the weapon. Oh, nice iframes. It is Dark Warrior 2. I didn't even notice that. That's funny. Oh. My dude, quit getting iframes. Mashing is doing some work here. Oh, Jesus. Let me stick! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I almost got all the loot. <clears throat> Age of Resistance. What's that? Wait, that Dark Warrior is said to have been the strongest of all four Grand Masters. Okay. Good. Look, the warp crystal is shining. It's reacting to something. <clears throat> That's a noise. There we go. Bum, ba, ba, da, ba. Doo, doo. If you beat it, you had a chicken for winks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> That's too good. You love Dark Crystal? I love the movie. I didn't really see much of that show. 
It looked cool. Yeah, Netflix is kind of a joke now. It's really sad. It's like their team of writers doesn't care about the things that they're working on. Or they do, and Netflix is like, yeah, no, we're done. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what metric are you using for this? <laughs> Level 21, four hit points. Oh, come on. Give me more than that. I want 67 dexterity. I love this guy right here. He's a vibe. This guy is a total vibe. Are you sure? No one has so much as even scratched that sin. I don't know what that means. Really? Sin's fiery breath can incinerate anything in a blink. What is he talking about? Okay, I won't try and step you. Good luck. You'll need it. What is he talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? <clears throat> Team banging the gram loot is kind of wild. There are definitely things I would do for this game that I that I wish they would change. Um the button to loot should not be the same button to pick up or uh, to attack for one. Um, it should be like the freaking menu button or something. And then the menus are really, really annoying to use, but I don't know how else you would do it in an arcade button game that has like three or four buttons, you know? You're guessing Sin is his name? Mm, okay. Sin is the woman in red you encountered earlier. Oh, okay. Why is... I wonder why he was commenting on that. It's interesting. Tell me something that will defeat the dark enchantress. Tell me that piece of paper. Darn. Let's go. Do do. Come back again. Zug zug. Inner heart, dark heart, stage ten six. We've worked, but to where? What's this huge door? Cool. Make it so you need to hit the had you can combo to access the menu. <laughs> like you. Mr. It's Games, why you gotta bring your memes in here? Why you gotta meme in my channel? Those are illegal. The government of Illinois is gonna arrest you. Dude, 46 months? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. How the heck are you? Did you figure out the schedule thing yet? I know you had some big changes and it's interfered with your recent ability to stream. It's the Skeksis. Mm. <laughs> uh, so you've come. That's right. We're here. I am the greatest of the grandmasters. You cannot defeat me. Didn't I just beat you? That must have been your brother. Okay. The slide pickup mechanic is a skill-based solution to the attack pickup thing. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Not yet, but you're employed again, so you're moving in the right direction. Hell yes, dude. Congratulations. I can't defeat him. Chat. He's undefeated. Oh! That's a manticore and a dragon and the Skeksis. Oh, come on. You start the battle getting hit? Well, frick you too, game. I'm gonna open that. What are you supposed to do there? <laughs> uh, that kid is what we call in the industry horse shit. What hit me? I don't know what you're supposed to do there. No idea. Get off my ass! <laughs> These hitboxes are ruthless. <clears throat> he saw my Dark Warrior 2 instead of fighting you because he's a chicken. I see. Is 
Ow. Can I swing my sword just once? There we go. I hope you have $600 if you want to beat this game. Because <laughs> you're going to need it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. <sighs> now, even Wizard actually meant to say, if I didn't get all your cards before now, I'm getting them now. Yeah. I need a freaking patched version of this game that gets rid of the, all the timers and lets you pick stuff up. How you doing? Oh, that ex inexperienced one again. I see you've made progress. It looks like it's time to finish this. I have to do it myself. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You can do whatever you want. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Jesus. <laughs> you can grab the Steam version. Doesn't the Steam version have all the same problems, though? Other than the $20 per boss. Okay, that looks awesome. Uh, okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was really cool. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid that, but okay, cool. Just feed me quarters, the boss. I can't even hit it. <laughs> It's invincible. I'm so confused. It it We're I think it right now. I think it's input reading right now. I think this thing is input reading. Have I hit it yet? Yeah, it's not working. I'm very confused right now. Okay. That was weird. It would not get rid of that menu. It would not go away. <laughs> <laughs> I was just stuck in that menu to die. Yeah! All right, let's try fire sword and the fire dragon because the lightning sword doesn't work on it. Apparently it's immune to lightning, but not fire. Unless I just got lucky there. I don't actually know. Lady, stop saying that. Why are you double jumping? Stop! Why is she double jumping? <laughs> God. She's supposed to be doing that. Oh, this does work on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh. I hit it. Did we get a health bar? Yeah, apparently I had too much health to display. So, yeah. Dude, those light gun shooters, like House of the Dead 2, are the worst quarter munchers of any game ever. She's double jumping again. Okay, so that is hitting it. It's just not making a sound. I just gotta let that kill me. It's like randomly doesn't let me dodge. See, she just jumps instead of dodging. That's so weird. Bump up. God damn it. 
Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, or double jump. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to do about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where you at, puppy? There you go. Oh, it's still ate me, no matter what. Too much health bar to show. Yes, correct. No, it doesn't matter if it's stick neutral, Duke. It just doesn't work half the time. I'm not pushing anything other than jump. The only reason this thing's taking damage is because when I die and respawn, it damages the enemies. <laughs> That's it. It's the only reason. We could totally kill it that way. All right, here you go. Here's the kill. It didn't work. Oh, man. Rip. Blah! Thank you for all your quarters. Sure, I'll take all that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that looks cool. Ooh. Let's see. The only reason you beat it is because the arcade had an event that night to pay 20 bucks and have unlimited play in their games. Yeah, that's what the arcade by me does every day. That's pretty cool. You've defeated me, but I'll win in the end. OMG! No, it's too late. We weren't it be able to prevent the fiend from rising. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rip everybody. Wait, what's that? It's a fleet of sky ships. Oh, they're shooting. I thought they were being shot. The Prince of Glantry. Words that I can't read. It looks like we managed to make it in time. Cool. They returned to the principalities of Grantry, where people welcomed them as heroes, especially Finn, who had destroyed the evil huge dragon Sid later. No, it was oh just... It was just several dozen clones of Finn. We used the pile of bodies as a shield for the flame breath. <laughs> it was excellent full cover. Bomb it from orbit. That's pretty much what they did, yeah. Finn, fresh from her victory over the evil dragon Sin. She looks forward eagerly to her next adventure. Thief was good in this. Controls were stiff and mushy and, and not great, but the game was too good. It was too good to stop. We got credits. Let's go. We did it. Yo, pay to win GG. That's right. Thanks, Arcade, Delph, Duke. Thanks, Cine. Serex. Who are all those people? There's characters showing up that you don't get to play as. <laughs> Wait, who are all these people? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's confusing. No, uh, thanks, Wrenchin and Newbie and Illendelf. I'm Fire and Talia. Yeah, that'd be cool, Duke. Hell yeah. There's two variants of each class. Oh, those are the variants. Okay. Just the colors, right? They're skins, but not like anything different. Wait, does this show you all the loot you can get? Oh my God, there's a Dragon Slayer, a Holy Avenger, Sword of Legend. Dude, look at all this stuff this game has. <laughs> we didn't see almost any of that. We did get two amazing swords though. We got a fire and a lightning sword. It's different colors of the characters. Ah, uh, they brought their stunt doubles. <laughs> <laughs> oh man amazing look at all that that's a lot of cool stuff right there oh man this is very D, &D. heck yeah Boop. 21 treasure box seven hidden rooms 
1.527909 million. Do, do, do. Welcome to the D and D world. It was a pretty good D and D world. How many games did I beat? The three? I think it was three. Right? We uh, we beat. Where's my thread? We beat Spartan X Two. We beat Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> We beat Alien vs Predator in this, so we beat four games. We beat four, four beat em ups. I mean, most most of them are arcade, arcade except for the one uh, first one that we beat. We got all this stuff from the chest you couldn't open during boss fights. Just twisting the knife there, Belvin. <laughs>